Hey there, gorgeous gays. Version 2 here with uh, Stormblood. Final Fantasy 14. So this sucks. So this sucks. <laughs> I'm being told it sucks and touching my head. Um, everything sucks and everything sucks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so when we last left off, this happened, which is why I'm continuing from here instead of an in, because I feel like the last stream didn't exactly end. This is a two-parter, um, because I didn't stop because I feel like we're at a good stopping point. I stopped because I physically couldn't anymore. Um, it's a resting spot, technically. I am sitting on a bed. I am sitting on a bed. Um... Yeah, last time was rough. Last time was rough. As I said, it's not the most of the games that made me cry or sad or anything. Because, you know, Astinian exists. But it's the most broken and defeated I've ever felt in this game. Like, this is worse than the Banquet at Edel Bar. And, like, we technically lost more people then, though most of them didn't actually die then. But it's just... This was just so overwhelming, all-encompassing defeat. We've lost a lot more people, because it was only the silence that were affected there. But I still but it's a bit rough. A little bit. I mean, you think it's bad with, like, the whole Papalimo stopping Shinryu thing. And then this happens, and it's all oh, dear good. Um... So there's possibly a difference you'll notice about Minor Fist right now. Um, and possibly another difference once I unlock the character from just staring at her partner on her fucking deathbed. Hopefully she doesn't actually die. I feel like they're not- I feel like they wouldn't just, like, have Yastola injured in battle, but survive the battle and then just kill her in bed, like, a few MSQ streams later. Unless they do that just to separate a bit from the actual battle, cause, so it's not so overwhelming. But fuck, I hope. Fuck, I uh, hope that's not the case, because, oh dear god, I will break down if that happens. But, um, so, some details that I have for headcanon reasons about everything that went down. Zonus called Procedimus and Pace too. Fun. Um, yeah, I, I have thoughts about how that battle went down for like character lore reasons. One, you'll notice oh. Hello. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. Hi. <laughs> hello. I don't have a humble greeting, so I still gotta do that even though everything's sad. Um, yeah, you'll notice that an axe is no longer on her back. <laughs> Hi. Um, at the end of the fight with Xenos, she's disarmed. Like, she's disarmed before she gets attacked one last time. With what happened in Uldar, I can't imagine Minor Fist dropping the axe in any capacity, no, no matter the circumstances. Um, so I imagine that her axe just got fucking destroyed in that fight. Like, she went to attack and then Xenos just, like, attacked the axe back and just smashed through it. The way that, like, he smashed through Yastola's shield. Um, her eye patch is gone. I imagine that is another aspect of the fight, of like early glancing blows. Her eye patch got cut the fuck off. Um, and this is a retroactive canon thing because it's been something I've been considering myself for a while. And uh, now I have an actual explanation. Uh, the scar across her nose. She's had that like since the start of the game because that's how I designed her because I visually liked it. But, retroactively, recanonizing the scar across her nose as, yeah, that was from the final attack that Xenos did. The one that sent her flying and sent her down. It just cut right across her fucking face. Which, if you actually have a look at the scar, which I've never noticed it with the scar before, it's the entire depth of her nose, which I didn't realize before. I thought it was, like, just across the front and the top, but actually looking at closely, it's the entire depth of her nose. So if he cut that, it would have been, like, basically cut her nose in half. 
Which, uh, yeah, considering how fucked up she was afterwards. Like, needed a fucking healer to come over to even get her off the fucking ground. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um... She got wrecked. <laughs> um... And I do have other things that are going to happen with my FS because of this. Though, not right now. Because we're still in the middle of the after effects of it. So, um... Yeah, this is... <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with this. It's, uh, it, it bad. It bad. It, uh, it, it's, um, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. And if you're wondering, well, I'm just hiding the axe. I've actually switched over now to this one. <laughs> you can't see it on the back right now because currently she doesn't have one, but uh, I have, so I'm just going to use it. If we're ever using Warrior in the future, I'm not sure right now. Um, I've got that one. But yeah, right now she doesn't have an axe on. So... Goodbye, Dragon Axe. You carried us through Heavenswood, and uh, you've been fucking destroyed now. Which axe is that? The one that I just have? It's Ragnarok. It's the ARR Relicon. The second final stage. I mean, it's the final stage as well, but the final stage has the glowies. I don't like glowies. Bereft of Hearth and Home. Rolgas reaches no longer safe, as Pippin warns. Our defeat was no near thing. It was total. Humiliation. Correct. We were powerless to withstand our enemies' assault. But we cannot afford to dwell on our failure. <laughs> Almost as if Minifist's characterization right now is going to be defined by her dwelling on her failure. Not enough to go, to go through an ARR relic. Well, I had to do it for quest reasons for one reason, and I got sick of taking Paladin into uh, things, so I didn't switch over to. Um, to this. So yeah, I did that. <laughs> Out of all of the ones that are in AR, it'd be my favorite that I could see. Oh, yeah. as Avana said, we must focus on those who survive for now. Ralga's reach is no longer safe. The Imperials may have withdrawn, but they could return at any time to finish what they began. We dare not remain. Those who are not fit to make the journey to cash from Orients will need to be taken by Chocobo carriage. Agreed. I shall have seen preparations for the characters. In the meantime, I'd have you scour the infirmary for any supplies that might prove useful during the journey. The, yeah, that's not... That doesn't feel appropriate. Oh, okay, okay, um, a company commander camp for one of the characters. characters. Where to move the wounded to Kashmarians? Understood. I can't see if anyone requires assistance. Isn't Alice meant to be resting? As the yellow quest hard blow, which would be nice to do now. Well, not thematically, but gameplay wise. <laughs> no, no, I'd hate to be a burden. Oh my god, come on. And. We need to carry your shoulders with the carriage. Could you give me a hand, please? As if you need to ask. Do you mean over here? In here? That's Mother's Boy. <laughs> Errol. Forgive me, but it's imperative that I continue praying medicines for the wounded. If you desire treatment, I must ask that you seek it also. I'm on laundry outside, god fucking damn it. Is it raining? Did your laundry get ruined? Oh, I see. In that case, you're free to search the barber and take what you require. I will not have our people dying on route. It's on the east. Okay. I'll assist you, but this process demands my undivided attention. It's not time for the humidity. Oh, that is worn dry. <laughs> Sorry, I was literally talking earlier on stream about how my hair is actually good today. And I still can't help but fiddle with it all the time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This is incredibly rough. Incredibly rough. Miss. Marshal Tarapin said he might have something for me. The Sormon of Potions and Potables that may prove invaluable to keeping the wounded alive on the journey back to Kashmarians. 
12 be praised. They should put the driver's heart at ease. Tell the Vice Marshal we await his orders. Gonna get the thing I want to do to get it to work. So I'm looking at silent cheer. You want from a distance and in instead? Okay. Shoal and the others are safely strapped in. Don't worry. I'll be by your side the entire time. Thank you, Crow. I'll walk alongside. Don't need protection against the Galleons or anything. Hang on. You're injured too, aren't you? Shouldn't you be in one of the carriages? I'm not so frail that I can't make the trip on my own. Dude, Conrad, you're beaten up aggressively. You're beaten up aggressively. Should I turn up the brightness of the game? I'm looking at the stream and I'm realizing you can't see basically anything. I should probably turn up the brightness of the game. I think my monitor's brighter than what the actual input is, so I should probably turn up the brightness of the game too. Besides, still work to be done here. I'll see you at the wall when it's finished. As you wish. Then let us set forth at once. We shall move as quickly as our comrades' health allows. To Castrum Orions. Someone might turn my eternal analysis. Just doesn't feel appropriate. Just does not feel appropriate. <laughs> Just doesn't feel appropriate. Right now. Uh, where's display? Char character lighting is zero. Character- okay. Character lighting is zero. Is it character lighting that I'm changing or gamma correction? Okay, okay, if we're, if we're going by the game's recommendations of X is not visible, circle is just visible, uh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Going down that far doesn't even change that. I do, I do both, but keep character letting to like a 50. Yeah, it's currently zero. Because it's the characters that we can't see. A gamma correction at max in, um, um, stop blood zone, so... Wait, we'll turn that up a bit. Does that make things a bit e Oh, that's definitely a lot better. That's definitely a lot better to see there. <laughs> Why is Stormblood lighting specifically so good? Let us pray they arrive safely. Master Camp, your concern for your mental well-being is commendable, but I would urge you consider your own. Your mind your blood blinds me during the day, I don't care. <laughs> Divide and conquer. Conrad is a man struggling to cope with a bit of reality. You saved a good many of my men, and I cannot thank you enough for that. Did I? Did I? But the fact remains our forces were decimated. In this day, we'll not be mounting us on Castellum, Veloden, um, Veladina, or anywhere else. I, I figured that was off the cards immediately, yes. We need to be honest with ourselves about our prospects. But first, we need to put our affairs here in order. Afterwards, I'll join you all at Cashmorians. Understood. We will go and speak with General Alton. Yeah, we can't really do anything right now. Matter ketchup. Why oh, need ketchup? I'm making fries. What about the barbecue sauce? I okay, to be fair, when I'm making ketchup, I usually use spicy mayo. <laughs> Though, to be fair, I'm making anything fried, I usually use spicy mayo. Cheesy sauce. Not a, I am not a fan of cheesy. Uh oh! Uh, fries with, like, melted cheese and stuff, I'm fine with. It's like the one type of, like, cheese sauce I'm okay with. For more than a decade, the resistance has resided here, hidden from the eyes of the Empire. And just when we sit outside some Villadina, they strike. Do not find that fast and strange. You're correct, Alphano. I am almost 100% positive it's our fucking fault. You're correct. I can see the rich means a lot to these people. But it would be suicide to stay. Movement has already departed with the wounded, has he? Good. We completed our search of the reach in the surrounding area. As far as we can tell, Xenos and his men returned straight away to Specula Imper Imperatoris after quitting this place. So it seems he's lost interest in us. Given the type of man that we've seen Xenos to be, 
I don't imagine Xenos is the type of person to just go around and attack the wounded. I don't see Xenos as the type of man, like, I can't see Xenos coming back here and just killing people in their sick beds. From what we've already seen of him, that's not the type of person that he is. And stuff like that. There's no sport in no. that. I mean, I imagine, like, attacking us right when we think we're about to do something, that makes sense. When we're at our, like, most confident, our most aggressive, our most bold, that's when, that's when the people are attacked. Because that's when they're going to put up the best fight. That makes sense. That makes sense. Again, Xenos, Xenos is a fascist. He says he just wants to fight. He probably wants you to get better. Well, that's that's exactly what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Right as all the people here are about to at attack us from Villadina, that's when they're at their what they perceive as their strongest. So he's coming here to just being like, okay, so this is when you're going to put up the best fight for me. Again, for a fascist in this empire, he's refreshingly honest. As in. His mindset is of just the natural, logical endpoint of fascism, of killing people for the sake of killing people, and glory in battle, and killing people, and stuff like that. This question went there at the most hopeful. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Which brings us to the most troubling question of all. Not how he found us, but why he chose to spare our lives having done so. In war, you kill or capture your enemy. You don't leave him to fight another day. Only a fool would turn his back and walk away. The Xenos is no fool. If he kills everyone, then he doesn't have anyone to fight anymore. Whatever his motive, this is neither time nor place to think on it. I'll leave a token force to watch over the bridge, or else we'll fall back to Kasha Morgans. We're going to discuss our path forward. I use a full but mine's an unpopular opinion. <laughs> I mean, if it's what he's after and it's what his goals are, then he's gonna take what he wants to achieve that. He is he is not his father. What what we can already tell is that he is sure as shit not his father. So, you know. There's that. So there's that at a bare minimum. Like he's not super, but he, sh but, uh, but he surely is not wise. Uh, the question I'm uh, to say, uh, the man ex um, exact twice to say in depth. Probably, maybe, maybe shut up, <laughs> maybe shut up. <laughs> looking through my items while we take a why am I on my chicken? I'm sorry I'm sorry Thunderwing I do like you but this fast one is I'm wondering why I'm not just teleporting it's because I need time to be sad I need time to be sad though these are not easy places to get to because this whole river that you got across Pull the bridge you got across. Don't have flight in this zone yet. And at this rate, I feel like we're not gonna get it for a while. So. I believe in you. I believe in you, bike. You're Come on, off ride bike, let's go. Come on, off ride bike, let's go. I was gonna you should have asked you to put these hair extensions in. It could just be real. Man's untouchable in a fight, so they've never been cut off. Oh, hey, look. A hunt target. But I'm looking to fight right now. Because I don't have an axe. I don't have a weapon. How can I fight it? Is the music here normally this sad? Is the music in the fringes normally this sad? Or did they also give us sad fringes music? So it was one of those girls that was like, I never cut my hair, and then yeah, go and then tell you it ends in divorce. <laughs> Can't be me. 
Can't be me. This gets a haircut every eight weeks. This is not time for just music. It's just naturally sad. It just naturally is sad piano music of a night time. It's fitting at least. It's fitting at least. Right. Ow. And it's already going numb. That is probably not a good sign. Hey, Liz. Kral's with each goal. She hasn't woken up, but Kral says she's through the worst. Given the severity of her wounds, we could have hoped for no more. I was pray she makes a full recovery. We lost a lot of good people, didn't we? I saw it happen. Unless Skull's Commander cut down Mefred. A single blow and that was it. Everything he fought for. All his hopes and dreams for the future. Gone in an instant. And do you want to know the worst part? It wasn't a Galen who did it. It was an Alamigan. Gods help me if I ever. No, not now. Not while the general's way. Well, is there roads are paved? <laughs> that just means they've got cars, which just means they're accelerating climate change. But I don't know how that would function in this world, given how Aether works. Shit's bad. Shit's bad. Were it not for the swift actions of the Scions and the Alliance, many more would have died. You risked your lives to save ours. And for that, we thank you. But is it, but is it because of us that it happened in the first place? This runs a motorcycle. Shut up. Well, it's just like, like, like the way that climate change works in our world is because of the build-up of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which retains more heat inside of our atmosphere. I don't know how that functions on Hydaelyn. Is the is the I don't know how that works on Hydaelyn is the issue. Like, there is a sun that we can see, but how like, is it a certain type of aether? Is it a lot of like, if there's too much wind aether around Hydaelyn that it like keeps more of the heat from the sun in? I don't know how that part. Works. There is no need for thanks. We are allies, are we not? Aye, just so. Let us not dwell on this tragedy, but look to the future. Hey, yeah, keep, yeah, keep, yeah, keep telling her, keep telling Manifest to not dwell on this tragedy. It's gonna go so well, gonna go so well, and not the, her defining character, um, <laughs> her defining character feature at this moment in time. Not at all, not at all. It's fine. The future. I'm sorry, General, but there is no future for us. We've lost too many. Gods, I can still see Mefrid with that woman standing over him. <laughs> They've ripped the heart out of his General. They've broken us. Our fight is over. Master Kemp, please. I'll always hate them with every fiber of my being for what they took from us then and now. Our homeland, our freedom, our bloody children. You mean the Skulls? The youths who fight for Xenos? Grania Lupi, the Black Wolf's legacy and our shame. A unit made up of children born to Alamegan dignitaries who came of age during the occupation. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Sons and daughters of Gia Abania, raised to be proud citizens of the Empire, with all the rights and responsibilities that entails. So the thing is, we've seen that, and we already know that all of the people of the Empire seeing the, um, these people as, like, full-on Galleons, we already know that's bullshit. We already know that's bullshit. Considering the high up one who was like the leader of the skulls is still being called a savage by Galleons. We know that's bullshit. We know it's bullshit that the Galleons actually see them as another Galleon. 
that's not accurate. Again, it's almost like conceding yourself for a position in the Empire that's occupying you, or just the forces that are, like, oppressing you and stuff like that, doesn't work, because they'll turn on you in a heartbeat. Stares at every single conservative who's of a marginalized identity, who have frequently gone, nah, my people suck, you're right, and then have other people in there turn around and go, yeah, correct, and then treat them horribly. It's the whole, it's all, the whole, like, lion eat, lions eating people's faces party. But I never thought they'd eat my face. It's almost like fascism is a self-cannibalizing ideology. It's almost like fascism's a self-cannibalizing ideology. It's almost like that, isn't it? It'd be easy to curse them and call them traitors. But they're our children. Our flesh and blood. If the only way to forge the future we want is to cut down our own, then... Then what was it all for? Nargo. Nargo? What will you say to the families of the Fallen? To the mothers, and the widows, and the orphans? Will you tell them it was all for nothing? Listen to the girl. We dare not suffer our comrades' sacrifices to have been in vain. Now is the time to steal our resolve and press on, painful though it may be. So the thing is, I agree with the mentality here. I agree with the mentality of you can't let it defeat you, because that is how they win and what they want. From a practical standpoint, most of our people are dead, so I don't know how we physically do that. And when Xenos comes back with his army, what then? This isn't the first time, you know. You'll be hard-pressed to find men brave or stupid enough to face him again. I still can't believe how strong he was. He humiliated us back there. The Warrior of Light included. Don't. Don't God know. help us if he's next in line to the Garlean throne. Loath though I am to say it, we should not be surprised. Before succeeding Van Bailsar in Alamigo, Xenos led the Imperial Army to Doma. Where he crushed the rebellion utterly. Stop rubbing it in, Liz. Yeah, it's not, not helpful. It's not helpful. Okay, so, okay. So, Gaius originally led the charge on Girabanya, and it was Xenos who led the charge into Othard. Okay. Okay. And just, you know, now that Gaius is. Xenos is doing double duty, I guess. When I say children, by the way, it's not an exaggeration. Four dollars, only nineteen. Well, yeah, the, yeah, the the Galleons haven't occupied Yerubanya forever. It's it's actually real, and everything in the Galleon history is relatively recent, considering how quickly they rose up to be, you know, the fascist pricks they are. Because Solas is a dick. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Doma remains in his charge to this day. Suffice it to say, Varus's heir is a peerless warrior and an accomplished general. The question is, how are we to contend with such a foe? So Xenos is in charge of both currently. He is doing double time. Xenos is in charge of two things across the entire other sides of the fucking planet. What is it, this game and children who pay taxes and have a savings account? I mean... I mean, I paid taxes when I was 19. I had a savings account when I was 19. Because, you know, I was working full-time. Crown Prince gets you two provinces. <laughs> Jeez, Xenos, how come Varus lets you have two provinces to control? <laughs> like, 18-year-olds who look like they're in their 30s. I mean, taking the fight to Dome is an option. Taking the fight to Dome is an option. If Xenos isn't in Doma, it's going to be a lot easier to help them. <laughs> Though we have no idea the current situation of what it is actually like over there. Other than, you know, freaking Gosetsu came over to just be like, you need to come back now. So there's that. 
but I have a feeling you're about to tell us. <laughs> well, to put it simply, we have one Legatus overseeing two provinces a world apart. I say we divide and conquer. We kindle the flames of revolution in Doma once more, thereby forcing Xenos to fight a war on two fronts. Is he fighting a war on this front, though? The revolution here has just been snuffed out <laughs> for a time. Also, we tried to come here, bold as hell, big dicked in our thoughts of how good we are at this to help their revolution, and we got it annihilated in a day. We were here for a day and we got it destroyed. I mean, I don't see a better plan. I just also don't see this one working. Again, unless Xenos isn't physically there. It's not like Rogers Rage is particularly defensible either. No, it was hidden by a glamour, and they now know the way around that. So now they just go back there instantly. For that, there would need to be someone left to fight on this front by the time you got back. Look, I'll not deny the plan as promise. And I feel for our brothers and sisters in Doma, truly I do. But I fear we lack the strength to see it through. Again, you're not fighting a war on two fronts. The war here ended. You'd have to start it again. They're not fighting the war on this front at the moment. I mean, they're running the occupation on this front, so there's manpower for that. If they drag mount manpower away from Girabanya to send it over to Doma, then that makes things easier here. So they're not fighting the a war front, but they are um, doing an occupation, and an occupation still requires bodies to do. Have faith in your people, Master Kemp. Them and the Scions. Hold fast, rebuild, and when all is in place, we shall defeat Xenos together. I'm gonna cut his fucking head right off. If you're going to Doma, I'm coming too. I want to help our friends there. Make sure nothing like this ever happens again. As it being there wasn't the cause of the first place, but we'll see how it goes. Give us the time we need, and we will give you something far greater. Very well. For all you have done for us, we will fight on. But be swift, comrades. Al amigo has suffered enough. Be swift! It's not like getting to Doma in of itself takes two months. <laughs> but be swift about it. I know that because it explicitly tells you that. <laughs> so I'm gonna let suck and go ham. <laughs> Music in this game is fantastic. Yeah, um, in the Encyclopedia Aeosia, it mentions how it, it takes two months to get to Othard by boat. So, you know. You're not one of the pieces on the table, what are you doing? Okay, okay. From the city people, this is not the first time Xenos has spared his foes. They say he abides by an unusual code and takes pleasure in the fight. One of his reasons, we must use it this time to our advantage. I wish you well on your journey, my friends. Let's pray that when we meet again, our fortunes will be much changed. <laughs> Here's my plan. I'm gonna sit on top of the entire enemy forces. There we go. God's the pain. It seems like a good idea at the time. You said your PCS? Yes? Oh, would you please return to bed? You'll never recover if you, ca recover if you carry on like this. Can't I part of me wants to stay and fight? But I'd be more used to you and the others. So we fight on, come what may. Sentiment notwithstanding, what other choice do we have? We've got a long road ahead of us. It all begins with the first step. We'll stay in the region and rebuild. We'll reinforce our defenses. And if they come again, we'll be ready. Hopefully. It goes without saying, but the science alone have not the strength to topple a provincial government, here or anywhere else. And I'm quite certain the same can be said of the Dome and Liberation Front. Nevertheless, we can but go on and assess the situation for ourselves and see what can be done. Opal, not right now. 
Well, I should doubt what good uh, week you can accomplish. I'd remind you that my grandfather and his 12 disciples once journeyed to these lands to save Aeolsia and her people from certain doom. Brave souls with an impossible task. And Aeolsia lives on. I mean, they didn't, yeah, they didn't stop Bahamut. But they stopped Bahamut enough that, um, the Seventh Umbral Calamity didn't destroy the entire world. And I guess Louis Wab did also kill Bahamut. <laughs> Things that not everyone here knows. Our present mission may not be as monumental in scope, but is no less important to the multitudes whom we would free from Imperial oppression. Whom we will free. I first sent me to tell Irm and I was there briefly, I think. Oh my god. That is- Why wait at Cash from Orions to send people FC and words? Why here of all places? Lies, damn lies, and pirates! Pirates? What? I just go on to- oh my god. I'll say it's going to find the logistics of a journey to the Far East. So that's what that's where people get out of the free trial. That actually does make sense. That does make sense. <laughs> that does make sense. But it's still annoying. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life, there is cause to hope. My grandfather believed that. So do I. But before we can forge ties with our friends in the Far East, we must first find a way to reach them. I thought it was not exactly over the river and through the woods. Once I've had you, dear sister. Or rather, Tataru is. But before we discuss that, there is another issue I wish to address. Why I'd like if we could all make this journey together, someone would need to remain to serve as liaison to the Alliance and the Resistance during this critical period. Moreover, as you solo cannot be left unattended. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to fucking leave Yashtola behind. And that's horrifying. As much as I should just make an FC with me as a solo member to stop getting FC invites. I was considering doing that as well. Everything from the start again to the Fire Age Fate is completely free to play. Fucking wild. It is a lot. It is a lot, considering how many hours I put into the game at that point. Though I wouldn't be able to use the market board or do a lot of the jobs that I've done. Um, so, there is that element. So I did play since early 2016. This really fucks me up still. Then I should obviously remain. Very well. Issue addressed. You know, Alpha No, it would have been quicker just to ask, and markedly less patronizing. <laughs> yes, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> would you be willing to look after your shoulder and spy, um, to provide support to Iron Holt and others? The Red King. The second. Kral's great. Kral, Kral, Kral's great. I love him. Yes, Alpha No, I would. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Enjoy your trip, and don't you dare return with a gift. <laughs> oh, I would not dream of it. Right then, sister, minor first, no, please, gather your things. We have for Limsa Liminza. Ah, back home. Fun. Fun. Ta da. We're well, a long road ahead of us. Oh, that's him. To Lisa Lemonade we go. So, okay. Now that we're leaving this area. Now that we're leaving this area. I think it is time for the characterization to happen. Because, um. Given how much we were humiliated. And how everything has gone fucking wrong since Heavenswood. The whole idea of being the warrior for Heavenswood. Was to pretend to be the invincible badass. So people would stop fucking dying for us. Like they did at the banquet. Given how many people have died for us, that plan hasn't fucking worked. And I believe I actually said multiple times as people were dying over the course of Heavenswood and its patches that it's no good if the only person we can protect is ourselves. That's not true anymore either. So, um... Yeah... Manifest entire sense of self. Complete ego death, I think, is the term that I described it on Discord. Um, so we are going to change jobs here. Well, she literally doesn't have an axe at the moment. But also, just... Yeah. Yeah, everything she's pretended or tried to make it out that she is, is, uh, not working anymore. <laughs> How did you do that, Cross? What the fuck? Poor Missile. Stop sitting on missile. Um, 
So, here's the plan for job changes. Modify emote. I forget you can do that. We're switching to Bard from this point onward. So, given how thoroughly rocked everything was just then, and already the massive amounts of self-doubt over all of Heavenswood, with, you know, Boshvan, Acel, Arbert, Papa Limo, and now Mephred, and us getting our asses handed to us, and Nishtola. Um, I, <laughs> I gotta fix that even, I really do. I consider Minifest at this stage to basically have complete and utter loss of sense of self, identity, everything like that. I, uh, it's gonna be a thing of, she's not gonna let people call her the Warrior of Light anymore, or at least she won't want to be called the Warrior of Light. She probably won't even want to be called Minifest. Again, my, again, backstory is that Minifest is a name that she's given to herself because, like, because of the way Rogan and names are, just the people that she grew up around, you name yourself once you come of age and stuff like that. So, uh, she's not gonna call herself by, like, she's not gonna let people call her the Warrior of Light. Again, doesn't, or at least, very least doesn't want to. Not have people call her the Warrior of Light, not people, um, have her call her the, um, Minor Fist and everything like that. Um, so, she's going for basically the polar opposite of what our warrior thing was. We're now a bard. We're not the hero of this tale anymore. We're not the person who is here to save the day or anything like that. This is a fucking revolution, and a revolution needs the people to rise up and be able to fight for it, and that's the only way it's going to work. So, if she can't be the hero that leads the van anymore, because that isn't who she is, she's not strong enough or good enough to do that in her eyes, then she can help Instead of people singing songs about her for being so awesome now, she's now the one singing songs to encourage everyone else and stuff like that. She's basically trying to pull herself away from the spotlight as much as possible. As I said, complete and utter ego death. Which top is that? I really like the Rose Lapel. It's one of the Cockmaster ones. Which one specifically is it? I forget the name of it. Coat of the Lost Thief. Um, Saint Machian's Arbitorium. Um, there's three Cockmaster coats in there, which I'm only using. To, I, I was talking about three of them before, and I couldn't. And I'm not even using the third one anymore because I found something else that I want for Dragoon. But yeah, this uh, yeah, it is um, Saint Mucky Arms Arbitorium for this coat. It's also the dungeon that I have my Black Mage coat from. It's the same dungeon as this coat, which I actually see quite a lot of mages running around in this coat, which I don't blame. Them. It is awesome. Um, but yeah. For the time being, it's this. So I think people are just going to refer to her, uh, or she's going to ask people to refer to her as Usim Blightwin from now on. Because she's not the Warrior of Light, because she, she's not good enough for that. She's not living up to what she imagines the name Minifest is anymore. So call her Usim Blightwin. It's the name that she was given at birth, and at this stage it's the only fucking thing that she's earned. Again, this is all from her perspective. Where are we going? Oh, there they are. But does gives her name a secret, and every, every time someone asks her why she calls her first, does gives a different story so no one knows the truth. And, oh, but my, her, my, her most trusted friends. I mean, most people don't know that Minifest's name is Minifest. It's basically like the Scions, a couple other close friends, and um, Ishgard, because Ishgard refuses to call her Fuckfist. <laughs> Who's saying I didn't catch it? Usin Blightwin, it's her last name. Usin Blightwin. Again, Warrior of Light, she doesn't feel like she lives up to the title of Warrior of Light anymore. She also doesn't feel like she lives up to the name Minifest anymore. And she's sure- And she's sure- And she's sure as shits, not gonna go by Fuckfest anymore. As I said, complete- Not an ego death. Her entire sense of self and purpose has been kind of fucking destroyed at this point. Because it was te- It was teetering on the fucking edge by the end of Heavenswood and its patches. It was already doing that, and then she got her ass completely utterly handed to her. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Shit's bad. Shit's fucking bad. Everyone, welcome to the sad arc of Minifest. 
My ass is a Viera. Uh, who must ban their birth names or forest names if they ever leave the forest and choose new names for themselves. City names. So her name is music themed as she's a musician by trade and lifestyle. I appreciate I appreciate name lore in in these games. I appreciate name lore in these games. Especially how we can up with the name Minifest, and I'm so attached to the name Minifest. And that came from a stupid joke in the character creator of calling my character Fuckfist. <laughs> but it makes sense, because now her name is like Love Fist, which is um, you know represents both her love of people and also the fact that she enjoys fighting. <laughs> My man is a law friendly name, but I also have all such as Veggie Tales and I'm having a crisis. <laughs> uh, actually, if you want to know, if you want to know another uh, law name, I'm pretty sure this came up during the character creator when we first made Minifest. I'm pretty sure it came up during then, but uh, her hair, um, the, the white, good old GTA references. It wasn't even intentionally a GTA reference. It just happened to be that. It just happened to be that because the word fuck isn't translated into the Rogan language officially. Um, but yeah, her hair being um, gray and red, her hair color is naturally gray. Her hair color is just naturally gray. But her last name, Usin Blatwin, the win is daughter of, which is funny because she doesn't understand the concept of gender. But Usin Blight is ashen blood. So that's the... that. It's the one thing about coming from home that she still embodies. She's abandoned basically everything about like where she come, um, where she was born and where she's come from, except for one aspect, which is her hair, because her father's name is Ash and Blood, so she keeps her hair color similar colors to that. Ash is just her natural hair color, and then the blood is the red there. I chose the, this hair color because I liked it, but again, retroactively fitting it, that is that. I justify fantasizing from Ellison to Vieira because I can. I will just chose the name because she found uh, free from books that she, uh, uh, she owned because she's just that superficial. I'm in a Christ special one because he started as Hrothka and what kind of Hrothka um, have last names that are A plus the name of the queen they serve in. So kind of uh, law friendly in a way, I suppose. The queen's name is just Crisis. <laughs> white hair is an epidemic in this world. There's a lot of characters with white hair. There's a shitload of characters with white hair. It's almost like it's a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> I'll teach your name Laura. Is that Laura? Well, law friendly names suck. <laughs> Don't you want to be named Tataru Taru or Pippin Tarapin or Taleji Adaleji? <laughs> Spoke with the Ranger and thank her along the way. They say the surprise pass strategy would be something of an understatement, but they did not dispute its logic. Nanamo, Ulnamo, sure. It's just all of them. It's just all of them, basically. Bo, Bonobo. <laughs> Your problem is always just solo's domain. I haven't spent much time here, to be honest. I have! I have! But it's apparently easy to get um, character designs approved with white hair. God damn it. Someone. Some, it's, not, it's, it's not even just Final Fantasy. It's Square Enix. Someone, uh, someone at Square Enix who approves character designs has a fetish for white hair. And I honestly don't blame them. I do too. But. But it's Square Renix as a whole, it seems. Tataru should be here any moment with our ships, Captain. So gone by sea after all. It's more we're blending, uh, um, lending us our pick of the Crimson Fleet. Not exactly. You're right in as much as we'll be traveling by sea. Regrettably, simply not feasible for an airship to travel such a distance without impossibly large fuel reserves. To say nothing in the inevitability of running afoul of the Empire's aerial defenses. But then it's equally infeasible to sail an Eagles and Alliance vessel halfway around the world without the Empire taking notice. So we're taking a pirate ship that doesn't have uh, maelstrom flags on it. <laughs> Which leaves us with only one option. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh! Oh, okay! Carveline! Okay! So to keep you waiting, I present to you Captain Carveline of the Kraken's Arms! Hello! <laughs> the Kraken's Arms? I told you you made a deal with pirates! <laughs> Minifest just being like, and what's wrong with pirates, huh? Gunners borrow more of ships. But we can get one of the privateer ones. Greetings and salutations, Scions. I take it from your comrades turn that you no longer should proceed without proposed arrangement. Not at all, Captain. Pray forgive my sister her outburst. She's never been one to speak her mind. I, on the other hand, am the very soul of discretion, as many well-respected personages would attest, from the officers of Admiral to the high houses of Ishgard. I think at this point, Manifest knows what's wrong with limbs and pirates, at least. That's true. 
that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, Alphano, what are you doing? <laughs> Alphano, what are you doing? <laughs> A matter of discretion to the high houses of Ishgard, Alphano, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you find out? How did you find out? I mean, Carbon basically admitted it to us, but how'd you find out? <laughs> trying to play politician to a pirate. We found out. How did Alphano find out? Ah, oh, but where was I? Oh, yes, the signs of the Samathon do indeed still wish to employ your services. However, it is important that you're aware of certain extenuating circumstances. He's being Alphano. Jesus Christ, Alphado. And intent on securing passage to the Far East, you came to us, knowing us to be the proud purveyors of said region's finest spices. I don't think he knows he's just playing politician because that's what he does. So I hung out with his cousin at the Astrologicum. I mean, he specifically said high houses of Ishgard. Like, Alphano, Alphano wouldn't just randomly say high houses of Ishgard if he didn't know that Carveline was fucking the son of one of them. <laughs> And yes, yeah, so the Kraken's arms get spices. But you steal from God's fearing merchants out in the high seas. Garlean ones. Garlean ones. Whatever privates here in the Kraken's arms may or may not engage in is strictly within the limits of the law, set forth by our in, uh, indefatigable keeper of peace. More to the point, we are pragma uh, pragmatists. I see a considerable risk in aiding your cause and negligible profit. This is bringing up how cool he was in Heaven's or something. <laughs> Well, I, for one, think the captain has the point. Five seas can be extremely treacherous, and many a poor unfortunate soul have come to grief out um, there on the waves. Why, when we in Ishgard, I heard the tragic, tragical tale of how their heir to the house Durin Dare vanished at sea. Oh, no, to Oh, okay. No, Tataru found it out. No, Tataru found it out. <laughs> Tataru is the one who heard this. Ah. Ah. Her bartending services down in, um... Down at the Forgotten Night have come in handy. I was down on heaven, so Tazara's room is chilled. She started gathering blackmail. I say I can tell a lot of girls has become an adult, trust me. <laughs> Even now, nearly 20 years later, the poor Count remains convinced that his son still lives and would pay a Sultan's ransom for news of his whereabouts. <laughs> Oh, Tataru! Oh, Tataru! Truly a tragedy for the ages and a testament to the misfortunes that may befall us should we act without due consideration. But so long as you're prepared to abide the capricious whims of fate, I'm willing to oblige you this once. Tataru was the one that was in. <laughs> Step up, bitch! <laughs> Thanks, Star. That said, in light of the recent rebellion, I trust you understand that I cannot leave you to Doma itself. I'm gonna take you as far as Kugane in Hi in Hingashi. Is Hingashi where Masosa is from? Masosa is Hingashi. Um, is, was from Hingashi, right? Masosa wasn't from. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I was, I was gonna say he wasn't from Doma. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna get to visit his homeland. We we'll require time to procure sufficient provisions and make ready for departure. I humbly suggest you do the same. <laughs> I know Samurai's Diamond just sort of adopted slash copied it. Well, also ninjas. Ninjas is a Doma thing. Ninjas is a Doma thing too. Because we don't technically learn until Shadowbringers. We just get confused. Oh yeah, because that was part of fucking Ishgard Restoration, which is Shadowbringers. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <coughs> Ow. I'm not sure what just happened. I could have sworn he was about to turn us away, but then he changed his mind? <laughs> Blackmail, is it? That's a dangerous game <laughs> the two of them are playing. What guarantee do we have that Carverland won't just throw us overboard? Well, I imagine if you throw over fucking one of the highest ranking captains of the Maelstrom, or one of the higher ups of the Maelstrom, it's not going to go well for you. Poor little boy had only seen 14 summers when he left Ishgard. Can you imagine what it must have felt like? 
to finally be free to explore the world, unbeholden to all the stuffy traditions of the Holy See. Such a shame that he never returned home. Without him, the Count de Durand Dare must look elsewhere for a successor. And the, uh, and the good Lord Janakinard is one step closer to being the next in line. And everyone prays for a future where that doesn't happen. Suddenly all those hours Tatara spent cavorting and capering in the Forgotten Night seem rather better spent, do they not? <laughs> that said, I intend to press the point more obliquely. There was something disconcerting about the pleasure Tatara took in making Captain Carveline squirm. <laughs> <laughs> Tales from the Far East. I don't know, I was thinking of ways you might pass the time. I said we hit to the captain heed the captain's advice and tend our own preparations while we read the vessel for departure. Tatara and I will begin the necessary supplies. I'll say. I should be grateful if you could use time to brief Orinaje on recent developments. May I just wish to review the relevant safety precautions in the event of an emergency at sea. How how very prudent of you. Very well, I should go speak with him. What if it's in Blight when in Lease? I'll let two of you to return to the Raven's Hall and speak with that Diamond Alice. I feel we know too little of their homeland, and any information they can provide would be most welcome. When we have completed our respective tasks, we'll reconvene here at the Ferry Docks. Agreed? Currently travelling to Diabolos. Well, you gotta travel to Diabolos and then travel halfway across the fucking world. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Let's go, it's in Blight one. Da da da. Da. Making a, it's it's it's, it's gonna it's a it's a bit that is confusing for me, and all the times that I fuck it up, isn't canon. Shut up. <laughs> but um, it is a bit that I'm continuing for seemingly the entire game of what the dialogue says. People refer to manifest as isn't always accurate. Some people call it manifest. Some people call it fuckfist. Some people, oh wait, everyone now just calls it resemblement. Waiting for you on Kagane. Well, here we are. We need to talk to lots of people, so I think we should split up. I was going to the House of Splendors. You take the Rising Stones. I'll meet you here after. Got it? First law is always more confusing than real law. I care so much about Minifus as a character now. Hello. Hello. That is not what I meant. That is not what I meant. Sorry, there we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You're looking fancy today. You got a fancy coat on and everything. <laughs> you got a fancy ass coat. So people call it a gods and please are gods, no. That's all fucking thought I'm called her at the end. Yeah, I, I care a ridiculous amount about Minifus as a character now. So now everything is just from. I'm playing the entire game from her perspective. Which is probably why I get fucking destroyed in this game so much emotionally. Domino's peace in our time. I should like to see it with my own eyes. Perhaps I'll take these. Oh, the hot springs. Oh, my tells me <laughs> of as well. You truly plan to travel to Doma? Hey. I do not want to know what to say. Forgive me. I'll show you the best of my ability. Ours is a beautiful land, nestled on the eastern coast of Othard. Along the banks of the One River, our nation thrived, proud and free, till Galleons came 25 years ago. The river was our lifeblood, free to travel and to fish. But travel was soon restricted, and now the river belongs to none. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa Sean. <laughs> Papa Sean, if you ever need a pizza that makes you not want to kill yourself. Greetings, Manifest. Sorry, it's in Blightwind. <laughs> well, I guess she would call her Manifest and then Manifest corrects her. What brings you to the toll this day? Is gonna teach you how to eat with chopsticks though. Hey! I can eat half decently with chopsticks. Though I struggle with rice and chopsticks. That I don't know how you're meant to do. How are you meant to eat rice with chopsticks? I know I can just use a spoon. But I see some people eat rice with chopsticks. And I have no idea how that works. That is wizardry to me. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> we can manifest it with chopsticks. Can, can Minifist use cutlery? Let, let, step back a second. Step back a second. Can Minifist use a knife and fork? <laughs> Let's let's take it a step further back. <laughs> First. What? You are Fedoma. Heavens. You science have shown us naught but kindness. Never in my wildest dreams would imagine you would fight for our homeland. For twenty five years we suffered under their tyranny. Then we spied an opportunity. The Emperor, dead. Garlemald in chaos. Soon the time was arrived. Beneath our Lord's banners we gathered and fought to reclaim our nation. But when Xenos arrived with the twelfth legion, 
was over an answer. Is it safe to let her use a knife and fork? <laughs> there we go. Now we've come to the real question at the end of it all. Now we've come to the real question at the end of it all. Zara's and Joseph the remainder of her responsibilities in her absence. She would require aught. Praise do not hesitate to ask. Does Haru need to teach mine if I start to use knife and fork? Maybe Yagiri can teach her how to use <laughs> chopsticks once we get there. No one would bring me greater joy than to join you on your journey. However, Lady Yagiri made it clear that we were to remain here and safeguard the community we have here. Hmm? What is it, my friend? You look as though you have something to ask. Tell me all you know about your homeland. That you go join Yagiri and Kasetsu and the fight fills me with such joy! Ah, forgive my exuberance. You require information, yes? We of the Nagai clan have served Doma faithfully for generations. My ancestors held positions within Doma Castle, even. Now it is home to the Imperial Viceroy's Witch, and her, and her host of men in Magitek. The thing that was once the shining symbol of her heritage, and the dear seat of Lord Kyan, has become a den for Galleon dogs. Well, we have an idea of something that we should go to, if that's where all the bullshit is. Though maybe not as our first stop, as, you know, we've seen how poorly that can go. <laughs> and we just immediately go, let's just do everything now. Oh, at least back outside. <laughs> hey, Liz. Oh, there you are! Anything interesting? The other moments I spoke with teach me, um, probably teach me about fair Eastern customs and the importance of formality and politeness. I think your going to be just as stiff and stuffy as anyone, especially as guardians. But anyway, did you know they eat with sticks? It wasn't all that hard, actually. Or at least, that's what I thought until they told me I was holding them wrong. And when I spoke with the younger diamonds, they just rubbed their eyes and told me it was all a load of stupid old... <laughs> Lise was stabbing the food with the chopsticks, wasn't she? Lise was stabbing the food with the chopsticks and then just using it as, like, a single-pronged fork, wasn't she? It's 100% what she was doing. I probably also have chopsticks wrong. I've not actually checked how to hold chopsticks properly. I just hold them in a way where I can use them. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Again, the rice is the one that I struggle with. Everything else is fine. Rice is the one I struggle with. And then sometimes when I get the sushi roll, and the sushi roll is just really falling apart because of the sushi rolls that I get are just dripping wet with sauce. And then, like, you get little bits of rice is stuck in there. I'm just like, how do I get you? Ah! Wow. Well, Yulin says a lot more useful. Unless someone invites us for dinner, of course. I hope they do. <laughs> well, we have a bunch of this stuff. Oh, we get material. I'll take the material. It's also the microphone. Not without incident. Like, at least things it's time. Yeah, at least things it's time you return to Limsa Luminza. Right? No point waiting around here, is there? We should go back to Limsa Luminza. Alpha and I said to meet at the Fairy Ducks, I think. Don't know why it just dawned on me that I didn't actually get ready for the, um, the gold saucer fashion report thing. I'm already in one part of it. I'm ready for one aspect of it. But I forgot to get the die. I don't know why that just flicked in my head that I didn't do that. Jesus Christ. Well, I'll succumb to Limsa for the story, and oh my god, this place is fucking packed. A lot of those, that, oh, we're really good at, um, at using Hubsies, could use them on rice. Um, haven't used them in a long time, though. <laughs> So as in, I have no idea. I have no idea how to pick up rice with it. That is something I've struggled with. I know, like, part of the idea is, like, you can use it like a scoop to pick it up, but I'm so bad at it. I'm so bad at it. I mean, like, I use chopsticks fairly frequently. One, because I eat way too much instant ramen. And two, some of the um, dinners that I cook are just much easier with chopsticks, like certain noodles and stuff like that. But, rice I struggle with. Rice I struggle with. If I'm having a rice dish, I just say, fuck, I use a spoon. <laughs> the misery is the finest ship to ever sell the Rattana, and I'll not hear any men, man say otherwise. Every single ship that people have in Limsa say is the best ship that has ever been in Limsa. Everyone says that. A sapphire fight to sumptuous foods, wondrous sundries, pendulum of clean undergarments. Yes, I do believe we have everything we need for a lengthy voyage. Suddenly, I'm glad we got Tatara taking care of business. Tatara's good at this ship. She's very useful. An army marches on its stomach. Sorry, I took that lesson to heart. <laughs> You're right. My ship, however! I mean, my ship is Minicus Epic Gistola. And fuck you, that's the best ship. <laughs> you returned up. Lucent Blackman. I'm trusting much from my Dermon friends and Reapman's toll. 
I'm making a hit roll, but I can wait until we have left port. We'll have time enough to talk on our journey to Kagane. Again, this is two months. I would like to be clear. According to Encyclopedia Eorzea, this is a two month journey. This is two months. The spice training friends have completed their preparations. Should we complete yours? You may inform the deck count that we are ready to depart. Better bring a book. 20. I have the ones that won't be ruined by the brownie here. All set, lass? Let's see the ship, if so. Board the misery? Ah, oh, I miss the misery. I'm in the business of misery. The other songs that probably have the word misery in them. Panhandling misery! There we go. I got another one. Every single pirate is my enemy. Hey! Hey! Though we're not very piratey at this stage, are we? Mariage! Hello. Twelve be praised. Full sure was I that I had come too late. Hey, Mariage. What's up? Mariage? Tell me you haven't come all this way just to see us off. <laughs> Nay, my lady. Ere you quit these shores for eastern climes, I wished to share some words of seeming import. Uh, he, he, he can't help himself. He always has to talk like this, doesn't he? We're gonna take that bed sheet off. Show us how hot you are! Show your hotness! Look ye where the sun doth rise. See crimson embers, darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall. See azure lost amidst the squall. Thanks for the poetry, Ariage. <laughs> uh, spy at this point. We all know how hot he is. Well, that sounds suitably foreboding. Another one of your prophecies, I presume? Of far eastern origin, aye. It is mine earnest hope that this ancient wisdom may serve to guide you on your journey. For what dangers lie in wait for you upon those distant shores are yet beyond my knowing. Also, here's a gun. <laughs> Here, become a machinist. It'll be useful. Oh, a parting gift befitting your roundabout ways. <laughs> Thank you. I have more than words for you, my lady. Oh! Oh! Now that's a fancy sword. It's beautiful. Is it for me? So that fiction do proper red mage. <laughs> if the prophecy doesn't work, just shoot him in the face. Yeah, she's now proper red mage. She's not like summoner into red mage. She's got an actual sword to use now. It's fancy as hell. I just have to conjure up with Aether. It's fancy as hell. Though undeniably powerful, your ethereal blade taxeth you greatly in the wielding. Not so this rapier, which shall serve you just as well against all but the most formidable foe. Impressive. It feels as though it's attuned to my ether. I shall treasure it. Hey. Honored guests, say your farewells, for the moment of our parting draws nigh. A fair wind blows, and I mean to follow it. <laughs> hey, carve line voice. Our ship is set to sail. Pray give my regards to Thancred and the others, and take care. Is that Xenus? I was honestly wondering for a second if that was just Xenus again. <laughs> it is! <laughs> okay, I was wondering. I was wondering if it was him. <laughs> I was wondering if it was him when he was talking. I'm just like, it sounds a little like him. This guy's gonna get like two lines, so just give the main villain of the of, of the fucking expansion a, a, a second job. <laughs> That's a pirate voice. <laughs> He's his guardian. He's his guardian. He, he may not fully have adopted into the into the pirate can't speak. Vesper is really good and has good range. <laughs> How do you know the in the middle of the ocean for fighting reasons? It was me secretly all the time! Fight me again! But you kicked my ass last time. Fight me again! Okay. To be fair, 
We did last significantly longer against Xenos than literally anyone else. By a significant margin. Everyone else was wiped out in one or two attacks. It took a fair few to, to wipe us out. And we also did break his sword in the process. He may have completely and utterly shattered our pirate axe, but we, um, our, our dragon axe. But we did break his sword. We did break his sword back. By the way, we're leaving Aeorzea for the first time in this game. This is a huge, this is a huge thing. This is our first steps out of Aeorzea for the entire game so far. Do we want to make a stop at Radzart Han on the way? <laughs> Shall we make a stop at Radzart Han on the way? I'm going to be serious about this, but I guess we have like 15 hour armor chest. Yeah, he needs more golf clubs now. A fine day, is it not? Fair winds and following seas. The misery is enjoying herself. It like it sound it does sound like it's a different character, but it is very much his voice actor. <laughs> it is very much his voice actor. Nevertheless, it would not do for you to spend the entirety of our voyage above deck. Let me show you to your quarters. We get to be on a boat again. Oh, Alpha Note, does this bring back memories? Surprised how many bosses just all the voices. <laughs> that I've not noticed. That I have not noticed. Alpha no, does this bring back memories? Remember when we first met, even though we didn't talk to each other? Remember how that was? Oh. Is it supposed to do that? Not under normal circumstances. Okay, so something's fucked. Okay, cool! Not with that incident! <laughs> Collins. You need it on deck. Something queers afoot. The winds died down, the waters went still, and all of a sudden, we were dragged off course. Okay, that doesn't sound like Gallians, I'll be honest. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Gallians. Dragged? By what? The queer afoot is me. Can't rightly say. Queer afoot is most of my chat. But some of the lads are muttering about seeing things in the water. Things that shouldn't be there. Uh oh. Oh, for the love. If you will excuse me a moment. Actually, might I persuade you to join me? Loath though I am to admit it, I have a bad feeling about this. Imagine Dragon's trying to check back. <laughs> Sorry. It is weird to give Carveline. Oh, cool! Unique weather effect. No, never mind. The wind effect is just wind. The weather effect is just wind. It is weird to give Carverline Xenos this VA, considering, like, we just fought Xenos, and that's why we're leaving in the first place. Sorry. Don't mind me. Just gonna do a spot of... Fine! Fine! Fine. So I'm just gonna go back down to the game plank. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that just goes to Limsa Liminsa. Oh, that just goes back to Limsa Liminsa. Oh, okay. This is the least queer place I've ever been. It's just the pirate deck. This ain't right. This ain't right at all. Go back to Limsa. Somehow. Always has to be away, just in case. You go back to Handy. Uh, um, uh, you have to talk to to come back. And the boat is very confused. I imagine he would be. <laughs> I imagine he'd be very confused. Like, how the- what? what how? What? Okay, what? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I do I started. Well, you have any idea what's going on? We're a good swimmer. <clears throat> now, as the man said, despite the absence of wind and current, the misery is somehow being pulled off course. Well, why not fire up the Cerulean mentions you have hidden below? Excellent suggestion, made something knowledge you should not, uh, not have. Alas, our engineers, um, our engines may be malfunctioning for reasons that escape my engineers at present. <laughs> the pirate boat has a secret engine to use if, as a backup if the winds aren't forgiving. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Telling you, Captain, it's them. Things the lads saw. Things. I suppose I can convince you to attempt something more descriptive. An adjective, for example. Shouldn't know that, but good idea. <laughs> 
Sea Wolf superstitions and fairy tales, not more. But if you must know, these things, which he is sort of reticent to name, are the souls of deceased women sent to lure sailors to their deaths. Oh, they're real in this universe! They are real in this universe! We fought one as a boss in a lighthouse. Sirens are real. Sirens are real. Preposterous. Not really, I've literally fought one! <laughs> yes, indeed. If it is neither the scene nor the weather which is responsible, then it's probably a predatory entity of some sort. Perhaps a siren or some such. For all we know, it could be a fellow spy trader employing magics to seize and plunder passing vessels. What type of magic does this? It's completely different from sirens on account that we already used that as a boss. <laughs> Regardless, we have but one recourse. Let the current take us where it will and deal with whatever we find there. So, man, that's one hell of a plan. Let's just. How, what if we just kill whatever's causing the problem? That usually works for us. What a thoroughly pragmatic suggestion. Oh, I'm beginning to like you, girl. <laughs> I assure you the feeling is not mutual. <clears throat> Once we arrive at our destination, it'll, um, be it a vessel or an island or something else, Lisa and I will remain on the ship to defend in case of attack. It's in Blackwind. I believe you, you would be ideal choice to venture forth and deal with the course of our troubles. What's on? And we walk into the trap and fuck it up. Saints Row 2 this shit. That's what we're doing. Then it's settled. I don't know what awaits us, but it will rue the day it reeled us in. <laughs> it is funny how different Alice and Alpha Note are in that regard. <laughs> It is sirens! It is sirens! <laughs> it's literally just sirens! Dungeon! Actual dungeon time! Actual dungeon time! Crew assemble! The fiery one. I don't say, was it? Spear shields are profession in such disdain. Should make an excellent pirate. <laughs> I'm not saying that I believe you on a shadow of a doubt that vengeful spirits are pointing out demise at this very moment. I'm just saying we can't discount the possibility. <laughs> Also, I'm noticing an issue with this hat. I am noticing an issue with this hat in cutscenes, and that it is really big and Minifist is really tall. So if Minifist has to look down at characters, the hat does cover her face. But so be it. Say that as part of her wanting to cover her face to cover her shame of failure. <laughs> what? Why do you look at me like that? I'm calm as collected as ever. Carry on. <laughs> I have not terrified of ghost stories as a child. Glad to see that some things never change. Shandai rolls, um, send this out since you said you see a sinking gun. Did you want to do this one? Oh, got Venture Shadows there, okay. My Shadows stays below deck until we know it's safe. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Got a clip in there. Oh, also got to drink my orange juice. So we're actually on a pirate ship. We're actually out at sea. Got to avoid the scurvies. Got to avoid the scurvies. We have to avoid the scurvy. We're actually out at sea now. All right, <laughs> and I just deal with uh, I just deal with um, support that doesn't exist right now. All right, Siren Song Zoo with a party of other players. With the aid of Captain Carvalhan and his misery, you and your companions have embarked on a lengthy voyage to the Far East. Last our voyage across the five seas is entirely uneventful. The ship has been dragged off course by a mysterious force, and the men have begun to whisper of strange things in the water. Needless to say, you and your fellow adventurers will be having none of that. Once it reaches its unknown destination, you go ashore and deal with whatever things you find. Okay, question. Question. How the fuck are we getting you all in to help me on this? Like, law reason! Convenient three embassies for duty support when it happens. How- but how are you here to do this with me? Were you on the boat the entire time with me? <laughs> Did- are you- <laughs> Law-wise, we're probably all on the boat with you. You're all journeying with me to Kagane. Pleasure cruise law reason, we're in your pocket. <laughs> okay, only uh, that only works for Artesia. None of the rest of you would fit in my pocket. I know I might be the tallest character, but none of the rest of you are gonna fit in there. <laughs> Question mark. The siren song C. Oh, awesome. Oh, awesome. They're immediately uh, uh, attacking our deck. Awesome. They're immediately on board. Well, that's terrifying. Hammer space, obviously. Again, Artesia would fit. Oh, the rest of you would. See how good I am a white mage? Hell yeah, let's go. And by the way, I'm not a tank. 
Jesus Christ, Veggie Tales. Jesus Christ, Veggie Tales. No, Serena. Serena got driver licensed. <laughs> no. Hey, the Obsidian Carbuncle. No oh, right, but to fight. Who wants a song? Oh, I was about to say, why am I not attacking? Why am I not attacking? Oh, because I'm locked onto one of the fucking signs. That all you got? Ah, attack! By the way, I'm not good at Bard. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like everyone to be aware that I am not great at Bard. So this is going to be a journey of me trying to get good at Bard. Bard has a lot of fucking buttons to press, basically all the fucking time. Get them all! Get him! Get him! There we go. I still got song? I still got song. I still got, I still got a couple bits of song. And next song, let's go! This thing is fancy. <laughs> Island at ahead! All hands brace for impact! Or jump as you get- There we go! The T. Gonna arrive at our destination. Get it going, great our host is in Blackwing. Oh my god, Ymir's are back! Oh, I don't know if that was called Ymir before, but the fucking snail things are back! <laughs> this- Carveline had one of these earlier. Carveline had one of these earlier. Do I still have Oh, I do have Fiona. And Crack Lords. I did not expect the first dungeon of this to be like a seafaring adventure through a bunch of um, fucking nightmares from the deep, but here we are. Song number two. You know what, you get a, you know a second because I can. But remember to use my other cooldowns in bubbles. I'm too used to alliance rates because it's the easiest um, dungeon to go for. Uh, the easiest thing to go for. Bam. I wonder if it's when I meant to do the Apex R. Whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. Whee! That, that sound is so loud. I'm gonna turn down the volume volume ever so slightly for the dungeon. <laughs> You're gonna hear ching a lot. Alright. If you don't pull in a second, I'm going to because I need to use my arrow. There we go! <laughs> there we go! Song number two. Is that gonna hit? There it is. Hit eventually. Hit eventually. Man. There we go. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Jesus! Hydro ball. Hydro balls in your face. Got him. Cracked. Till sea swallows all! Ah, Jesus. Concussive oscillation. You can't hit me with your bullshit. Fucked. More first applause. More songs. So I know what I'm doing. I have iron's jealous. There's so many buttons. <laughs> it's just, Bard just has so many buttons. Now that's at level 60, Bard just has buttons fucking everywhere. And then you do armies pounding, and you just it's the same button, just press more buttons again. Like, press the buttons faster. <laughs> Music is dramatic, but... Oh, Jesus. Ah! No! Get close! Yay! God, that is still, that is still painful. Perfect. Do I have, oh, I do have, I do have access to um, my mitigation. I thought that was like high 60s for um for this. Or maybe it is 62 so I can use it now. I do have access to I think it's Strobidor. Well that's Well that's something. How about more buttons? Even more buttons. i I mean, at this stage I have access to most buttons that Bard has. Yeah, so there's something in the distance. Whoa Christ! Ghost ships! Ghost ships. <laughs> ships of ghostly natures. <laughs> I 
Just spamming the screen with particle effects. Actually, I don't have all your particle effects, so let me turn those on. No, that. There we go. There we go. I gotta say some of your particle effects. There's only four people. I can, I can say basic ones. Or I can turn it to all and we just fuck up the screen. I could do that. <laughs> Everyone die and attack! Ah! I gotta remember to use my other things. Obviously. Not now, because it's pointless. <laughs> Buttons everywhere. Just press it and just mash the controller! Mash the controller! Everything will die eventually if you just mash the controller as fast as you fucking can. And I gotta remember we can sprint. The ghost ship is teleporting around. The ghost ship is teleporting everywhere. Fucking terrifying. Will we fall through this? No, there are enemies on here, so it's probably real. It seems like it might be real this time. The ship might be real this time. Damage numbers everywhere! Damage numbers everywhere! Die already, Jesus. Get out of here, skinless skipper. There we go. This place does look cool. For like a shipwreck graveyard, like, cursed island in the middle of the ocean, this does look cool as heck. The governor. The governor. Alright then. If Shadow run away from us, I better run away. Shadow? Oh, okay. That Shadow? That's him bad. That seems concerning. But we did it. We did the runaway. Blood burst. We're gonna do this just to be safe. Drop it all! Yeah, see, I mitigated that. I did a party-wide mitigation! Everyone's impressed with me. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know. I saw that a little late that I was, uh, I, I was targeting something. Wrong buttons. There we go. That's the shadow I run away from. That was the shadow I run away from. Blood burst! Music is dramatic and ominous. Why is only one of my... I thought I did both of them. Oh god! Wait, they're not attacking. Oh gods! Okay. That's a lot going on at once. Jesus Christ. I know I'm not pressing my survive buttons. Try to focus on this and also if my headphones are about to fall out. I have like six bone stacks. <laughs> I have about six bone stacks. I, I'm gonna run away again. Okay, sorry. My friends are about to fall out. Let me fucking fix that. Ah! <laughs> ah! There we go. <laughs> I did one facial expression during that and it made my headphones want to fucking come out of my skull. It's like, ah, goddammit, no. And now I think I shoved them in too far because now I can hear myself echoing in my own brain. Ugh. 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 I'll forever bitch about comfort levels. I'll never be comfortable. Never, it will never happen. I'll never be comfortable with anything. This is gonna go so well, this expansion. It's gonna go so well. It's gonna go so great with me using Bard all the time. I'm so good at Bard, don't worry about it. I keep mixing that up and I don't know why. I keep mixing up, um, doing the attack for Wanderer's Mini Way with, um, the Peon attack. Uh, the Wanderer's Peon. Like, the the thing that is a Suna. I keep fucking them up. I keep mixing them up. And I keep accidentally doing a Suna when I mean to just do my arrow attack. Constantly happens. How long until I get this? I think that's like an 80s skill. It's in the 70s or 80s, so it'll be a while before I get to use it. <laughs> 
It's basically the it's basically the multi attack but uh, the the AOE version of um the heavy shot here. Die. I think a problem that I'm having with doing bot stuff, which is because of that thing I was being warned about before, of it's an issue with um, input stuff. I'm trying to shove multiple OGCDs in between my normal attacks, and it's just not fast enough to do that. So I think I've done one of the attacks, but I haven't. I have to learn to try and only weave one in between each one. I imagine optimal playing of this would be do more, probably optimal playing of this would, you'd get a lot more in than just one, but I'm not playing off the thing. Dark. There, I got interrupted as well. Fuck okay. yeah. Oh yeah, I, all right, range has a, I have a range on here, don't I? A headshot, I think. I mean, I do actually, I do have an interrupt on, um, uh, ranged attack, which I forget about. Ranged attackers do have one. I constantly forget about head grows. I constantly forget about head grows. Here. Oh my god, is it a siren? Well, it's a little different to the sirens that we've seen before. Stormblood boss theme, let's go! <laughs> Everyone's excited for the Stormblood boss music. Everyone's excited. Lorelei. Everyone's excited for this. Uh, you can feel one or two ping on skills, so there isn't really possible that it's a super, super good ping. Well, I think my ping is bad, so I think two is impossible. That's more so my thing. I don't think I can fit two because of ping. I've been waiting for you. Virgin tears. I'll stop being a virgin once I'm done with you. What? Oh, the fallen brothers! <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Born from blood of the fallen brothers! Okay, so the song from the intro is here. Yeah, that's pretty sick. That's a pretty sick way of doing it. <laughs> Morbid advance. Oh, Jesus! Oh, okay, so, okay, you go, like, in a straight line when that happens. Okay. You go in a, in a straight line for that. Okay. So that's what it is. Okay. Oh, okay, now, and now we go backwards, because it's retreat. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's a, that's, that's a cool mechanic. That's a cool mechanic, I appreciate that. Oh, that's just everywhere. That's just everywhere. Advance, okay. Oh Jesus, oh god, oh god! <laughs> it's going everywhere. It's going everywhere. No, I let my poison drop! I let my poison drop. My dots. My dots! I can't possibly contain all my dots! There we go! There we go! Woo! 
I will get better at bot at some point, possibly, maybe. I killed that Lapras. It did it. Hey, we fucked up your tower. Get shot on. Simple first boss. The march thing is a cool thing. That's supposed to be exactly one mechanic, but it does a lot with it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool how it's like you gotta pay attention to just how you're gonna be forced to move. The eye of Sauron has fallen. Ghost Bark Katana. Cool, I got a katana. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I can't sing a song. I can, I can sing a peloton. Woo! That's our chair. There we go. There we go. I'm, I'm gonna just let everyone know. I'm gonna be very bad at bud. It's also more of a tank thing. That is true, but it's nice to it's nice to remember when I do have it. I mean, Asuna is more of a healer thing, but I also do have a spare Asuna. Thanks though, for twelve. Though our Asuna, Bard Asuna, is an OGCD, where it's a where it's a GCD for healer. So if a Bard can do it, it's better for a Bard to do um to do Asuna. Hey, now there's not a massive storm here. The storm of rain has stopped. I'll the finish that you can go back and walk through it to see what it looks like in clear weather. <laughs> Everything here would appear to be in order. Good. Repairs should be completed by the time we return to the misery. Whereupon we shall resume our journey without further delay. That, um, that specifically could be a real motherfucker if you don't interrupt your shit, especially if you drive the dogs on the pool before him. <laughs> yeah, that one you, yeah, yeah, interrupting that one seems to be pretty important. Nowadays you can do it in explorer mode, but. <laughs> Guys, uh, um, Baroque stuff is mostly all sets of different colors for different colors, so, um, so it can be fun. The weapons are Google li um, Library, but Diable. Oh. I swear, if I never hear another ghost story, it will be too soon. <laughs> oh, Alfie. Oh, Alfie. Yeah, Bard just has so many buttons, and I just gotta remember that I have access to all of them, and the best way to weave them in between things. To Hingashi! We're just past Doma. But I guess Doma itself is fucked, so we don't wanna pull up there. Which would make sense. Which would make sense. I remember the sea. The smell of the salt and the crash of the waves as we drew closer to Kugane. Welcome to Fantasy Japan. The sea is really loud, actually. The only port open to outsiders in Hingashi, across the Ruby Sea from Othard, from Doma. Oh, so there's still Galleon shit here. Okay. Okay, so this place all is still occupied. The rainbow, all the peoples of the world, all in one place. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, so, okay, so all the stuff that she's doing here, she's like writing it to Papa Limo. Okay. Yeah, she's writing this all to Papa Limo. Biggest fan of dungeon, just how I know where it is plot wise. Oh, uh, the player has gone long enough without a dungeon. Give him a dungeon. Uh, you're attacked while traveling to Othard. It's free to have a Galleon embassy and other nations. It's weird to have an embassy for Galleon. But I guess places have embassies for the United States, so. Oh, okay. And that's also just the theme here as well. <laughs> game love. I'm noticing the game loves its light motifs. Noticing the game fucking loves its light motifs. <laughs> So as we um, get out of Rexford City too, like we did when we first got to Ishgard. Storm of Blood, but Japanese. Thanks again for uh, saving us from a certain death at the hands of Lorelei and whatnot. We'll not soon forget it. <laughs> oh, that's well. I've never been happy to be back on Terra Firma. My voyages until me a new appreciation for services which do not move of their own accord. PS3 is dead in a fire. The whole city is one zone! Oh, really? Hey! Fuck the PS3! All my homies hate the PS3! Woo! <laughs> hey! One's alpha, no dogs on Terra Farmer. 
It's fine. They if if they're bolted into the ground, they won't move um on their own accord. So it's fine. Strange. Is it just me or is the ground swaying? That's just your sea licks, it's our Gotta be a pirate, I gotta be using that shit. I I don't know what I was expecting. It wasn't this. It's very colourful, is it not? Yeah, the most back again is the inn doesn't have a mender. <laughs> I always use the mender down Hawker's Alley anyway in Limsa. For reasons! Congratulations. You know, San Kagane, the western port of Ingashi. Regrettably, the only port in this nation open to foreign trade. And it's very pretty at night. And we have the lighting fixed now. I want to do apologize for the unforeseen difficulties which propel us during our journey. Needless to say, your assistance in overcoming them was much appreciated. And hopefully, you won't run into them when you go back. I actually go to the inn and sleep and stuff. We actually have a bed now! Incidentally speaking, did we get a title for that? Survivor of the Song! We got a title for that. Fuck you going at night for reasons. <laughs> As they're ghosts. The man from all da. So why traveling halfway around the world? I thought I was in no mood to take it, take in the sights. Glad that I'm to have to arrive. I'd remind you all that we are far from home, with limited resources at our disposal. It's hard to see. Should I have even saw common titles from now on, I believe? Nice. Remember making Kanani your free destination it's extremely expensive to travel here? It's across an entire sea. It would be a wise idea. It would be a wise idea. Totally noted, brother. I shall take care not to enjoy myself. In any event, Dome is our final destination, and our first order of business should be to secure passage there. I'm gonna see this so I get two teleports. Uh, is this the. Okay, people were talking about it before. Is the home area for this place the most popular one? People were talking about it before about how Limsa wasn't actually that popular, and I'm just like, oh, so it's Ishgard, and it wasn't. Is it this one? Is this one? Okay, that makes sense. It's my free teleport, especially back and forth. Um, there is for quests. Well, if it's a free one, that's the one you use return on, right? So it might be a wise idea. And that, that recharges every 15 minutes. Paying to get back to Limsa instead of using return is probably not that expensive for the most part. We population. <laughs> Captain Carverline, I realize you have only take us as far as Kagan. I have no desire to change terms of our agreement. I should, however, be interested to know how you would go about reaching Othard. Were you in our position? I the risk of saying the obvious, you're in a port. Surely there is a kind and generous ollie who would aid you for the right price. And I'd be the first traveler seeking passage at Doma. Kazza makes a good point. It is like that Yuguri and Gazetsu were forced to come here for the self same reasons we were. They must have found a way to Othard. Assuming they're not still in the city. Hmm. Oh, we seek passage. Perhaps we should first seek out our friends. Leave it to me, Alphano. Making friendly inquiries is my specialty. Lest you forget, I got plenty of practice in Ishgard. <laughs> Captain Carveline, could you direct us to the nearest tavern? Desperate for a drink, are we? You may find one in that large building just beyond the pier. Whether your journeys have come to an end or are about to begin, the Shiokaze hostelry. Um, yeah, hostelry. It's an ideal place to rest, relax, and reflect. Well, so they say. Uh, it's a vector authentication, gives you a free teleport. Oh, I don't have that. Oh, I don't have that. So, okay. Okay. So you get a free one and a return. Okay. Yeah, I've not done 2FA. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. And with that, my dear Sion, I bid you farewell. As soon as we have replenished our supplies, we must away. As was ever a fast moving business. The spice trade, you mean? But of course! Surely you do not think I travelled halfway around the world and delivered you to your destination solely out of the kindness of my heart. <laughs> Perish the thought. Thank you, Captain. And may the navigator watch over you, watch over and keep you. So if I have as much more forgiving time than most other apps, I like it. Right then. So the hostelry. After you! Alphano getting his drink on. Is the drinking age lower in this country than Ayosia? Also get a plate design. I have the companion app ones. I don't have two, uh, t two FA ones. Those are some giant fucking casks. <laughs> By the twelve, I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this—we are certainly not in Ayosia anymore. 
This, this is our first step outside of Aeolsia for the entire game. This is pretty big. <laughs> a tavern is a tavern, Alphano, here or anywhere else. Now, <laughs> if you'll excuse me, it's time to do what... No I matter think. where people may be, they want to get shit-faced. And if they get shit-faced, it's out of place to drink. And if people are drinking, there are stories to be told. Oh, a thousand pardons, my lady. Where was my skull and now doing it in violet? Farming those EXP candies. Time to do only what Tara can do. Hey, my nephews can drink. A lot. The signs of the seventh dawn, I presume. I hope your voyage was not too trying. Oh, you're, you, you're familiar with us. And you are. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. <laughs> Hancock of the East Aldenard Trading Company. At your service. Why, On man? behalf of Chairman Lollorito, I bid you welcome to Kugani and invite you to take refreshments at our local offices. <laughs> Why did it appears in a Yukata or whatever this particular version is? I do get Yukata and Kimono and all those things mixed up because I am also white as hell. But <laughs> immediately this shows up, my chat. White man. <laughs> Friend? Question mark. What? You're here on behalf of Lollorito? We were not subtle about the fact that we were coming here. We were not subtle about coming here if Lollorito's also aware of it, too. That's slightly concerning. Lollorito? I was aware his interests extended beyond the borders of Eorzea, but not so far as Kagane. <laughs> People do business around the world. Carveline's got business here. Yeah, I think someone a pip above him in money's gonna do that. We did a cost Carveline in the middle of the street. <laughs> Regardless, I am disinclined to accept the hospitality of grinning merchants. Especially those who serve a master with whom we have such a difficult relationship. Difficult an understatement on that one. My, such <laughs> naked suspicion. The dude who was working for Lollarito cut off Raban's arm. Then Lollarito kept Nanamo in a co coma, locked away and hidden. And then also the dude who was working for Lollarito summoned a chuckle fucking primal dragon. I think we have all the reasons to be suspicious, my bro. My man. I do hope that business with the Crystal Braves did not rob you of all faith in your fellow man. Or do you really think the chairman is plotting to drag you into another one of his grand schemes? Yes, I obviously think that. I beg your pardon. If you are trying to win my trust, you are failing quite spectacularly. <laughs> oh dear, have I offended you? Tatara, can you punch him in the balls for me? Once again, I must apologize. Too much time in the Far East, you see. One is compelled to talk in circles round everything here, and one finds oneself longing for the invigoratingly candid speech of the Uldan markets. Though I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. <sighs> Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. It would be decidedly reckless to say any more. I fucking hate that this man shares my haircut. I fucking hate that this man shares my haircut. Pisses me off. Pisses me off that this this that we finally meet an NPC who has the same hairstyle as Minifist, and it's this prick. <laughs> At least it's not grey. At least it's not grey. If I may favor you with the invigorating candy you apparently crave, it would be decidedly reckless to follow a man I neither know nor trust. Give me one good reason why we should accept Lord Lollorito's invitation. <laughs> now there's the young diplomat I was told to expect. <laughs> Very well then, I shall explain. You understand that you are come to a most reclusive and secretive nation, yes? One whose borders are close to foreign trade, save at this single port. What a punchable face. So, yeah, so Hingashi is locked away. They don't want to deal with the other people at all. Which, given that there are Galleons right on their fucking doorstep in Doma, that might be why. Or maybe they've always been like that. Then it should come as no surprise that a great many parties have vested interests here. 
Merchants like myself are a given, of course, but for every one of us, you may be certain there is also an agent of a foreign government. Many notable nations and empires have embassies here, you know, including, of course, the Garlean Empire, with whom you have such a difficult relationship. I'm trying to restrain everything in my body to not blurt out into song. It's taking everything in my body to not burst into song. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Sorry! 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 Heroes and I have shell! Turtle power! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry! To paraphrase, Kagani is teaming with Imperial spies, one or several of whom could now be listening to our every word. Something to that effect, yes. Beneath this veneer of bustling trade, a war for supremacy is being waged between world powers. One might say we were standing on the front lines, just not in public. Total power. I still have my doubts, but he may have a point. I say we accept his invitation for now. For now. For now. For now. Uh, I don't trust him one bit. Neither should you. Forgive me. Me mention of me salt on trading company is fair enough to. I'm fine. Truly, you need not worry. It's amazing how, like, that it, like, East Aldnar Trading Company is so explicitly just meant to be East India Trading Company. It is so explicit that's what it's based on. Do you favor and turn around for a second? Oh, I shall do that once I talk to you. And real spies everywhere. Great, just great. It's not subtle. It's very not subtle. I appreciate it. I just say, when I was a message match. <laughs> Hi! Hello! <laughs> Hello! You might want to heal yourself. Pretty butterfly book. Hello! Falcon Porter! Huh! Oh! They don't have chocobos here. Chocobos are Eorzean. I didn't actually know that. No chocobos, and I thought. Good morning to you, madam. You wish I a falcon porter. I say, this is not your first visit to our shop. Okay, so I'll shout your name to Alfred of Vichy, Easter Travel. Remember in our window, and said chocobos were horse birds and. Oh, yeah! 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 The domains were just like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that did happen, right. Falcon Porter. Not enough girl to play a bloody Aether until the HP. But you see, we want to fly in peace to join the view from on high instead of fumbling through your maps. Find more exactly what you need. Birds will carry you quickly and safely to one of the many convenient destinations for a small full handful of coin. And I'll use those two simple rules. Personally, should you be smart while on right, you're not be allowed to re um, remount. Falcon will fly on to his destination, leaving you to fend for yourself. Secondly, each, although each shop has full list of successful destinations, will only thoroughly travel to those which you have visited at least once before. This is unsure that, on the off chance one of our birds becomes disoriented and loses his way, you'll be able to guide him back on course. Restored, however, this never happened once in our many years of service. Our birds trained to travel specific uh, courses and never deviate from them. They've also been bred for speed. There are no other fear or harassment from outside friends. We, in fact, we're so certain of the capacity to deliver you unharmed to your final destination that it should be attached while riding a falcon border. We'll refund your rental fee in full. <laughs> I'm going to sh show you to your bird. Right this way, my lady. But the heavens would land us without glow effects. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the... Where's... Sorry, where's my volume? Music and... Music here is very loud, and I have my volume up to 60! Why do I have it that loud? They have several awesome birds, like weirdos. <laughs> they don't just have, they don't have one thing that is both a bird and everything else. Where would this fairy go to? To Shirogane. The Shirogane Comet! Uh... 
Oh, it's the housing district. Oh, I get a normal horse blood <laughs> I'm not allowed to go there yet. I'm not allowed to go there yet. I don't have access to the place yet. Without the glowing, just not give me a normal falcon. Mr. Kagane, I take it. Is it what you require? What do you do? I'm Tenzan, customs officer of this port. Charged by Lord, uh, the Lord Bugio to ensure that I'm probably mispronouncing that. Um, to ensure that no forbidden articles enter our lands. The house is an open port doesn't mean one can bring in whatsoever one decides. If you wish to conduct business here, must do so within the bounds of our law. Those who attempt to import the goods seem to be threat to our national security will be placed in uh, Sekis, um, Saigumi custody and dealt with severely. If you go see your own shows again, consider yourself warned. What about a giant bow and arrow? What about like 5,000 myth mithril law? I said it means you should already know this, but I shall hear me in nonetheless. Kagane is a port city situated upon Shishu, the westernmost island of Higashi. Amidst a political uh, policy of national isolation, there's a distinction of being the sole port open to the outside world. As all foreign trade is focused here, we customs officers are kept constantly busy, but we cannot afford to be remiss. With that exception, all foreign vessels are quite to undergo inspection here, at P number 2. Well, Masosai, we've made it to your home. I only wish you could have been able to join us on the journey as well. So I know it's not meant to be the case, but Masosai is one of the ones that weighs heavily on me. That was a fairly impactful jump quest. New Aetheri, new shard designs. Oh yeah! Sorry, I didn't notice the giant thing on top of it, I only noticed the crystal. Yeah, it has a giant rotating thing on top of it. I haven't actually been to the main Aetheri yet, we've also got to do that. And you must be, uh, don't call me that. <laughs> Mind for Zeus and Black Wind. Slayer of Gods, Ride Dragon, Savior of Ishgard, Stealer of Pants? It fucking. You know about the Hildebrand quests? <laughs> you know about the Hildebrand quests? What? What? <laughs> also. Love, love to immediately meet someone who is. Oh, all of these titles and acclaims that you have! Right as we're literally trying to abandon them, but okay, thanks. Twilight Appearance and Silbrand does take place in the same plan of reality as the rest of the game. The question is which character from Hildebrand is out telling people about what you did? Well, it's sure as shit not us. <laughs> Likely Nasha. Likely Nasha, if I had to guess. I knew it, Master. What an honor and pleasure it is to make your acquaintance, my lady. I just know you and I are gonna get along famously. Please, calm down. Now, without further ado, let me escort you to the company offices. So we can first visit our first idea. Should make an effort to point out various landmarks along the way. If you'd be so good as to follow me. Okay. Sake seems a simple drink, but depending on the place it was made and then I'm hand which made it, flavor is subtly different. I shall have to sample them all. I think I'm out of sake in my house at the moment. Hello. Hello. Let me join you for a drink. I don't have a toast emote. I don't have a toast emote, so I can't do that. But! I, never mind, you can't actually do the... Is there a drink emote, or just a toast emote? Because there's like... I can eat chocolate. Like, I can eat chocolate. <laughs> we can eat chocolate. Is there a drink emo? I know there's a toast one on the mock shop, but is there a... <laughs> I noticed I could... You noticed I could photos of your food. You're eating pizza. <laughs> I really should buy the toast emo. It's very... It's very... It's very in character for mine if to have one. Hey! Hello, Anima. How are you? Actually, now thinking about it, I don't have a mini now, do I? Let me grab a mini. Nice! I got the nutkin! There's a drink tea one, also on Monk Shop. I have seen that, yes. I have seen that. Ah, doing a conversing this, I see. I see. Hell yeah. Look at us all sitting down, chilling over some drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Fine morning to you, madame. Shall I pour you a drink? Maybe show that whatever you desire I have or can acquire in a timely fashion. 
Oh, not so much. I smile, pour drinks, and lend an ear if necessary. You can all imagine giving our position relative to the peers. The Shiakaze Hostelry is the first and final stop for a great many people from great many places. Yugane is open to all. We have no desire to make bitter enemies. And so we refrain from forging alliances. All are equal here, after a fashion, which is why our fair city is rich in trade as well as culture. Why is Galleon said. That said, we're not without our troubles. Sailors being sailors and so forth. Never here, of course. My clients are no better than incur the wrath of the uh, Sekisagimi. I trust. Why on the Kugane's pr premier purveyor for intoxicating beverages? Owing to our close relationships with Koshu's finest brewers, we offer an unmatched selection of Junmaishu, a rice wine which is very uh, pure and rich in flavor. Of course, not every individual comes to the hostelry for drink. Travelers often gather here to have discussions regarding business and personal affairs, both occasionally le leading to emotional outbursts, though the latter is rather more. Oh, that was close. I nearly said something foolish. Where was I? Ah, yes. Can I just in a gl glass of Junmaishu? Well, uh, we turned side forwards for an hour and like one or two hours. I'm gonna head off to it for the efforts. Have you enjoyed Kagane? Ah, oh, my, yeah, my mind flips back soon as well, which is confusing. Thanks, Max. Thank you for joining. Hey. No, I'm not allowed to do the hunt. I'm not allowed to do the hunt stuff. No hunt for us yet. Oh, the Shiakaze house story. Do you. Which assemble flavors of Kagane so to the rest and recover from the rigors of your troubles. We stand ready to meet your every need. So is is the inn upstairs? Is the inn up here? Where do I rest my weary head? Oh! Okay, there's visible. Okay. No? The inn, um uh, the actual inn is in the Oh, okay, this isn't the inn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, an Ijin! Come, come sit with me and have a drink. I'd hear a fan the fantastic tales of your travels! How can people tell I'm not from around here? Wes, I suck at E slash West. Damn. We're high up. Hello there, fellow adventurer. Damn. Damn, this place is fucking massive. <laughs> this place is fucking massive. place is massive. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Whee! Whee! That's an annoying one to get to. That's a, That one's a little more annoying to get to. Because I'm going to bonk my noggin. Hey! <laughs> The famed Kagane Tower jumping puzzle. Oh, this is what. Oh, this is a big thing. <laughs> jumping up already. Let's wait. I'll spend the rest of the stream on this if we can. <laughs> well, too late. I've already begun. There we go. I can. I can already see all the pegs. I can already see all the pegs. <laughs> Alright, how do I continue up further? Is it on this? No. The section in particular sucks at night. <laughs> That's why you don't like the place at night. Oh, there it is. There it is. I just completely missed it. I just completely missed it. I see you changed your garb for the jumpings. You, you changed your garb to jump. Oh, good. How are you doing this one, but you said you struggled at the one- Oops. <laughs> How are you saying you do, you do you can do this, but you struggle at the one that's at the end of sil um, the silk step thing? So I can see my fate. <laughs> Lots of practice. That's what dancing on the on, on the lamppost to bump me. Uh, oh, no. There's a uh, lamppost on straight level sightseeing spot. The only way to reach it is to get all the way to top of the tower and jump down onto it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, so getting up the top isn't the thing? You gotta make a jump from the top? Wait, what? Wait, what? That's what I saw. Look at point as up and a jump. It's on top of lamppost. Oh, um, lamppost was added later. Oh, okay. I don't like doing jumps sideways. I like the camera being in front of me, but you know, if I have to, I have to. 
Uh, oh, okay, I'm just going around this again. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I could walk that. Can I make that jump? I'm gonna have to go from back here to have the high part. Without hitting the wall, preferably. Without hitting the wall, preferably. Whee! Yippee and Wahoo time again! Check check this card. I will do that once I am not in the middle of jumping. <laughs> This is this is just Moonfire Fair. These are the jumps that are in Moonfire Fair. The, the Moonfire Fair ones are way more evil. The Moonfire the Moonfire Fair ones are significantly more evil. They're um these types of jumps. Okay, now this way still. No! <laughs> no! Okay, uh I can't get back there from this side, can I? Whee! <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. So what was that about spending all stream on this? What was that about sp spending all stream on this? Sorry, what? <laughs> so I see they introduced this stuff in Stormblood and then just like, let's fucking go for it. Cause we, I mean, we already had one well, that wasn't this long, but we already had one back in Rogus Rage. <laughs> oh my God. Sabotage the stream, it's fine, it's fine. Purposefully. <laughs> I mean, this isn't that bad. This part isn't that bad. Though if I have to jump to something on straight level, that I'm not going to do right now. <laughs> Jumping to something at straight level is a bit much to attempt again and again and again. Why can I, Why am I not jumping far, far enough there? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong there? I just, I love how the jumping is a very, very specific type of input in this game. And so the devs were just like, let's make platformers around it. Hitting head, maybe? No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not pushing forward far enough. I always think that the jump is like right in front of me, and it's not, and I'm making that mistake. Okay, that I hit. <laughs> that I hit my body on. That I hit my body on. That's why I don't like jumping like sideways onto the camera, because then it's much harder to see where I'm hitting my head. There we go. I do remember doing the Moonfire Fair stuff, and there was some absolute fucking mad lad who uh, did Moonfire Fair. Oh my god, who did Moonfire Fair with um a steering wheel? I do remember that, and it was just like, what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> Because I was just resting at the top for just, like, like, just waiting for people and cheering them on. And then someone was talking about it. It's like, yo, check out this person on Twitch. Uh, they're doing it with a fucking steering wheel. And people were just like, what the fuck? And then tune in. Sure enough, they were doing it with a steering wheel. <laughs> so, you know. Christ. That was my sweaty finger slipping on the control stick. <laughs> Whoopsies! Whoopsies! My finger just literally slipped on the controller. That one was just a literal slip. <laughs> Whoops. I feel rusty at this. I feel rusty at this. I haven't done Moonfire Fire, uh, Moon, Moonfire Fair for a while, it turns out. And uh, all the ones that are in the, um, what's it called? The Leap of Faith, and nowhere near this hard. So doing one of this level, turns out I've, uh, I'm rusty yet. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I will do it in this glam. I'm not re-glamming. Though I might just do this and cheat. <laughs> I can do this and cheat. And by cheat, I mean for Moonfire Fair, I damn near consider it essential. Or at least for your first clip. <laughs> Get up there! Why? What the fuck? Um, why? Okay. <laughs> so I've been asking because, um, later expansions, because is still the most infamous. <laughs> okay, if you gotta jump off to something on the bottom, I have no idea how to make a jump like that. I have no experience making a jump from the top of something down onto something. I have no experience with that, so, um... That would be different. Like, I have no idea how to even mentally, how far do I jump for that? Practice and luck. 
Because jumping up all of this, this is what all the jumping muscles are. I have experience with this. I like, I know how to do the inputs for all of this. Jumping down onto something? No idea. No idea, like, the rate at which my character is going to fall down and do stuff like that. Oh, come on! Oh, come Why is it that one jump that is fucking me? Why can I not do that one jump? My third time on the lamp post. Shut up. Gotta aim a bit on the outside. That's what I was trying to do that time. I just j didn't jump far enough. Like, I know how to do the jump. I'm just fucking it up. <laughs> I'm just actually fucking it up. It, is, it isn't a hard jump. I'm just being an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an issue I wasn't running into Moonfire Fair. Typically in Moonfire Fair, the issue was I jump way too short or way too far. I don't remember having an issue of I'm constantly like hitting the edge and clipping onto the edge, but not enough to actually stand on it. That I don't remember from Moonfire Fair, and I'm having that happen constantly here. Shit. <laughs> Like, I'm being pixels off, actually making it. There we go. Uh, where do I go from here? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, there. Cool, if I fall here, it'll be way further down. Uh... Where? How? Okay, now where? Now where? I don't see any other pegs. Or anything to stand on. Want right in front of you? Yeah, but there's a wall in front of me! Oh, is the it, is the curtain not collision? Is the curtain not collision? Oh, okay. I thought the curtain. I, I thought this would have been collision. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then, oh, that's a, th okay, this is an annoying jump. This is an annoying jump. You know, actually being a fucking Roganin is making, <laughs> being a Roganin is actually making part of this harder because where the camera is focusing. Um, okay, this jump seems like a nightmare, yes. This jump seems like a nightmare. There we go. In so I can actually see where my character is. Hey! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Are we going further along? Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize this tower was so fucking tall. No! No! Is the peg even beneath me? There it is, okay. Is an entire area to explore? We're doing this instead. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, we're not doing this now. We're not doing this now. <laughs> we're not doing this now. <laughs> we will be here forever. We're not doing this now. <laughs> we have an entire city to explore. <laughs> Can I just, just do that from the railing? That may have been easier. That may have been easier. We have an entire city to explore, we'll be there forever. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. I like how you can see this, 
and just go, oh, okay, yeah, that's a sightseeing spot. And then it's just, the only way to get there is from on fucking high. How high up does it actually go? I can't even see the top of it. Okay, so I was pretty... Okay, so I was, I was actually close to the top. That is actually close to the top. I'm still not going to do it now, because it's going to take forever to get back up there. But we can do that. We won't leave it forever. We'll come back to it soonish, just not right now. -ish. Playing hunt board. Let me do hunts. Let me do hunts. I don't know, I'll give some advice. Do not the rich culture of the Fire East blind you to its dangers. The sea spews forth creatures from your darkest imaginings. <laughs> You're in Maelstrom gear. <laughs> You're in Maelstrom gear. We'll do the guided tour and then everyone can show me extra little places if they want. And then she uh, stormed out saying she was uh, joining the Psychic Psychic Gaming. Psychic Psychic Gaming. It was really cheap if you uh, blow yourself up so much have someone standing on the lamp post rose, you'll rose next to on top of the lamp. I did this just now with Deku. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's cheating. I'll do it legit. Again, I did moon fire fair. The jump down to the bottom is the part that I'm most scary about. Getting up to the top of that is nowhere near as bad as Moonfire Fair. The top of Moonfire Fair is way worse than that. If I was a couple jumps away, top of Moonfire Fair is way worse. Though a jump from up there down to there, that's a little more concerning. If you have to be at the very top... Oh no! No! A lot of guys who suggest get a friend who is good at jumping. So that's the part that worries me. I have no prospect of how to do that. I've never done a jump like that before, so that's the part that scares me. I logged out. <laughs> out of shame. I said, what is that I smell waft wafting from yonder tea house? Could it be? Yes. Could it just possibly be the scent of whispered secrets waiting to be overheard? Oh, Satoru. It's an important horse statue. Oh, is, is that what it's for? Is it just, is that viewpoint just for the statue? Oh my god. Oh my god. Besides saying things don't even make sense anymore. They're just like, fuck you, it's a challenge. I know that our would-be hosts look to the dress in the local fashion. Which I very much not done. And the Aetherites look really different here. I do not like the cut of that man's jib. Not one bit. Everyone, if you have your attention, please. You're now standing in ten co ten conto. Loosely translated, the name means spire of drifting souls, which, as some of you may have deduced, makes reference to the aetherite which stands over yonder. Hmm. The design is widely different from those of Charlian, yet I trust its function is identical. A diplomat and a scholar, will wonders never cease. Uh, since aetherite technologies have long uh, and sorry tradition, I assure you, this particular example was constructed by the um, Oni Shisu, a collective of skilled craftsmen. Who guard their ancestral techniques with the utmost secrecy. In short, you'll find no less reliable than its Western counterparts. A tune if you like. I appreciate how literally everyone's first reaction, both in and out of universe, is fuck this guy. It's obvious that there's not really any commodities you can get for casual use. Considering there's an entire city that's based on fantasy Japan, that is a bit weird. I like how the crystal of this one actually looks like it's been crafted. A lot of the ones that are around the Yorzia are just, yeah, we found the biggest fucking crystal we could and we just shoved it in a spot that worked. Ta-da. Because by on the mug store, fuck you, fuck you. That would be why. That's why. There's probably ones on the, on the mug store. So in Kanto is, it, um, is as the crossroads of Kagane. Many people pass through every day. And I've learned to recognize the lawbreaker and the troublemaker. Get out yourself with respect and we shall have no quarrel. I did, I did read in the Aeolian Encyclopedia. It's not that they just shove up Aetherites wherever they so please. Aetherites work best in spots that, like, are naturally conducive to, um, Aetherial Sea livestream stuff. So, it's more so, there are specific spots where Aetherites work best, and because Aetherites work best there, that's where towns and centres typically tend to appear. I did read that in the, um, in the 
there is that description of how I throw it to it. Where the streets are paved with cobalt. Hango would like very much to continue talking. <laughs> Beautiful though it may be, we cannot spend all day staring at the air thrower. Come, come, let us move along. The markets are next. Da -da -da. You just me up a few times because I sometimes look and think he's like, just haven't loaded because he's wearing white pants on white stone. <laughs> <laughs> Except the waking sounds fuck you. Well, that place isn't naturally conducive to Aether, it turns out. That place isn't naturally conducive to Aether, so they didn't build an Aether right there. So that place just actually sucks. Pier number two, damn. The giant, like, fucking channel going down here. God damn. This is a place where I'd love to fly to see it from above, but the game's not gonna let me do that. <laughs> Though I guess you can see it from above if you go up to the top of the tower, hey. Ah, it's the market. We found the markets. What is this I hear of you bathing with the locals? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. The full market is here. Here we go. Hello. I bet you welcome to Kagane Dori. Be a good sort of from near or far, or can be obtained here. For the right price, of course. You can buy a parasol here. Is something important. Is it buying a parasol? Be still, my heart! <laughs> oh well. I'm expecting less of a bustling point. I like how Lala sees markets. <gasps> No, Sonic is Setsu Yigiri here. I expected someone to cross them just like that. Oh, well, would have been nice. <laughs> just look at these garish designs. Not fun to sort of the other. Is that a theater I spy? I'll right, say the racist. I'll say the racist. We have arrived at the largest shopping district in Kagane. Kagane Dori. Kagane, as you're doubtless unaware, is an ancient Hingan word for gold. So, in this prosperous port where gold, um, golden fortunes are made, lesser fortunes, or Kogane, are earned by local merchants. It's all quite logical once you learn the language. Oh, so it's just, okay, it's a city of gold. Okay. <laughs> now you begin to speak my language. God, she really is from Ulda. Ooh, a kindred spirit! What a pleasure it is to meet a young lady who appreciates the value of hard one coin. Also, he's a huge fucking weave. Also, he's a huge fucking weave. Hey, we learned in Masosai's storyline that the most evil force on the planet is weaves. Damn, it's such a beautiful language. It's all quite logical, said the developers of the, uh, the Japanese developers of the Japanese game. <laughs> Hang out with the Assault Not Trading Company. View your clients today. Whoa, but it isn't Master Kaiten! Right, let me introduce you to my esteemed guest, but recently come from distant Eorzea. This generous soul supervises all transactions here in Kagane Dori. His sincerity is ever appreciated. As he says, I am Kaiten of, Hakuchi clan, um, the, of the Hakuchi clan, and it is my honor to serve as overseer of these markets. As we receive many foreign visitors in Kagane, we accept all manner of currencies. Rest assured, your Eorzean guild are welcome here. I invite you to peruse our wares at your leisure. Ah, uh, so we don't need a currency to shop here. We don't need a different currency to shop here. Because it's a port that accepts money everywhere. Arms, armor, foodstuffs, potables. Here you'll find all of them and more. Yeah? What's up, Elsa? Oh, we're gone? Okay. <laughs> Turn with the local Aetherite. And glow! There you are. Senryu. We have some of our finest actors performing today. Why deprive yourself of this wondrous spectacle? Save yourself the stabbing pain of regret and come see the show! So is this just actually a Kabuki theater? <laughs> well, it's just convenient that we don't have to transfer currency. And Cock and his sister handbox. <laughs> the short pier. The other ones were just numbered and this one's just the, the short pier. I am kind of just following them, but if people want to show me other places around, as we, I mean, there's a lot of places, and we've got to activate all of the Aetherites as well. 
It is. It is. Just, it's a very different place to anywhere else that we've been in the game. It's very, very different. It's all. It's almost too much fantasy Japan that it kind of feels weird that it's in this game. <laughs> but I guess a lot of AOS here is meant to be fantasy England, so it's not actually that different. Parasols. Tool supplier. Items. Where do I buy parasol? If it's all you seek, you need to look further in my shop. Come, come! And find all that your heart desires. Do you, do, do you sell them, Tiny Lala? Do you sell parasols? I can buy them here? Where do I buy them here? Oh, there it is. A million paper parasol. I just went right past it. It's a hundred thousand! It's a hundred thousand! It's made of paper! <laughs> the normal machine in the paper is less than ideal for creating oneself from the rain. This parasol has been treated with waterproof oil. The makers cannot have it be held responsible if any puddles stepped in. Use a required vermilion paper parasol. No. <laughs> Not buying a parasol. Where to next, I wonder? Hmm. We're actually quite far from the docks now, aren't we? The place is bigger than I thought. Hmm. This trick that my head has a bit of a different air about it. Don't think I haven't memorized every detail that's straight. So it's half as the shops I'll be sitting enjoying my custom. <laughs> Sorry, Alice, I'm sitting right in front of you again. If we might pause here for a moment. This road leads to the Ijin Guy, the district in which Ijin, or foreigners, are permitted to reside. Oh my, sorry. I've touched my hand so much I've now completely ruined it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to see, I need to get, I need to get this part of my hair cut differently, and also get a hair straightener to avoid the awfulness that it does. <laughs> or just shave it entirely. That's also an option. Also be where foreign embassies are found, including that of a certain empire. Precisely. So you see, it would not be at all unusual to cross paths with one of our Guardian cousins here. With this in mind, I would encourage you to choose your words carefully. We would not want any physical alterations, after all. Such spats are being strictly forbidden. Unless you're a Guardian, better know that. Ignore that. <laughs> the Zaki Sagumi punishes breaches of peace quite severely. I've seen foreigners permanently exiled for a single violation. Though, to be fair, this is not um, common. More often than not, they're executed on the spot. What? Cut down then and there? You're joking, right? But that I were, but alas, these samurai are a humorless lot. I recall one instance when a foreign merchant um, in his cups there laid hands upon a Hingan aristocrat in front of us, um, Seki Sagumi. Samurai cut him in half with a single stroke. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that. So as you see, it would behoove you to behave. Found that we may be forced to part ways with one another. Or with yourselves in the, in the manner of late to leggy out a leggy. <laughs> Fucking Lolorito's man is making fun of the fact that Teleji got fucking bisected. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Do you know how I can just go through and fuck everyone up like an Ishgard? Yeah, just fight in the middle of straight in Ishgard. That's fine. Oh, I amuse myself. But we must carry on. I've yet to show you to the Galleon co um, Consulate. Even Minifus is just like, damn, okay, Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Okay, we have officially entered Cop City. Okay. Hingashi is Cop City. Oh, you just have it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Why, <Bye>, thank you. <laughs> Parasol! How do I actually use parasols? I actually have no idea. Because nothing else for morning and night under just red lamps, the lech. Red light districts. How do I use how do I use the parasol? I actually don't know. Because it's not it's not one of these things, right? Is it offhand? It is not. Character, fashion accessories. Character fashion accessories. You can tell I've used this many before. 
Uh, Seki saw Gumi are loosely based on the Shinsen Gumi, an actual police death squad from the Bakamatsu era of Japan, um, of Japanese history. Yeah, so, yeah, we're in Cop City. We're in Cop City. Misbehave at all and the cops are allowed to murder you in the middle of the street. We're in fantasy Japan now, or the United States. I, f I totally forgot. I totally forgot that I had the glass, like, that we got these glasses. For some reason, these are one of the- these are like the glasses that are available as an accessory instead of everything else, which is just a gear set. Samurai Cop was my favorite 80s movie. I've heard about that. I have heard about that. Oh, I- okay. There's a hot bar for that, which is just change poses? Okay. <laughs> Fashion accessories have a hot bar. Ta-da! Oh! Oh, it works so well! It works so well! With my, um... With my bow. Just perfect. Ah, we can, like, spiral it on the back. Umbrella emote and umbrella poses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so umbrella. Okay, <laughs> wow, that's a that is an that's an expensive emote. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's why it's a hundred thousand because it comes with its own emotes and poses. That's why it's so expensive. And that's just wondering where the rain is, which it currently isn't. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, I must point out, I must point out, holding an umbrella like this in the midst of rain is very unuseful. That doesn't help in the rain much at all. I must say. <laughs> Let me just pose my umbrella behind my head, where it doesn't actually protect me from the rain in any capacity. <laughs> I have umbrella. Thank you. Thank you. What was the, the the die that you gave me? What are these ones? I only have one of the ma the magic prism. Using the helmet of airport for celebratory purposes. That does something big. And I also got some die with it. Did you just give me random stuff? Ah! <laughs> now I have a star above my head. Yeah. So you can able to automatically put an umbrella when it starts raining. You press square on one of the umbrellas in the uh, fashion accessories menu. <laughs> some because some people care a lot about oh raining. I have to have my umbrella out. <laughs> Get it? It literally clips through my my massive fucking bow clips through it. Don't point out. Don't point out that the bow also clips through my hair, or my hat. I mean, because my hat is gigantic. And then also don't point out that the bow also clips through its own fucking quiver. Don't point that out. Red die because I couldn't find a good storm blood weapon. And Crimson Star because Crimson. Ah. <laughs> ah. That's the end the last patch. Oh, the umbrella thing? Ah, okay. I mean, I, this is the bow I'm planning on. I'm planning on using this bow for storm blood. Because the whole idea is being barred to inspire others to, to rise up because revolution is the theme. So having a bow that is a half leans into that. Very important tip always slap Festus. <laughs> hey Festus It's close enough Savage Alright <laughs> Slap Festus Where's Slap How, what, How's the outfit look Slap Festus <laughs> Even here They're referring to people as savages and shit Like what the, f what the fuck is wrong with you What the fuck is wrong with you are they? Are these Galian outfits different? Are these Galian outfits different to their usual ones? Because you get Galian architecture. You can actually see a Galian building here. I was gonna say they look. They're, yeah, I was gonna say they're Eastern styled ones. These are different Galian outfits. Oh, and I'm going to match the region they're deployed. Okay, well, there you go. 
Yeah, because you've even got a katana. You have a well, you have an axe, but you have a katana. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. Learning something else new. Giant Galleon building. Because neutrality! In the face of fascism! So that building's full of Galleons. Sounds like using Galleon armor looks so fucking bad. <laughs> it's all based on AR armor. Someone got unwise to loiter outside the gates of a hostile Olympus function. Danger! Excitement! Intrigue! Oh my! <laughs> Compared to the Hingon Arctic, it seems drab and uninspired. Oh, I've simply had my fill of Galleon aesthetics such as they are. No, they look fashy. They look fashy. This you may have surmised is the consulate of you-know-who. Mark the guards at the gates. Are the uniforms are different than those you have seen in the West? Hey, I noticed it before the game told me. Well, you travel far and wide, you would find that many such various industries, often inspired by local designs. All which goes to show that even a massive empire seeking a rule of creation is not without its artisans. For the entire stream in, um, in uh, this place. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. By the grace of Lord Lola Rito. Hancock seems to be quite pleased with himself. And as long as we don't let our leave the guards can't do anything about us calling them doo doo heads. <laughs> there is so much more I, I could speak of. The soothing waters of the onsen, the ephemeral delights of, a, of the pleasure district. We are doubtless still weary from your long sea voyage. That was the size of the company officers. Da -da 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 -da. Guess you're over here. Killing, murdering so many blissies. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just good to see a fellow of yours in. Brass blades. <laughs> good to see a fellow of yours in. Coming from a bra brass blade that is not the most encouraging thing. Just because we both hail from the same landmass does not mean that I like you. Fucking cops. The Ruby Bazaar! And of course, I call it a bazaar. Greetings, those ladies. Welcome to the Kagane branch offices in the East Alton Trading Company. That's how we should. Ah, oh, we could travel to Mirror City on the new one. Find a man like Hancock waiting for us. Ah, oh, the unmistakable scent of wealth and power. Alright, so. And then this feels just as out of place as the Galleon Consulate. It's a lot more comforting. No, it doesn't. Well, compared to the Galleon one, yes. Compared to Galleon. I'll take Uldara over Galleon. I don't deny that this place was built for an Uldan. <laughs> at long last, we arrive at our destination. I present to you our humble officers. We have much to discuss, so I'll refrain from further prattle. Come, come, right this way. Sorry, felony tax evasion era. Do old dons even pay? Do, do, does old da even have taxes? Genuine question: Does old da even have taxes? Because I question if it does. Okay, me with my bow, I almost clip through the fucking roof. My bow almost clips through the roof of this um for the doorway, only for the poor. Oh my god, you have a Lola Rita statue. Our thaumaturges took great pains to ward these walls against all manner of surveillance. Where business dealings are concerned, we do not compromise on confidentiality. <laughs> you may avail yourselves of these offices for the duration of your visit. Come and go as you like, and know that you may speak freely here. Your offer is most generous, but I will not enter into any agreement which would leave us beholden to you or your master. <laughs> a legitimate concern? Allow me to clarify, then. The chairman bids you consider this as an expression of his heartfelt contrition for the bloody banquet and the unpleasantness which followed. <laughs> what? This makes up for that? Now do you not want to murder me? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Never having been one to put stock in words alone, the chairman deems the provision of material aid to be a more appropriate demonstration of his sincerity. By sheer coincidence, your purpose here also happens to coincide with our own interests. That is, assuming you are come to aid the Doman Liberation Front. Why would you have interest in that? 
Getting stuff out of Galleon rule just opens up more econo economic opportunities. Is that your idea? If Doma is freed from Galleon stuff, then you can trade with Doma. Is that your idea? Because I can't imagine you having any other reason. How could... Hm. I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. To be Alpha specific, no, why else would we, we be here? It's not hard to work out. Eastern People allies, know who we are. Yugiri <laughs> and Gosetsu, whom we hope to assist in their fight. <laughs> Signs of the Seventh Dawn, all the way over in Othard. Do you happen to be here to help out the people who, are, you know, were helping you with Revenant's Toll and stuff? Doesn't take too much to put that together. I don't think Lillaria likes the Galleons. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Galleons don't seem to be a people where it's just like, fascism, but at least they trade. No. <laughs> Having a vacation, obviously. You know, we, we thought we just needed a break, so this is where we came. The Aori Shinobi and the Rugadin Samurai? Then you will be pleased to know that they have both come to Kugani. Because where else would they go <laughs> to get here? Are you sure? Quite. They came here aboard a company vessel, you see. However, they encountered difficulties securing passage across the Ruby Sea. <laughs> I like how Gosetsu got there in just a little fucking boat. And he's had the least trouble. Like, Gosetsu got to Eorzea in a little fucking boat, and he's had the least trouble crossing the entire th fucking thing. <laughs> Though the Ruby Sea isn't the giant thing between that, I don't think. I don't think... Is, is the Ruby Sea the one that's between Eorzea and Othard? Or is the Ruby Sea the one that's between Hingashi and Doma? I think that was... I think Carvalon was saying that's the part he couldn't get us across. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ruby sees that one, yeah. Wow, like, exact same wording and, um, everything. <laughs> exact same, um, exact, um, like... Oh, no, no, don't... Oh, no, someone said Doma, someone said Othard. So, okay, there is a difference. Never mind. <laughs> the Ruby Sea. Sorry, I've never been any good at geography. Lisa, you good at anything that requires thoughts in any capacity. Forgive me. This calls for a map. We are here in Kugani, the sole open port of Hingashi, situated on her western coast. She doesn't have to think about punching people. Monk rotation is brain dead simple. <laughs> so what's the name? Wait, what's the name of the sea that's um between the three continent? Um, the the three giant areas. I was about to say three great continents, but I don't. But I think all of this landmass counts as one continent. Um, but what's the, what's the sea that's between like? Where we where we did the dungeon, where we crossed the gate here. What's the name of that o um that ocean or sea? So I don't know if we actually got a name for that. I guess it's been said in the game. I just don't remember it, or it's even in the book. I just don't remember it. Doma, meanwhile, is here on the eastern coast of Othard in Yansha. Oh, so Yansha's like okay, so okay. The bounty, okay. So Yangsha is kind of like... So like like how Alamigo's in Girabanya. Doma is in Yangsha. Okay. Okay. Therefore, if your friends are to reach Doma, they must first cross the Ruby Sea. Alas, this is easier said than done, as the Ruby Sea does not fall within the dominion of either Hingashi or Doma, being controlled since antiquity by a third party, namely, the Confederacy. The Confederacy is a whole... Okay, there's a whole other thing. Think about Lara is he wants stability. That goal alone means he'll often be as generally on our side as he is generally um, opposing us, as he doesn't want an evil empire to grow and expand um, to control the world. He knows an up to us also overthrow the Sultana and over to upturn his government. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like he's a capitalist or some shit. A capitalist who isn't in the business of profiting off war machines. For the most part. For the most part. <laughs> the 
Confederacy. Said Maritime Collective is known for the consummate skill of its sailors and for demanding that any vessel entering its waters pay a toll referred to as the Ruby Tithe. In exchange, the Confederacy's vast fleet guarantees the safety of those who travel within its territory. Living from lands that would go Ratano Sea, Sea of Ash, Sea of Jade, Siren Song Sea, up to the Glass Ocean. Okay. Oh, these are- oh, so, okay. Okay, so they're just Japanese pirates. Okay. Okay. Samurai pirates, let's go! <laughs> now, as I'm sure you are aware, Garlemald conquered Doma some 25 years past, at which time the Empire saw no value in controlling the Ruby Sea. And thus did they turn a blind eye to the activities of the Confederacy. The recently appointed acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma had other ideas, however. She has formally condemned the Confederacy and declared that any who recognize their authority shall be branded enemies of the Empire. Oh, fun. Okay, cool. So we got here just in time. Bowing to this pressure, Hingashi severed ties with these toll takers and forbade the payment of the Ruby Tithe, prompting the Confederacy to make it known that any merchants choosing to sail the Ruby Sea would do so at their peril. Awesome. Awesome. Even a simple water crossing can't be laden without a bunch no of bureaucratic bullshit. No wonder they struggled to secure bullshit. passage to Doma. What captain would risk such a journey given the circumstances? I am told your friends were not so easily deterred from their course, but I know not whether their persistence bore fruit. I say we follow in Yugiri and Gosetsu's footsteps and attempt to secure passage to Doma for ourselves. We will need to cross the sea in any case, and we may learn something of their whereabouts in the process. And should we find that they are still in Kagane, we can make the journey together. In that case, I have some information which may be of use to you. No quid pro quo, I assure you. The chairman was most insistent that I aid you to the best of my ability. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alice must be getting fed up with all the political bullshit. <laughs> It was not exaggerating when he spoke of the ward's efficacy. Whoever wove them did so with consummate skill. This place takes me back. Reminds me of the workshop of an Uldan lapidary I once served. I'm not sure I imagine how time in the fire is unfolding, but it definitely didn't involve Uldans. Especially not these Uldans. Still, whatever works, right? <laughs> I must confess I'm ever collector of all things Forestin. See for yourself! I insist. I am Weeb. <laughs> I am Weave, don't you worry. We've got a giant fan here. There's a stage here. Oh my god, the Moogle. Oh my god. Oh my god, the Moogle. Check out my <laughs> check out my anime figures! All oh, these are like rare limited edition ones. I bought this one from a reseller on eBay. Totally worth it. Look at my Lolorito action figure. Look at my- look at my bonsai tree! Does the fish sing? That's the important question. Does the fish sing? Look at my weapons and everything on there. Look at my tea sets. Look at the bars of metal that I just have hanging around. My spirits. My Realm Reborn outfits that look way worse compared to everything else around here. For sure the researchers will say one from the- like, uh, like he says scale down. It probably is. It probably is. Though I'm reluctant to take any action whatsoever that could be considered as placing ourselves in Lord Lorita's debt, we must avail ourselves of what means are available. Uh, only make an allies place their faith in us, and I do not intend to disappoint them. Good samurai is hard to find. Ooh, present for this one. Alphano is a man with a plan. It would seem inefficient for us all to adventure out together in search of information on Yuguri and Kasetsu's whereabouts. Agreed? Agreed. We need to cast our net wider. Split up and per, um, pursue all available. Uh, um, uh, uh, split up and pursue all available avenues of inquiry. Uh, but if we were to coordinate our efforts effectively, we need to establish a working base of operations here. 
Indeed. Katara would seem best to task at organizing our supplies and procuring new ones. <laughs> While she attends to that, we can, um, we four can begin our search by questioning the individuals Hancock identified. I'll say now I'll take those in the southern districts, and you two can take those in the north. In, uh, in anticipation of closer eventuality, I took the liberty of preparing some few sketches of Yigiri and Kasetsu during our voyage. Oh, artist Alphino. God damn, Alphino! Wow, your shoulders told me, that, warned me you are a bit of an artist, but these are great! I'll definitely come in handy. No wonder your stole is so terrified about the fact that he remembers certain things so vividly. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's not concept art, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it's you and me or some black one. Let's step outside and talk about where to start. <laughs> You're knocking me out. Half of the times, half of the times when she does her classic. You're not about to see her eyes, and that's just how it's gonna be. You're not about to see her eyes, and well, too bad. <laughs> too bad. Wow, I don't know. Sketches are so. I don't know how to put it, but they're very. Well, see for yourself. <laughs> Did you want to look at it again? Maybe I'm gonna sketch it anytime during this quest, but using the relevant item in the key items menu. Look at it! Look at our concept art! Look at our concept art! Keep showing it! <laughs> it's more like than the Nader! Honestly, I can make a living doing this. Ah, sorry, sorry, no time distractions. Why don't we start by visiting Karaku at the. on something? On Sun? On San? On Sun! That was it. Hand this sketch to Karaku. We've still got a lot of, uh, we haven't attuned ourselves with a lot of the, um, Aetherites. Should we go- At what point should we go and do that? At what point should we just explore the city? Because <laughs> we haven't actually done that yet. There's a lot of places in the city that we still just have not been to. I don't even get around with that. What's that? I dream of Shuragane? What's that? Leaves a Kagane. There's gonna be a lot of blues around. Okay, I'm now heading somewhere else entirely. I thought this would take me to the bridge. It did not! How's it gonna sound like? Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm, I've gotten myself lost now. Hello there, Morago. Where the hell am I? Our shipwrights can fix anything that floats. Even one of your massive foreign vessels. Leaves should also be easy. I have not unlocked leaves in most places. I'm not gonna start unlocking leaves now. <laughs> not gonna start unlocking them now. No, sorry. Okay. We haven't been to the Fathnerian Consulate, and we also haven't been to over here. Let's go to those places just so I can teleport around everywhere easily. So if I go down here, I can go to the Fathnerian Consulate. Um, from Stormblood onwards, laser exclusively crafting slash gathering. Oh! Oh, that's very different. That's very different. P number one. Got all storehouses here. Giant door, open for me. <laughs> Foreignly Lass. That's a name. Fuck Battlecraft leaves, except for the achievement. <laughs> no, no, even for that, don't worry about the achievement. Combat leaves left behind in Heavensward. Where they belong. No, that's, that's wrong. They belong back in a, a Realm Reborn. Hello there. Yes, this is the Father Venerian Constable. No, you may not enter their official business. Father Venerian dresses and stuff like that. We've seen like two people from Father Venerian, so. We've seen like two people from Father Venerian, so. I'm not super familiar with how they actually dress. And they were both involved in, um... Wait, no, I was about to say they were both involved in that. No, Ardashi is Charlian, isn't he? Fishies! I found the Koi's! I found the Koi's! Yeah, let's go! I found the Koi Pond! <laughs> yeah! Lady Protector is a great title, though. Oh, is that, is that, the, is that the leave one? Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. 
giant boats everywhere. Oh, I can <laughs> I can raid the storehouses. Well, I can raid that particular storehouse. The other ones I can't raid. There's a lot of people around. A lot of people hanging around the expedition ferryman. I imagine that's an important thing if there's that many people just hanging around it. What a marvelous place this is, Kagane. So colorful, so lively. Some of these I know in my heart made their actually live Charlie and broaden my horizons. Thank her. The <laughs> post Stormblood thing? Okay. Picker of locks? More fool me for signing onto a company vessel back the other side of the world. Being living here out, out here won't be easy. Now when you say post Stormblood Now when you say post Stormblood <laughs> Oh these are the, okay, so these are the ornate things, so they give you a bunch of stuff there. Well it's just replica. Replica. <laughs> Seems to be a, a particular word to use there. What are you going to commission, miss? No? Still going to have a look inside. Please don't um, help when the heat hits your face. Distracts the smiths from their work. So not to worry about for another 50 hours. Ah, oh, they're working away at the metalsmithing here. Crafting house. Perfect blade can only be forged by those who have cleared their mind of all thoughts not related to the task at hand. Those who don't understand this most basic of swordsmithing principles are banned from digging up the hammer of my forge. So if we didn't unlock blacksmithing and stuff like that, this would be the guild for it, basically. Okay. Is that...? He's <laughs> going... No, okay. <laughs> we found Shaggy! We found Shaggy! So where have I not been? So we gotta go to... Okay, basically all of the north areas. Okay. Okay, so those three. We go around to those three. And that... Actually, if we... Yeah, if we go to... If we go to those three, then it takes us to where the quest is taking us anyway. <laughs> He's great. Have you seen Shaggy before? Do you recognize Shaggy? Blood <laughs> of our fallen brothers. Gangs are on commander times. Ah. Sorry, I'm, I'm not teleporting right now because I'm exploring everywhere to find it. So just, just take in the sights as we walk around. Okay, so if we go up here. Okay, if we go up here and that's how we get up to the north side of town. Yes, hello? <laughs> so, that's some... Oh, Kugane Castle. Okay, I was about to say, there's something going on here, but they're not telling me what it is. Oh, that's Kugane Castle. Okay. Okay. So that's like, like the political house thing. Okay. Kugane Castle. No more passes go to the express mission of the magistrate. Be on your way. Tower does go up really high. <laughs> but this castle have a second gold castle under it. If so, then it can fuck right off the edge of my dick. Oh. See, I can clear! I can clear the Kugane jumping puzzle. Kugane jumping puzzle? More like Kugane jumping bitch. Got him. 
the Sekisagumi Barracks. Not assuming in space uh, leading to the Sekisagumi Barracks, headquarters of Kagane's peacekeeping force. Off duty Sekisagumi members often take relaxing in nearby tea house. Until you head up, you can uh, take in the unashamedly grandiose main gates to the Kagane Castle. <laughs> so, this is where the cops train. So, that's the castle. Okay, so that. Okay, I thought that was like a giant gate. It is the castle itself. Okay. That is the gate, it's, that is the castle itself, okay. This place is huge. Having the entire city in one zone does make the place very, very big, it turns out. Place is absolutely massive when it's all in one area. <laughs> absolutely massive. Ah, so here's the barracks for build training and stuff. Ah, they've got the... <laughs> Strength, honor, blood. A day of training begins and ends with practice wins. We have discharge our duty well must be relentless in our training. You know, thinking about some of this, about how they're talking about them here, it does kind of make sense when you think about Masosai. Masosai was very much, someone does something evil, they die. And it was just the people that had the evil excised in them. Storm of what? Honor, strength, or blood? You have a cho you have choice of which which storm you want. There's my super square, and there's great history game. Take the same from Clan Matsuba, one of the first lines of magistrates in the garden. Okay. A lot of like large open flight and dead spaces. Which fantasy feudal Japan? Probably is just accurate. <laughs> it is just so much it's fantasy Japan. It is so intensely, it's fantasy Japan. <laughs> Maybe a little song and stuff here. Like, it is very much just, it's fantasy Japan. <laughs> is it too intensely fantasy Japan? I don't know. I don't know. It might just be that fantasy... I mean, I guess, like, Ishgard is very much fantasy England. So, I guess there is that. Ishgard is very much fantasy England. I think the only reason that Ishgard doesn't come across as so aggressively fantasy England is because it's snowing. If you remove the snow from Ishgard, I bet it would feel just as fantasy England as this place feels fantasy Japan. <laughs> so I guess I guess it's not that it's too much. <laughs> and, I, and all of the Frenchness that's there. And all of the Frenchness that does exist. Where are you taking me? Oh, hot springs. Hot Springs. Kawashiga, hello! Stupid sexy Rogan! In. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Very important, you're correct. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Ah, gone for a bathe. Hey, you, you even changed your outfit to be appropriate for... You even changed your outfit to be appropriate for bathing. I will do so as well. I will do so as well. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We made it to the hot springs. Dialogue. Of fading your privacy? No. My, what broad shoulders you have! Alright, okay. 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 Phew! Felt the blood rush in my head for a moment there. I'll hop back in once it's cooled down. <laughs> There's nothing finer than soaking in a hot spring whilst letting one's mind drift out across the ruby sea. Ah, I, I also see we just have player characters who are just admiring each other in the hot springs too. Some people are just doing that while they're here as well. <laughs> it is really nice to just have a hot spring that is just in view of the ocean like that. You don't want to know what's on this screen. Are they in G pose? Are they in G pose? That is the important question. Is 
attached into this. Directly attached to the inn. Makes life easier. Hey, we got them all. You have duty yourself to Aetherite Charts and Gunny. The airship landing is now accessible as an Aetherite destination. How much would an airship tip? I thought we couldn't take an airship between the places. That was the whole point of our journey here. <laughs> Getting here, the whole point was that we couldn't take airships. By the way, yes, I know everyone wants to see it. There you go. Look. And look, I, I even make her move a bit so you get the jiggle. There you go. There you go. There, look, you get the jump and you get the and you get the and you get the bounces as well. There you go. There you go. There is no airship, it is pointless. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nice. Where'd you go? Oh, you're on the roofs. Are you on the roofs? Where'd you go? What the fuck? Oi! How'd you get across there? Can you walk across this? Ah, I'm stuck. Ah, I'm stuck again. Can you walk across this? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm stuck on geometry. Hey! Can I answer that one hot spring on the nose? You're a tens of horror! Well, it can't bronze like. There's just random people joining us as well. Up to the top, woo! Jumping puzzle two! Oh my god, it's actually a jumping puzzle! Never mind, it's... Okay, okay, I was kinda joking. I was kinda joking, but alright, no, actually not. Jumping puzzle number two! Oh, fuck me. <laughs> jumping puzzle number two! Uh, it's amazing how that is like, you know what? Stormblood is the expansion of jumping puzzles. Storm of jump, born from jump. <laughs> I hope everyone's ready for an entire stream of Kagane and nothing else. I hope everyone's ready for a stream that is literally nothing but Kagane. I, I remember someone saying, I think it was Crafts that was saying before that... If the pacing in Stormblood's a bit off, it's gonna feel fine for me because I'm gonna go through the game very slowly. And boy, howdy, you correct on that front. I just wasn't expecting it to be jumping puzzles. I just wasn't expecting it to be a jumping puzzle based. Very useful to see where I'm going here. There we go. <laughs> so they can point at you if that's the reference I was going to. It's important. It's important. It's important. And we're all old enough. We're all old enough that we all know the Simpsons references too. <laughs> all are of us of the age where we get those Simpsons references. Because we're all old pieces of shit. <laughs> I don't actually know where you're going. <laughs> I was following you. We missed it. Is it this? It looks like it's this. Yeah, it's this. Is it? Is it not? <laughs> Because his boyfriend. You spent how many hours on that? I guess, is this not it? Where are we actually going? We've made, we've made this person very confused as well. Where do we actually go? Is it just back up the front? Did we just entirely walk past it? Oh, we just entirely walked past it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, shit. I'm too tall for this! <laughs> I am too tall for this. There we go. There we go. First person is probably just gonna be the actual blame for some of this. Hey! Well, already at the top. <laughs> oh, like how there's just already people resting here. There's already another- and there's already a femro. There's already a femro in a bikini here. <laughs> hey. Whee! <laughs> and now we can look out. There we go. What? Oh, is it something else? Sit. Hey, you gotta sit in there. <laughs> Bakara in. An inward sweeping ocean views famed for the healing properties of its hot springs. While Blasi Hingashi are largely mixed gender and is customary to bathe naked, but in trading hubs such as Kagane, where Fogamira cultures increase mingle, one is expected to don not one's name day, but bathing suit. <laughs> okay. 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 Across everywhere else. Across everywhere else, you should probably 
be naked. But here, there's a lot of people here, so maybe don't be naked here. We did it. We did it. We made it. <laughs> now it's just that tower. Now it's just that tower, which is significantly taller. Which is significantly taller. <laughs> I was about to say, can we jump on any of that? But I can tell it's already off the map. So, no. It's because the Aussies can't actually take off their underwear. <laughs> the secret is that Aeosians don't actually have genitalia. That's the, that's the secret here. We don't actually have genitals, so, you know. We just don't want to freak out the, um, the people of, um, Hingashi by just, like, showing us, the, showing them our Barbie doll bodies. Hey, also, it's reproduced by osmosis. Pretty place. Yeah, Fantasy Japan. Pretty place. <laughs> Again, uh, my, again, I was saying, is this place too much just straight up fantasy Japan that it pulls away from it from um, Final Fantasy XIV being its own world? But Ishgard is fantasy England, so I th again, I think it's just Ishgard doesn't feel as strictly fantasy Europe, um, doesn't feel as fantasy England slash Europe as this does because of the snow. The fact that there's snow over the entirety of Ishgard makes it feel less like it's England. Wait, this does just feel like Japan. Anyway, he's ready to try that jumping puzzle again. Let's go! Let's go! Actually, no, the quest is here. We'll continue the quest while we're here. While we're here, let's go. <laughs> I like how they bow to me as I just break my fucking knees. So we had to start a Kagane. Hello. Come one, come all! Burns cuts embarrassing rashes. There's not that the mystical waters of the Bakaisen Hot Springs cannot heal. If you put those rashes, should you be going in public waters? Ho, oh, what is that in your hand? I have a sketch. A surprisingly accurate depiction of you, Giri and Gesetsu. Once again, Susan Alpha, I may have had a mistake in his life's calling. Oh, I'm just realizing Cat's Pot is literally right now. Whoops. Whoops. What's up? Hmm. You sit this hour on this rugged, do you? A thousand apologies, but I cannot help you. It's against our policy to divulge information regarding patrons past or present. Please, we can't make the way to the EOS here to find our friends. No, no, it's Zavrul's. Shut up. So I feel like you made him hunt, for, like, made him do raids like three and a half hours straight. We have a reputation to consider, miss. Men and women from all walks of life come in here such a rejuvenation, body and soul. They only seek privacy and discretion, we have never honored their wishes. Only the Seki Saigumi may demand otherwise. I'm sorry, but there is nothing I can do. Ask us elsewhere. Just ask elsewhere. Suppose I'll just have to ask somewhere else then. What about that woman who runs the hostelry? Katakase, was it? Kaze? Maybe this would be better. Of an Argok when I was a painter and didn't make the crystal breaks. Potentially. Potentially. On a traveler, could you welcome to the Bakari Inn? You require accommodations? I'm not gonna rest or anything here, but we're gonna check out the inn. We're gonna check out the inn. Ooh, we get a window! I can actually see outside in this inn. We're actually allowed to see outside. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're actually allowed to look outside. Oh my god. I am stunned and baffled. And we get a and we get a tatami bed. Ooh. We can cook in our room. These inns are way more there's way more features and stuff in this inn compared to any other inns that we get back in Aeosia. In Aeosia, the inns are nowhere near as well accommodated. Anyway, let's, let us continue. Let us continue. Ah, I see someone going for it. I believe in you. The hunt is on, my friend. That means work for me and my hammer. Fine as you mainly, uh, mainly in for the bounty, but never fails to bring back something for the forge. If you ever have something what needs smithing, Maybe I can lend you a hunt as well. Then I'm like, they throw a hunt to set one's heart racing. 
Yes, you and your team are the gate of one familiar with the spot, but if you're trying to enough to be considered my rival, I'd very much like to find out. Is this Monster Hunter? Those would be better off if guys just went around <laughs> leaving bad Yelp reviews in their ends. Maybe. Is this Monster Hunter? I dare ask, is this Monster Hunter? Yes, I called it! The way they were talking. The way they were talking. Very much gave the impression it was Monster Hunter. It's funny how, like, Monster Hunter is in this game over there, and it's a crossover with, like, Monster Hunter World. And then Rise came out, which is also just in Fantasy Japan. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Do not jump into the water! Well, I guess where you're jumping, you'll be jumping onto, you know, the pavement. So don't do that either. Don't do that either. Don't do that either. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? I'm going to the quest. I'm, con I'm continuing MSQ. See, look. MSQ is here, so I have to continue it. But I think it's higher up, so I have to go up higher to be able to continue MSQ. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Never mind! Never fucking mind. I still had sprint on. Never fucking mind. Anyway, let's unlock Clan Sidereo as well. One's our veteran clan hunt. Let's chill to see if she or is keeping a close and listing eye on Passerby. You there! Ah, oh, you! You look to be a strong one. I'm S- um, et, um, S- Trilled? Yeah, S- Trilled. Of Clan Centurio! Tell me, are you interested in joining the hunt? Just a moment. You didn't know my member Clan Centurio, are you not? Mine uh, was it? Oh, I knew it! I've heard your name from God Adeline. To hear him tell you, you're quite the hunter. Put this truth to that and tell me. Why are you uh, by a fledgling huntsman? Maybe you've made an ill name for yourself. No reverence for authority. Trouble getting on with others. No matter. Hunt will solve all your worries and woes. Kill your quarry and redeem your reputation. But what the fuck? I killed shit loads of things. Is not even Ben's all flower explanations? Simply hunt, 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 and hunt some more. The monsters that die by your hand, the more the clan will hold you in high esteem. Hate the call and prove yourself. I, I've already done that. <laughs> ah, just looking at the hunts, my blood is surging. But now you can no, no more. How, but how could you not? Go see um, Wolveva outside of Shiokase Hell Story. She'll tell you all you need to know. Off with you then. Might say, I think, um, those the thing is higher lower was still what thing. Make quests in heaven, so it's very fun. Very fun. I like it we're already mad. It's just like, what the fuck? No, I have done that. I, I'm, I, I've done a lot of hunt. What are you talking about? Apparently, people don't think I'm good. It's not said you did, she. So you're one of our clan names. Mine, of course. Well met, sister. I am Wolveva. And like Astral, I am a very member of Clan Tentorio. My humble arm, born here in Kagane, is under my keeping. I confess I'm shocked that your adventure has made such a name for herself uh, as you as yet to rise in our ranks. What evils have you done to stay your climb? I've not done anything! I don't understand! Oh, I'm in the wrong way. Well, so much I know to be right. For a savage that yourself to languish in our lowest ranks is a waste not um, often seen in Clan Tentorio. And by so the power vested me in Clan Tentorio, I grant you the right to untake one star veteran clan markers. See them done in number, and one day you two will find yourself among the Centurio will leave. <laughs> Heed this advice. Do not mock the single star. Show the ferocity of your probably far greater than others you've had before. Hunt bold, but hunt weird. So I have to do more shit before I unlock, like, the big ones. Veteran Clan Hunt. There we go. And Rolga's Reach. We can take it from Rolga's Reach as well. Okay. Been more scrubbed on the bills, and you'll be rewarded with Centurio Seals. We can be exchanged for exclusive items. So yeah, same same currency as Heaven's so they're interchangeable. Onboard merchants and ragas too, but it's the same stuff. Just need to unlock it here. Come available, uh, apparently leashing level 63! Hey, I'm level 63. I'm level 63. Hey, I'm that level that you said. Hey! Okay, so close enlisting ion passer by. Gods, be good, so I dare say one as strong as you pass by. I am a super cleansing Tyrion. Invite you to take part in our hunt. Ah, uh, but I know your face. Aye, aye, you are the firebrand. One whose uh, ways have kept her from rising through our ranks. Manifest was it not. Why do people keep saying this? It's a while since we last met. I know, it's almost been 40 seconds. Your eyes have changed, not for the better. And that's just the scar across my nose, which I already had when I saw you. I eventually you'd have you show grace of death um, since then. I the ones that bills are no longer fit for you. Go on speak with Ulveva, so the clan will not issue bills more suited to one of your abilities. For as the hunter grows, so too must the hunt. Go well, friend. I'm just gonna do this and like just the name on the file. <laughs> they call they write they write down fuckfist and they just keep saying that and they're just like, no, we're not rising you up in the ranks until you change your name. 
You must be mine for this. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, I'm expecting you. Should I tell this time you tried to hand a second star? It seems you're taking quite a liking to you. And rightly so. This short has always fawned on strong women. I suppose there's no faulting her for that. But she seems to be annoying at me. So be it. I'll see how two stars are at your disposal. But you would do well to know the difficulty would be far greater than one star hunt, seems to Prepare yourself. So now if I want to farm Tenturio seals, I can do it a lot faster. Because I have two daily things to do in two different cities. Then I could do three star ones! Well, if it isn't that good, it isn't by when? Come closer, let me see yourself how far you've come since we last met. He just stares at us intently. Just like expected. You look a good deal stronger than before. Land has been good to you. And you to it, I hope. Time has come for you to set out on ever more dangerous hunts. Three stars away you. Go and speak with Vaver one to one. And the gods see you, see you back alone. Two weeklies as well. Which are the ones I'll probably bother with, because dailies are... Hunt dailies are too much for me to bother to do. <laughs> hunt, I, although if I desperately need the, if I desperately need hunt currency, it's probably a wise idea to do it. Go for three stars now. So the shield tells me you're ready for our three star hunts. You should know. To suggest such a thing as a great shot confidence in your ability. Very well, I trust her on this. Our three-star mark feels that you also undertake. But I that no words of warning will suffice. Three, um, the monsters you hunt are no normal beasts. They are hellish. I'm relenting. Also, well, both you and they are careful before you face them. But now you have more things to buy too. That is true. Which we actually also have to check though. Once we finish talking to all of this. Level 70. Sorry, give me a sec. Give me a sec. <laughs> give me a sec. Remains unwavering and keeping a close enlisting I am passed by. Good to see you, Wilson Blackwind. There's news to be waiting, I've been shared with you. It's that damn will Vapor. She had the go to chastise me for inviting passed by to join Clan Centurio. I never thought was to bring the thrill of the hunt all of care to know about it. And great, you know, Zol Savior that I've grew is ever reported back from their antics. We assume them all fallen, but such is the nature of the hunt. Oh, you just send them out to be killed! Cool. We need time nor patience for the week. Let the hunt kill them for our ranks, I say. Wondra must die for Clan Centurio to find one such as you, so be it. Jesus Christ. I uh, know you. To you to be of great ability. How did I spit you would climb so high? You've done good by me and made me proud to call you your uh, 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 made me proud to call you sister. When they both recognize he's one of Clan Centurio's most accomplished hunters for all the stuff that I've done. Temporarily back to trauma. I was gonna unlock a quest real quick. Just let me traumatize myself for a little bit while I unlock a quest. With that, you have the clan's lived on Far East's most fearsome quarry. As you require no long no long winded explanation, having already faced such beasts in Ishgard. Still, for the sake of ceremony, go and speak with the Wolf Vapor. Go well, listen, Blackman. And don't go dine on me now. Fun truly has only just begun. Okay. 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 Hey, listen, Blackman. I have heard word from Miss Strolls. She seems to have vouched for your promotion to Clan Centurio's elite. I agree with you approving yourself. But there's already a soul in the clan who doubts your ability. It's very, very funny to unlock this all back to back. Be welcome to our highest rank system. Wish you good fortune on your future hunts. And you will need it. But now you have the fierce spray the Far East has to offer. And these sons, we grant our quarry according to its strength. By the greater the greater the bounty. But of course, so too is the greater is the danger. Never has a shield so far, highly one of our recruits. You have come far. So far, any further words of warning may be meaningless. But I'll give them all the same. Now more than ever, do not underestimate yourself. Ta-da! And now, and now all the hunters actually unlocked. <laughs> hey! And now we have the elite ones for the weekly ones. What do we get for the weekly one? Well, that's something fucked up. Also in an area that I've not gotten to. Sure, I'll accept it. <laughs> that's not an area I recognize the name of, so... Well, whatever. Anyway. What do we have to buy? Oh god, more clan logs. Oh god, more clan logs. Oh god, these are gonna be turned in for stuff. Oh fucking Christ, I haven't even finished the clan logs from fucking Heavenswood. Oh dear god. Except Mark's never someone said owner who's not present too frightened to take out any of the creatures herself. She renders next to them. Nope. <laughs> Your dogs sleep too much, Mikey. You push them too hard. Unless of elite marks slain by the logs owner. Hunters are dedicated that he said she tracks prey until the ripe age of 120 um 72 summers. Dying that she'll cause after slaying her 13th king behemoth. Jesus. Four veteran and twelve mythic. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Alamegan gear exchange. For all Alamegan stuff. Okay.
Actually, there is one thing from Malamig and stuff that I do actually know that I want. Um, it's not here. Oh, because it will be in the second one. It will be in Sniper Magic. 30th, not 13th. Oh! Okay, that's a lot more than I thought. <laughs> that's a lot more than I thought. Where is it? Oh, I'm now realizing. Oh. That. Lord's money. Sorry, it's just, I, I have uh, my summoner gub. The idea of summoner is going to be this, I think. Though I've not actually seen this on Manifest. I don't actually know how it looks. I thought I'm going to be Alan Megan. Uh... Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Ooh, I'm a fan of that. Ooh, I like it. This is my, this is my sum, I, this is the plan for summoner. Got the healer rope because it's nice. Yeah, the idea is that this is going to be my summoner glen. Big long coat. I did see this um, before. I haven't seen it on Minifist. I haven't seen it on a Brogadon before, but I do like it. I do like it. Though it's just, it's just funny because the pants that I have for summoner already look like these ones. They're not the exact same, but they're similar. It's like Ovum wool or something. Let me let me check. I think it was like an Ovum wool thing. I have some in my fucking yeah Ovum wool bottoms of casting. They're not the- it's- this isn't the same, but they're very similar. But they are very similar. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. That's- that's kind of funny. Uh, I, I'll- okay, there's no picture of it there. I can show this picture. I can show that picture that you can see here. But it's, um, that. <laughs> Those are the ones that I was having. Which are very- which are already very similar to this. So I'm just, just noting how it's funny that it ended up being like that. I don't like the cast of her neck thing. I think I like it for, I like it for Summoner. I like it for, I, I like, I like this idea for Summoner. Also, a fur neck thing does kind of work with Minifus aesthetic, because, just like the way she likes long robes, so I think it works. I think it works. There's also a specific hat for it. <laughs> I just, I didn't realize that the, the pants that were going to be for this were going to be so similar. I don't need new wavelength, shut up! Oh, I can get this now, can't I? I can get this now, actually. My summoner, I believe, is already level 70. So I can just get this now. I'm pretty sure my summoner is already level 70. So BAM! I can equip that coat. I can put on that coat. What was the healing one? No. I like that. I like that. Not quite what I would wear. Not quite what Minifist would wear, but I do like it. Level 74 ish marker that, um, that's a recolor that I really don't remember which one it is, though. Star Velvet? I think Star Velvet and Ovum are actually very similar. It could be that. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And Lost Alagon gear. What's this? I don't even think I've heard of this. What's Lost Alagon? Oh, okay. Robot stuff, but even more. <laughs> Different robot stuff. These ones are more expensive. They've got a lot of bits pointing out of them. Recolor Crystal Tower gear. No, the crystal. No, the recolor Crystal Tower gear is the prestige stuff that's in um the Wolves Den. Yeah. Lost Alagon was one of the design contest winners, and they have a whole lot of lore for them. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not familiar with this stuff. Not stuff I've heard of before. <laughs> if you like the robot aesthetic. Oh, actually, speaking of robot aesthetic, what does the mage ones look like? What do the mage ones look like? That's the important one. Okay, not that one. What do the arms look like? That could work. I'm thinking for my Sage Glam. I'm thinking for my Sage Glam. Or Sage Glam specifically. Check the Alamegan jewelry. I think the rings look nice. <laughs> Can't see much of the rings and stuff that I have. That's not a lot of talking about. I have terrible helmets though. I don't like helmets to cover up my face, so a lot of it is I'm not using. The ring? Ooh! Ooh! 
Nice and pointy. <laughs> I, it does look pretty. Very pointy. Very pointy. Well, I have a summoner. I have a summoner card. I have a summoner card. This is my current thing for summoner. Well, not this hat. I changed this hat for the bit. Which apparently changing the hat changed my hotbar for summoner. And I don't know how or why that happened. I don't know why that happened. If I just do that, it'll just put it on, won't it? Yay! There we go. There we go. Oh, you have more stuff. <laughs> now, sorry, now that you don't have a quest, you also have stuff. Oh, okay. Toro Jiro. His name's Joseph. This tiny tiger club um, has an older brother. His parents deny everything. Hey, Meat Eater! I got Meat Eater from one of the, um... Things. Words, you know. Dragon Horizon and others, yeah. Where do I exchange? Where do I exchange these books? Who do I give the, um, the clan mark logs to? Who do I give these to to actually get stuff from them? Post Storm Blood? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, is it like a poetic sender or something? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why changing the hat to Master Matoya's hat um, did that. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, we're doing MSQ. <laughs> sorry, we're doing MSQ. The entire stream's gonna be in this um, one city. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome, Traveler. Can I interest you in some rice wine? Exceptional quality. Delivered by the other day. I gotta show you pictures of concept art. <laughs> ah, an Irish shinobi and a regular samurai. If I may, I would answer your question with a f um, some few of my own. If I speak on that which I know, Hitchin, be not offended. Um, you're familiar with the situation lands across the Ruby Sea? The Doom Rebellion, after two and a half decades of quiet? Yes. I see. And you're familiar with the ways of Hingashi, how we like to stand apart and support no cause but our own. Indifferent and callous, some may call us, but pragmatism is essential if a humble island nation just as ours is to survive. But we are not fools. Complete isolation is impractical. And so Kagane is open to Ijin, and we are equally hospitable to all. Or, if I must speak more plainly, yes, I can help you, but if I do so, I must also oblige the ones who ask after you. Oh, okay. Okay, if people ask us where we've gone, then it's okay. I mean, is that this fair and equitable treatment? I'm fine with it. Let them come at me. I don't have the confidence for it anymore, but I don't have another choice, so. If anyone comes looking for us, tell them whatever you like. As you wish. Two individuals whom you speak did indeed come here. They saw passage across the Ruby Sea. Few ships are willing to make the trip at the moment. Nonetheless, I made several introductions on my behalf. That was the extent of our interaction. I'll provide you with the names of the captains if you like. been a great help, Mistress K um, Katakaze. I'll be sure to come back for that wine sometime. We would welcome your custom, miss. We should question these captains as soon as we can. He said the first three, I'll take the rest. We'll meet him when we're finished. Alright, good luck! Fantasy Sweden. <laughs> That's where we're vented. Oh, I gotta cross the bridge. I gotta cross the bridge. I can't get to the bridge from here. To the bridge! To the bridge! Wait, 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 wait a second! Wait a second! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Don't think I didn't see. Don't think I didn't see. Where, where, where are you? Bye. Bye. All right. So we got we to gotta get across to the other side. We got to get across to the other side of the bridge. So let's... Fucking Christ. Squeak, 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 squeak. What's it doing? Wait. Can I get... Oh! Can I go back in from here? Ah! I don't have to go all the way around if you fuck up that one. Okay, good. Okay. 
What are they what are they challenging each other at? Oh, I think he said plate, not play. They eating sushi. They eating sushi. They getting day sushi on. The first the first jumps of this are some of the hardest ones. So, some of the hardest ones are the first jumps here. <laughs> so we've gotten we've gotten distracted again. My hair is blowing everywhere. No, you said play. Oh, you're probably talking about the place of the theater. Not the thing that's literally in front of you. That's probably what they're referring to. There we go. Fuck this jump. Fuck that jump entirely. Whee. Just get around to this side a little faster. And then we do this, where we go BAM! And then we turn off Peloton. <laughs> and then we turn off Peloton. <laughs> so now I'm doing it at the correct time. Which is to say night time. Someone broke their fucking ankles. I heard someone break their ankles. Someone shattered their bones. Someone's bones got fucked. <laughs> Another person's bones got fucked. I'm hearing the shattering of knees everywhere. Why is that jump up to here? So annoying. <laughs> You're right there, buddy. Seem to be having some knee issues. Oh, right, I have to jump back. I forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. Your outfit makes a lot more sense to climb than mine does. It's alright, I'm only wearing one- I'm only- go I've only gone into armor that's somehow even bigger and bulkier and larger than my warrior one. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm clicking myself on that wall way too much. We've got this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No! No, don't hate yourself. Another jump that sucks ass. No! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Ow. Good thing you can't die doing this. Good thing you can't die doing this. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like you're frequently going to be able to find people who are still attempting this. My like Moonfire Fair was filled with people, but even this, which is just always available, there's just always going to be people who are attempting it. <laughs> now, should we save this for the sight, um, for the si uh, sightseeing stream? Maybe, maybe. But also, but also, I'm a stubborn prick. <laughs> also that. There's always people who are just gonna be attempting it. Do the people of Kagana get mad at people for doing this? I feel like they can't. I feel like they just, like, you don't design this tower with all of this and not expect people to have a crack at it, you know? <laughs> this completely blind leap, that one, fuck it. Oh yeah, this jump, yeah, this jump sucks. Genuinely being a Rogadin actually makes this harder because the camera is defaulted up higher, which means I'm clipping onto stuff more frequently. No! No! Also having a giant hat and giant robe and giant bow also make it a little harder. Do I switch to a glam that makes this a little easier? Or do I continue being a stubborn prick and not do that? <laughs> Please change your outfit. No. <laughs> no. No. I have an outfit that makes way more sense to do this in. I'm not going to do it though. <laughs> Stubborn prick! Stubborn prick, what did I say? I don't like doing it sideways there because I'm way less confident of exactly pressing left or right than pressing forward and back. And also just the way the camera will turn as you move left and right on the camera. Whereas you go forward, the camera stays put. 
shit. <laughs> shit! <laughs> The camera is definitely a lot worse here than in uh, Moon Fighter. I feel like that's the part that actually might like... The jumps in this are nowhere near as bad as some of the jumps that exist in Moon Fire Fair. Some of the Moon Fire Fair jumps are absolutely fucking devious and the platforms are way smaller towards the end of it. But the camera's a lot worse here. <laughs> the camera's a lot worse here. It becomes so much harder to actually see what you're doing. Just because of the design of the tower, like there's things above you around here. My Min Fire Fair is a straight pillar up. There's like two jumps in Min Fire Fair where camera gets a bit annoying. I was so close before. We can do this. I, if I get up to the top, I'll have one jump at the lamppost and then I won't try it again today. We'll try the lamppost another day. And again, fuck doing it at night. This is fine. I turned on my brightness. Not that I don't know. I, I, if people are watching, I have no idea if you can see anything that I'm doing. But if I just claimed that I made it to the top, would you all believe me? Would you be able to see and tell differently? If I just claimed that, oh, I made it to the top. Just like fuck up multiple jumps in a row, but just don't say anything. And just be like, oh, I did it. Oh, you can't see? Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> Trust me. Show you the sightseeing log? Well, we've got to hurry up and do the MSQ, so I don't have time to do that. Ah, Jesus! Jesus. We'll always have the lamppost. <laughs> are you saying I'll never make the jump to the lamppost? Is that, are you trying to tell me I will never make the lamppost jump? Again, the lamppost jump is the one that I have no experience in. Jumping down onto something from a distance is uh, not what any other jumping puzzle asks you to do. I just love how this game has such weird jumping um, controls, and they're just like, yes, we're going to make several different platforming sections based on that alone. Like, no other game's jumping controls like this. Because it's weird. <laughs> But they do it. But they do it. Because they can. I feel like I should try this jump from this angle. Yeah, that's... Okay. It is easier. I just didn't jump as far the time. But it's easier, to, it's easier to see what I'm doing. Trying to zoom in behind me to look means I'm just kind of jumping and just hoping for the best. Your dog sleeps so much, Mikey. How does poor Pyro feel these days that Pyro never gets used? I haven't seen Pyro in so long. So were people looking forward to the thrilling story of Stormblood? Were people looking to the tension of Storming a Revolution? Were people looking forward to seeing me fight Xenos and stuff like that? Too bad! Too bad! Oops or jumping puzzle. Oops or jumping puzzle. God damn it. You distracted me. <laughs> I should be a lot better at this than I am. Should be a lot better at this than I am. Fire has been in the party. I've never seen I don't see it to see Pyro. Your dogs are too busy fucking for me to actually see the one that does the sleep zoomies. What was that? I just walked. <laughs> Didn't even jump. I like how the nighttime theme is still Storm of Blood. It's just way calmer. It's just way calmer. Like, it's the same light motif. Game loves its fucking light motifs, it really does. <clears throat> okay. I don't... I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm doing wrong on that jump anymore. I'm not even sure what I'm doing wrong on that jump. I feel like I'm full sending it, and I'm still not making it. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing wrong. 
So it makes it a bit hard for me to adjust because I'm just like, I can tell with some other jumps that's like, okay, I didn't jump far enough there or anything like that. I don't actually know how I'm fucking up that one, <laughs> which is a problem. <laughs> Like, I look at how I fail and I'm just like, okay, I thought I went too far. I, I, th I thought if anything I was going to go too far, and I still didn't actually make it. Pretty sure I made that jump first try last time, too. <laughs> Pretty sure I made it first, uh, um, first try, the one we were here before. Hey, buddy. I believe in you. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. <laughs> My model is huge. I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> I'll fuck with you. I don't know if this dude's made it past this jump here either. It's an absolute pain in the ass one. It is. It is. It is rough. It is rough. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, don't do the camera just yet. <laughs> Get up there. Get up there. Why are you not getting up there? What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Why? Why is it not doing it? Get up there. Jesus Christ. You need like the, you actually need a little bit of a run up to do that. You actually need a run up for that. <laughs> okay. Go. Here we go. Wait, how do I actually get up to the top there? Wait, how do I actually get up to the top here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, I'm on this part. Hey, there we go. There we go. Easy. Easy. Shiokaze Hostori. A towering tavern, the largest in Kagane. Favored by local merchants and dock workers and foreign visitors alike. Guests can indulge in Farley's and cuisine, made with the freshest seafood, while sipping on fine rice wine imported from Koshu, the main island of Ingashi. Now we try the drunk down, which I'll give one attempt at now. I don't think this inspire has been every feeling we've lost a couple streams. Sleeping like usual. I'm, just, I'm being given a preview. Oh, I'm being told how to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm being told how to do it. We actually use sprint for this? You actually need sprint for this to make it? Oh. Oh, okay. I sprint. Oh, okay. What? Which side is it? <laughs> Okay, it's this side. Okay. 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 Well, I'm being told I've got low battery. You can overshoot though. So I think that um, a visual helps, so a visual isn't gonna do the work for you. Yeah. Hit sprint when you hit sprint when you start. Yeah. Every time I did it, it's been luck. Okay, it's right there. Okay. If we head, okay. Just gotta really make sure I'm actually properly lined up for it. Okay. If we go along these slants here, if we get the middle of this slant here, it should be fine. Okay. Just make make sure the slant is lined up straight on the narrow. Okay. Well, we got one shot at this. Do not miss a chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a tower climb. So you better make it. You jump a lot- you jump a lot earlier than the ledge. Like, the guy that you've given me- For- for those curious, I should bring it up on screen. I've been given this. I've been given this. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. 
We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I really didn't think you need this much of a run up for it, but we'll see how it goes. All right, everyone, start your bets. Do I make it? Do I not make it? Will this be a first time attempt thing? Again, if we fail this, we'll come back to it another day. <laughs> we'll come back to it another day. All right. Just got to get it as lined up straight no, as I can. All right. Three, two, one. Let her rip. Easy done. Easy fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> Easy done. I was given a guide. I was given a guide. <laughs> the statue of Zoiko. Depicts in the majestic detail of stride, its rearing steed is the great warlord Zoiko, revered founder of Swain Akuni. While his realm occupies the southern region of Shishu encompassing Kagane, it must be noted that this port administration alone falls under Bakufu jurisdiction. <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> wow wow <laughs> I mean I was given a guide I was given a guide so you know there is that <laughs> I'm, I'm just now noticing the fuck you message <laughs> I am now noticing the fuck you message I'll be honest falling down I thought I was gonna I definitely thought I was gonna undershoot it when I was falling down Discord. Discord. Uh, hi, I'm, uh, uh, okay, wait, wait, I gotta, okay. Can I bring this up? Okay. There are, <laughs> we've been given two comics now to look at. We've been given two comics to look at. Hi, I'm new to FF14 in a Blue Mitch comic. Has inspired me to become Blue Mitch, practice the art of die. <laughs> when I think of it, self-check Billy has come in surprisingly handy. That's why I want to climb Kagani Tower with me. Boom! Just keep going up there. Hope you get bad jumping. That's always good jumping. Does the race spell, and you just go up the tower, exploding the entire time. <laughs> just explode the entire time. And also, and also, if I can bring it up properly. <laughs> and there's the egg roller comic. And there's the egg roller comic. As is mandatory every time that we mention or do something in FF14. There is the egg roller comic. I'd like to say that I'm great at video games. I'd like to say that uh, jumping puzzles are my fucking bitch and they can suck my dick. First time visiting Kagane. Okay. Oh, Jesus. First time visiting Kagane. I'll bring this up as well. I'll bring this up as well. You have mentioned on multiple platforms that platforming is your thing. Uh, not just mentioned it, I've proven it with Celeste and Hollow Knight, so... <laughs> As I said, it, th this game has definitely has the, the weirdest, but somehow the most satisfying... Well, not the most satisfying. It's very satisfying to get good at jumping in this game, but it's by far the weirdest. What the fuck? This <laughs> is very much not what I was expecting from that. Very much not what I was expecting from that. God damn it, Lise. Lise the racist. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Lise, we're in Asia. What do you expect? Um, so, I don't want to get down from here. I don't want to get down from here. <laughs> At least she's not racist. Go Decker! <laughs> oh my god. Kath and Kim cross 14 is the crossover event of the season. Is Kath and Kim known outside of Australia? I'll be honest, I didn't realize it was. I didn't realize Catherine Kim was known outside of this country.
Sorry, I'm just blowing up everything. I don't want to get down from here. It's known by homosexuals. Ah. Ah, okay. I'd like to- sorry, I'd just like to state for the record that I'm God. <laughs> I really did not think that jump would happen first try. Again, I was given a guide on it. I was given a guide on how to do it. <laughs> Actually, I can turn off the desktop audio. I'm now doubling the game's audio. Sorry. Sorry. Doubling the game's audio by doing that. Anyway, so what are we doing next? <laughs> what are we doing next? <laughs> what are we doing? Manifest state personal struggles are mainly valid by her ability to bull. <laughs> Dance with the parasol, Mikey, you're so correct. Mikey, you're so correct. We need to dance the parasol up here. Yeah! Of our fallen brothers. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. See, it wasn't even that long. It wasn't even that long. Challenging so Cloak could get the tower off. That'll fucking crush him, Matt. That'll fucking crush him, Matt. And I did it with my stupid fucking glam, by the way. I'd also like to point out that I did it in this glam, where I couldn't see shit, Captain. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Alrighty. I mean, if I wasn't given the guide, at a bare minimum, I doubt I would have sprinted. I might have um, done peloton. Of our fallen off Yagane Tower Brothers. <laughs> Anyway, let's let's unlock housing. Let's unlock housing. Surubami. Hello. I dream of Shiragane! Surubami is frantically trying to get your attention. Ah, Mrs. Jin, a moment if you would. There's a favor I would ask of you. I see what has it the Lord Bugio of Kiga um, Kigane has established a new residential district, especially for foreigners. Having long dreamed of a home to call my own, couldn't help but find myself wanting to know more. I very much see this token for myself, but as I'm not a foreigner, be able to be turned back before all and sundry, the embarrassment would be too much to bear. And so I turn to you, Mrs. Shin. I'd be most obliged for you to go to the residential district. Shiragane, make inquiries in my stead. I'm given to understand representative of the Bugyo is rep uh, presently at the docks. If you speak with him, he should be able to tell you more. Oh, I cannot wait to hear what manner of place it is. Da -da -da. Da -da. I'm drunk. You're drunk! It's alright. We're all drunk. We're all drunk. So that was the that was the infamous jumping puzzle, the one that's kept in legend across Final Fantasy XIV players. That one, the one that I demolished. <laughs> I'm looking up and oh, is that the same person as before? No, they've got a cat tail. I'm. Pr I think the person jumping us with before wasn't a Makote. Or it is, and it's the same person. <laughs> or it is, and it's the same person. Please go look up the tower. Yep, there's people going. You're welcome, my foreign friend. How may the humble servant uh, of the Lord Bigio assist you? I have heard you have housing. I see interest in Shuragane. It's my pleasure to tell you about the district. Ever since Kagane opened its arms to the world, the number of visitors continues to grow. And among those who come, no few remain here for extended periods. Such lodgings are as available in the city, no longer suffice to meet demand. In order to address the accommodation shortage, Lord Bugio established a residential district upon a nearby isle of Shuragane. Plots of land on the isle are being released exclusively to foreigners. You may build homes upon them as they see fit. A tidy solution, I'm sure you'll agree. We shall learn more, I invite you to take this boat to Shuragane. There you may speak with the district official and inspect the isle at your leisure. Probably anyone at Shuragane's wards to advance the quest. Praise bound for Shuragane. Are you coming along? Specific ward. We'll just go to the first one. We'll just go to the first one, because we can. Shuragane. Now you too can have a weave house. <laughs> the apartment building is a much nicer building than all the other places. Like uh, the outside of the apartment building is much nicer. <laughs> there, it actually looks like a fancy building and not just a block. <laughs> so there is that. All right, you'd have to attune with these two. Greetings and welcome to Shiragane, Kugane's residential district for foreigners. You visit to our shores, if I'm not mistaken. In which case, congratulations! You're able to purchase land here and build upon it. 
As long as you have the funds, it matters not whether you do so as an individual or group. If you wish to know more about the process, Rajon can take a yonder will please to assist you. So in this place empty was weird. <laughs> Are there any among your acquaintances who might have an interest? We'd be grateful if you could spread the word. I probably should have worked out that this place was a housing district, considering some of the decorations and like floor spacing in my place are him gone. <laughs> I probably should have been able to work it out, but you know. So this is another this is another beachside one. This is another beachside one. So I'm immediately ranking this as the second best housing district. I'm immediately putting this as rank number two. I feel like a lot of people who build houses here are going to be theming the place as Hingun. <laughs> looking around, looking around, it seems that people who build their houses here are sticking to the theme. <laughs> okay, well that one isn't. That one isn't. You can say weebs. <laughs> the weebs! The weebs who build their houses here! Oh my god, there's a little... There's a, oh my god. You got a fancy little secret aisle getaway? You have a secret aisle getaway at your housing district? That's so cool. Whimsy Ishgard all dark you can in terms of housing. Wow. Wow. Japan racist much. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Ooh. I can actually just go swimming. <laughs> Fuck the bar! I'm swimming across the Ruby Sea! How far out would it let me swim? <laughs> How far out would it actually let me swim? I mean, Limbs is my favorite. Not even just from a, oh, my Fist is a pirate weave, so she's going to do that. Not even from that perspective, just in terms of, like, places that I like the look of. I'm a sucker for the, like, the marble seaside um, that Limsa has. <laughs> Sorry, have I, uh... I've, uh, I've uh, stumbled upon to some people's barbing. Bar oh, I should have bring this to Ed Walker. Um, housing district so bad. One day. Man, it took them forever to get the... When was when was this one done? So it was from Otha to Astaris as a foreigner in order to be able to own an apartment here. It was probably due to her um, sign association and time she spent in Aeolusia. <laughs> you get away with it on technicality that you're a foreigner. <laughs> I will say, having a nice little, like, private beach there is pretty cool. It's pretty cool that this place has its own private beach. Oh, look, a little shrine. A nice little shrine. You eventually unlock it and you can get, um, the, the, um, weapon for your, um, Palamutes and Palicos that makes them have a sleep effect. Rise reference. I've had him gashi at different places. That is true. That is true. That is true. You're from Othard, so you are a foreigner. Because you're across the Ruby Sea. <laughs> wait, now that I'm- wait! Okay, so- Now that the- now that the thought process has come up- Now that the thought process has come up, thinking about how Ngashi's an island off to the side, and, uh, Dome is on the mainland of Othard, and also thinking about how Samurais are from here, and Nigiri is a ninja. Is Doma not Fantasy Japan, but Fantasy China? Is that the thing? Is Doma Fantasy China, not Japan? Yes? Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. It's Fantasy China, not Fantasy Japan. Okay. Okay. I solved it. I solved it. Doma is China. I thought it's just Asia as a whole. Okay. Okay. Because I was thinking... Uh, wait, island off to the side. Samurai. Interesting paved road they have here. Oh, this is oh, this isn't an apartment building. Oh, that's not the apartment building. Oh, sorry, where's the apartment? Oh, the, the, oh I was about looking at this. I'm just like, wait a minute, what? And like, oh, that's not the apartment building. That is just one hell of a mansion. What a mansion! Doma's kind of weird because Doma um, architecture is absolutely Chinese. A lot of Chinese influence in Doma, but also Doma has Samurai Ninja and very Japanese names for everything. I'm now I'm now remembering. Ninja is Japanese, isn't it? Is there a Chinese version of Ninja? Or is that like because it's in Asia there's a lot of that history where there's like a lot of commingling of that history. 
because a lot of a, a lot of a lot of Asia's history has a lot of that commingling in it of things like going between each other. Because it's not like Australia, where Australia is an isolated country away from fucking everywhere else. Though all of that commingling in Asia isn't necessarily, you know, done consentfully with the history that it has. It's a separate island nation, separate from mainland. Um, that is what makes it a bit too Japan compared to fantasy Japan. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it is just Japan. Yeah, an island separate from the mainland of the rest of it. It is just Japan. Hingashi is just Japan. <laughs> Like, at least Ishgard is part of the mainland of all the other aspects that are there. And it's also massive mountains and stuff like that. Like, that part's not England. That's not England. That's not how- that's not what that place is like. And the snow. It's just like the church, um, and architecture. They even had a warring states period. Okay, so it's just- it's just Japan. It's just fantasy Japan. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not- okay, it's not fan- sorry, it's not fantasy Japan. It's just Japan. I do like how the markets in this place is like an actual proper market area. This is nice. Instead of just having like a bunch of stalls that are just, here's where the market is. It's a bunch of stalls. These are like actual proper buildings for the market. Like it actually does feel like a proper marketplace with its own buildings and stuff like that. These are the local markets for this housing district rather than just here are some stalls for housing specific purposes. And the team agent New Ninja Turtles just like Japan has. Oh look! Ishgardians? They definitely look like Ishgardians with the pompous hats. <laughs> I get why people like would like this place for their housing. Again, weebs. I get it. I do get it. I do get it. It is not for Minefist. <laughs> it is not for Minefist. At least this housing district goes directly to the actual city. Fucking mist. <laughs> Fucking mist, am I right? Fucking mist, not actually going to the housing um the housing district and the city and the city state, not actually being connected and being separated by a whole off zone. God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> it's annoying that if I want to get back to Limsa from my housing district, I have to actually teleport. To be fair, they are just individual islands. Oh, there you are, Mr. Jin. So you able to learn about Shiragane? Oh my, it sounds like a truly lovely place. I said, I believe I'd enjoy, uh, enjoy it there. Your view description has quite convinced me of it. Locals about emerging land is no object. I need to find myself a foreign husband. If you know someone, will you introduce me? Yes. <laughs> I just gotta get married. That's fine. If I can get married, then I can move. Getting... <laughs> I'm now realizing, I'm now realizing that this woman's plan, this woman's plan is to marry someone for a green card for the country that she lives in and is from. <laughs> it is I, the foreign husband. She's marrying someone for the green card for her own country. <laughs> that is straight up what is happening there. This is straight up what is happening there. I apologize to everyone who thought we weren't going to spend literally five hours in Kugane when we got here. Though I feel like if you thought that, that's more of a you problem than a me problem because I feel like you should be able to say that. We're not even gonna leave Kugane and I'm already being yelled at low battery. Oh look, more jumping puzzles. I can't do all the sightseeing now. We need to save some sightseeing for the actual sightseeing streams. I need to save some of this for the sightseeing streams, but I can't help it! I must get them all! Then why are you jumping? Shh. <laughs> I wonder what it takes to be a, um, not the adventure for the other housing districts. Yeah, yeah what does it require to be an adventurer? Because adventurer in Eorzea means you're signed up with the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> Kugane, uh, um, Ofunakura. Um, found that on the auspices of Kugane Tobugyo. This factory the facility specializes in the construction of small crafts and the repair of visiting vessels. Accordingly, the shipwrights employed here are not only in local shipbuilding traditions, but in foreign techniques as well. They're adventuring non-combatants, all it takes is helping others. The crafters! 
Leaves in this are explicitly for crafters only. <laughs> they are for crafters only in this one. Crafting is adventuring technically. Yeah, leaves are, are, are only that. I gotta show off Alpha and rowing again. Yeah, so Rogan and German did approach me. I wanna try to shoot Sagan across the Ruby Sea, the mad girl. I sent him away, like all the others before him. Woman? Yeah, I know her not. Sorry, we're actually finally continuing in this gear. I'm sorry. Though again, I stand by. If you thought it was gonna be anything different, it sounds like a year problem, not a me problem. You also haven't seen this arrow woman stroking in summer, right? The woman's not a note to me, but the man is not. He was for Dharma, but I could not help him. We travel solely between here and Radzat Han. It'd be an unreasonable day to How have none of them seen Nigiri? It's a bit suspicious that they've not seen Nigiri. YouTube audience watching this? They could skip footage. You're stuck with me. Damn loading. Jackie, do you need someone to buy you a PS5? Do you need someone to buy you a PS5? Okay, how do I climb up this tower? Where's the jumping puzzle for this tower? Or can I just go inside? Oh, this is the airship lane. This is the airship lane. That's how I climb up a bit. I just go up here. To which there is no airship. Is there a particular vessel? The other signing sees are following airships from the Galleon Empire and elsewhere. As we, as well as craft belonging to the Bakufu um, himself. Oh, that's how Galleons get here. Okay. That's why people still get it, so not sneaky big ninja. <laughs> so I just didn't realize she was hiding the entire time. Okay. Okay. So the airship landing exists because Garleans come here via airship. Okay. That's the only reason it exists. Okay. You're right. It is completely useless. There's not even a front line like, starting thing up there like the others have. You're right. It's completely useless. Come on, Rashi Weary Bones as well, have you? Sure, I can take much more of my master's gentle instruction. Just slip away the flower districts and steal pleasures my meager wage come by me. I gotta go buy me some whores! <laughs> Sorry, what? Games words, not mine. You having fun drinking on the ledge there? Go to your dip down at the springs. Where are the whores, by the way? People keep talking about the halls. Where do we actually find them? <laughs> Not that Minifus is going to partake at this stage. The Stoller is currently sitting at home bedridden. It would be slightly inappropriate, but a future reference. In chat, fair enough. Fair point. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Oh, because there's a tiny little bit of water there. I was doing jumping puzzle. Passengers. No, we no longer offer that service. Too much trouble. No, the transport goods. I told this to the samurai and sent him on his way. Woman? Ha! Well, so many music, the pleasure houses are plenty. Everyone keeps talking about the pleasure houses. Wow. Wow, this is a very different boat. This is a very different boat to the ones that they have back in Aeosia. In a yours here. The boats don't look so fancy. I think that's the pleasure district area. What, the boat? <laughs> the boat, do you mean? Oh, is that what these is that what these houses are? Are these houses not storage houses, but are they fuck houses? Oh. Oh no, you're talking up there. Oh. No, they are storage. Okay. Well, it's where I can go to store my balls in a... That's how it rises on the damn hold. Skipping out things I've just been not forgotten anything else. Then we can turn the ship and balance we set sail. Go for a dive. We should be able to swim in. Where's it nearby Aetherite? How do I get down to there? Can I jump from here down to there? Please tell me I can. I'm on the boat. I don't know how to get down. Yay! Oh. Oh, that's how you're meant to do that. Oh, okay. It doesn't go back the other way. Okay. Sorry, Elise. We've got important things that we've got to check out first. We've got to check out the whores! <laughs> I 
We, this is we haven't actually we haven't actually walked through here because we jumped on top of it. <laughs> now I gotta go find something else to jump on top of. Someone just punched someone already. <laughs> someone just decked someone else for fuck's sake. Hello there, man. No, Are you? No, oh, okay, you're not. <laughs> I'll be honest, I saw this and I, for a second I thought it was a letter. I thought it was a letter. Okay, I mean, this guy, this guy is holding the red lantern. This guy is holding the red lantern. They did say it was the red lantern stuff. Okay. Okay. So there's just a bunch of housing in there. Okay. You don't get to see any of them. There's no dancing cat girls like in Uldar. We don't get that here. We don't get that here. Okay. And now I've gone down a pathway that I can't get escape from. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm just cute. <laughs> Have you considered speaking with the maybe? I'll continue my at some point. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a new city. I want to explore. I want to see the fine sights, including the the people of hopefully various genders that I can sleep with. <laughs> is that too much for a person to? Uh, is that is that too much for a person to want to indulge when they first visit a new place? But like, not in a gross sex tourism kind of way, because that shit gets creepy. Yeah, I've already done more mosquito this stream than in our first stream in Ishgard. Are you sure about that? We did fight the Heavenswood in Ishgard in our first stream there. We had the trial by combat in our first stream in Ishgard. Though that may be like three streams in. I don't, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. I like three quests then, right? We did, well, we did a lot of um, unlocking jobs also in Ishgard. We did a lot of job unlocking there. You gotta go back and sleep with Hancock. I'll pass. How did it... Oh, never mind. Judge one look on your face, you didn't have much better luck than I did. Oh, and now we just get that for mounting it on the wall. <laughs> now, now we just get it for putting onto the wall. I thought we did some risky like a meal go to a quest and they could see the ARR cleanup. My headphones have now died. I believe it. I believe we did enough MSQ in the first stream of Heavenswood that we fought the actual Heavensward in the trial by combat in the first stream. After the first stream, we ditched it to then do a realm reborn cleanup. But in but in the first stream. In the first stream, I'm pretty sure we stuck to MSQ and Job on Ah, loud! So my headphones died. <laughs> my headphones died and we've not left Kagano. We did do a dungeon today. We have done a dungeon today, so there is that. There is that. There is that. It's probably a trap. It's probably pirates. Oh my god. Oh my god, we actually get to finally make these fish things. I have seen these fish things fucking everywhere, as minions, as certain people in chat dressing up as them. I've seen the fucking, it was like, the, the neckerchief was one of the things that you could get. We actually finally get to meet them. Lisa's about ready to give up. So I might as well go head back to, wait, I just remembered. Someone on my list I forgot to visit. Goto. He's a Namazu fisherman, whatever that means. And a regular here. Maybe we'll find him if we look around? Now do we head up top? Do I jump up the tower again? <laughs> do I jump up the tower again? Hey! Hello! Hello! I found a fish! <laughs> Lace doesn't like the fish. What, what? Why do you stare? You have business with me? By the 12, it's all good fish! Lise, have you seen the beast tribes that exist back in Eorzea? In Eorzea? The beast tribes also talk. Lise, how are you that surprised? Yes, yes, a talking fish. How very observant of you, Ishim. <sighs> you find me in good spirits, so your rudeness will, I will ignore this once. But I don't you address me again in the proper manner. Sorry, I've never met up. Let's start again. You're Gyodo, right? My name is Lise, and this is Usim Blightwing. We're looking for some friends of ours. Please stop being a racist. Yes, yes. <laughs> so let me get this straight. So far, Lise's job in this story is to be a white woman savior, fail at that, 
Go to Japan and be racist. Cool. Cool. I'm glad that the expansion is focused around her character. Awesome. I see, I see. But right, these ones I know well. I helped them skill passage across the Ruby Sea. Really? That's wonderful. Would you do the same for us? Yes, yes, this would not be a problem. For you, I could charter a ship this very day. But the journey is fraught with much peril. The fare will not be cheap. Are you sure you can afford to pay? Everyone's favorite scion. <laughs> Just make her not a white woman savior racist and it would be a little better. And things will bring any money. But surely Tassara will learn, <laughs> let us have whatever we need for the science coffers, right? We need from the science coffers, right? <laughs> the hat may be a little too big for cutscenes, especially that I'm taller than everyone else. We wouldn't be the only passengers, though. Can we take a moment to talk it over with our friends? Yes, yes, but hurry. Your ship must depart under cover of darkness. We shall meet again at sunset on Tasakari Bridge. Do not forget your fare. Bring many gil, yes? He's gonna ask for like five gil. It's about time our luck changed. Alpha and the others will be thrilled. I apologize for those who want to see Minifus face during cutscenes in this. Hello. 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 She's been a pale Alamingan since 1.0. Since 1.0, the issues of Highlander women are not a thing, and they couldn't really just go. Suddenly, she's dark skinned now when they jumped to 2.0. Wind up, Namazu. Half cat, half fish. All fish. <laughs> but then, why make her like. Then, why do with her story what they're doing? <laughs> That's also the thing. Okay, if they can't do that, then why is the story based around that anyways? Not too many summers passed, there wasn't a house at all, but outside the harm that didn't echo with the pitter patter of Hingan made wine of Namazu dolls. The misplaced eyes and bewhiskered lips, the source of much mirth in me, essentially. I assume this is a dance I'm going to unlock for their beast tribes. <laughs> Wild guess, this is a dance I unlock for their beast tribes. <laughs> you blend in with them, you're basically the same size. Fish everywhere! Fish fucking everywhere! This is normal for Lala Zoo. <laughs> What are you wearing? Oh, you're wearing the doctor's coat, okay. There's fish everywhere. Scary ass. Oh my god, yo. Yo, axe is a chainsaw! The best surgeon, okay. <laughs> Okay, your warrior glam is just violent surgeon. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> so I'm, reali I'm realizing the whole destination is a mark on my map. Get rid of that. Where am I actually going? All oh, right, I'm going back to the thing. Lock on lights back to the house. Uh, Ruby Bazaar. <laughs> I have to talk to you. Okay, I have to, I have to talk to you to be let inside. Okay, it's not just interact with a glowy object on the door. I have to talk to someone. Hey everyone, we're finally back. Jesus, what took you so long? One would think that you climbed the entirety of the of the of the tower to get up to get a view of the place. <laughs> yeah, imagine if someone did that. Welcome back. We ourselves returned but a moment ago. Oh, are you climbing it too? You wouldn't believe some of the things you can find down the markets. We're spoiled for choice here. <laughs> They've got this thing. They call it, I believe, Spy Says. You add it to food and it stopped tasting like rotten meat. It's wild. And my information was of value? You helped. I don't want to fucking admit it. We spoke with a number of merchants and captains at the Southern Piers. Several recognized Gusetsu and confirmed he had been searching for a vessel to deliver him to Othod. None, however, made any mention of Lady Geary. Yeah, so it was the same story for us. They don't never believe what happened. They find an energy drink they call... Sake? 
Alphano, how much of this sake did you have? A little bit. <laughs> oh god, it's the first time that Alphano's been drunk. So this Gyoto claims to have evaded both Gazetto and Nigiri. Apototus. Not the word I would have chosen, Master Alphano. Stupid is what I'd call it. How can I agree to his price without making any attempt to haggle? Or even confirming what it, what it was in the first place? Yes, that too was a misstep on their part. But it's not what troubles me most. Gerdo and his brethren are not renowned for their generosity of spirit. Rather, they disdain as scheming moneylenders, ever eager to turn a profit from others' misfortune. Everyone else would go and say that Gassetta was alone. Only Gerdo claims to have met both him and Nigiri. I suppose it's just possible that Gassetta made inquiries by himself, and the girl upon Nigiri once he found a willing captain. But it is equally possible, if not more likely, that you're being deceived. Do not forget that there are parties present in Kagani with agendas which may run contrary to your own. Yeah, there it is, but that's not what I'm worried about. <laughs> the Viceroy was once a spy herself, as I recall. To be surprised if she don't have countless agents here in her employ. All eager to prove themselves to their new master. And what better way to do so by delivering her the heads of foreign insurgents? Fine, you may be right about him, but if Gyoto's working for the Empire, who say he didn't try to um, the same trick on Nigiri and Gasetsu? I mean, if he did, he might know where they are. And if he succeeded, they might be in trouble. Anyway, if he holds up his end of the bargain, we'll have nothing to worry about, will we? But if he tries to betray us, I bet we take him prisoner and punch him until he tells us the truth. So, if it's a trap, we'll spring it and deal with the consequences. Hmm. I like it the way you think. Alright. Alright. Okay. The white women can go off and... plan similarly. <laughs> Ah, very well. We should prepare for the worst. Tataro will remain here and I shall follow the three of you at a discreet distance. Does my necklace count as white? Girls night out, let's go. Does my necklace count as white? She has grey skin. I have no idea what purview that falls under. Alice says biracial. Technically. That's not... What? White and Ellison. <laughs> Once more, I must caution you to avoid physical altercations at all costs. Imogen Imperial agents have to engage you. The Seki Saigumi will not hesitate to claim human irons. I'll cut you down. If anything untoward should happen, you'll return here at once. Is that clear? Oh, right. The cops are murder crazy in this place. We forgot about that. <coughs> Rest assured, I'll be far behind. Oh, you're some black one. Well, I'm no Shinobi. I can keep to the shadows when necessary. <laughs> in your standard... I was about to say, in your blue outfit. I guess any colour stands out here. I probably stand out the most because I'm wearing mostly black. The Zeki Sai Gumi are not to be trifled with. Rare is the week that I do not hear at least one tale of an issue being arrested under the dubious pretext. Fortunately, a wealthy and well-connected ally cannot resolve such matters within the minimum of a fuss. <laughs> I had a feeling we might find ourselves in a situation like this, so I made sure to take up on some special supplies that I thought might prove useful. I'll say has them in case you're wondering. And I was thinking Goto was just being nice. I tell you now, if Hancock's right about all this, that fish is getting filleted. <laughs> to review, Lise, Usain Blightwin, and I will meet with Goto as planned. Alphano will keep watch from a distance, ready to provide support in the likely event that Goto attempts to betray us to the Imperials or whomever else. Should that happen, you and Lise will subdue him, and together we'll make our escape. As our actions will surely draw the attention of the Seki Sagumi, we'll evade them with Alphano's assistance and return with our prisoner. Does that mean with everyone's approval? Of course, these precautions will be for naught if Goto does not play us for fools, but we shall see. To the bridge! It's alright. It's alright. Once we get into a punch up, we'll run from the cops. Once once we get our punch on, we'll run from the cops. That is our plan. That's our plan. They have swords, not guns. So we can outrun them. <laughs> right. Right. This plan works flawlessly. Zero issues possibly happening. You almost fit in the bucket. You almost fit in the bucket. <laughs> almost. Almost. Maybe they're not going to be this one. <laughs> it is. I know him, but then. Namazu. Is that the one that's making the sounds? Is that the one that's making the sounds? Hmm! Alice! Do you happen to know why there's a giant glowing aura around you? Yes. 
Oh, okay. It isn't a trap, is it? Is it? We might as well stop kidding ourselves. At least you're the only one who was. Now we're zooming more noises. So I'll zoom in really close to make sure you can hear them. I'll zoom in close to make sure you can really hear them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just on the other side of the bridge. I would be allies nowhere to be seen. Like ready for some love. Something smells fishy. We were explicitly told not to get into fights in the middle of the street here. We were explicitly told this. And our, once again, our first thing in arriving in New City, let's get in a fight in the middle of the street! Yeah, let's go! I'm making a pumbo standing right next to a harbor. <laughs> Endless and most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. This way, this way, quickly now. Not the voice I was expecting. Not the voice I was expecting out of this fish. Not the voice I was expecting. Not the sound I was expecting from the fish. Enough! Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? The ship, the ship! So very sorry to inform you, yes, yes! Long before was it pledged to another! To me, to me, these ones are for Doma. And of course. And of course. Uh, I knew it couldn't be this simple. Did you, Lise? Did ya? It's a trap, well, I'm so surprised. Nothing personal, yes, yes, just business. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse. <laughs> Come on, let's find a way out of here. Well, subduing it was easy. Well, subduing it was relatively easy. No one will notice this fight down by the dogs. At least this gets, <laughs> gets this as a plus one to her character. Season before this, I was like, he's like, Yumi come. So yeah, because they don't, yeah, because even the, because even the Galleons aren't safe. At least she gets a plus, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, because, yeah, even, yeah, even the Galleons aren't safe from the cops here. The Galleons have to abide by their laws as well. Neutrality. The Galleons aren't getting special treatment against the same as everyone else. Damn, look at LSA go! Look at LSA go! We should probably run. I was using a dual cast on Jolt, man. Hey, she's just started learning Red Mage. Give her a break. I suspect the Seki Saigumi have caught our send. Since finding them is out of the question, we'll have to wind our way back to the Ruby Bazaar. Abandoning their patrols as we go. They find you, use these smoke bombs to make your escape. Hey, that was the stuff that Tazara was talking about. Using the smoke bombs to evade the patrols. Be warned that attacking Seki Saigumi will result in failure. Stealth mission. <laughs> Stealth mission. Okay, this is double checking how I actually use it. Split up, head for the rooms are. Remember, no circumstances. Oh! Oh! Well, that was fast. 
I'm trying to use this mic bomb. That was fast. Okay, I can go up there. Jesus, they're everywhere. Oh, gods, they're everywhere. Actual stealth mission. Actual stealth mission. Oh, god. Oh, god. Okay. Okay, this is my bomb's ready. Oh, Jesus. after us chase catches us oh god oh god <laughs> run the street was a bad idea the street was a bad idea i'll be honest i'm not actually sure where i'm going i think i'm going up this way yeah because that's the imperial corner oh cool Oh, hello. Come with me, I'll guide you to your friends. Okay. Thank you, Danish Green Ninja Turtle. First talking fish now, a tortoise. What have we got to lose? Please, Beastmen exist! Beastmen exist. <clears throat> this way, but we're gonna get caught if we go that way. Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Again, beastmen exist! Beastmen exist! She has surely seen them before! I'm gonna ha- oh, no, 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 okay, okay, no. The way you're guiding me, I have to use these. <laughs> Has she seen any that aren't sylphs? Surely she's been around enough of Eorzea to know they exist. Surely, right? She would have seen the Almaja! She spent forever in Little Alamigo! There's no way she didn't see Almaja! Hey! With the 12 you made it. Your okay, Gojin friend might not find you in time. Might not find you in time. It's gonna be alright, trust me. Now we're just hiding for a while. Because when they see it's like, and go, look, that's what fish vision look like, and then be completely baffled by a Namazu. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did we kill the stay thing? Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? I'll stay very quiet. Like, you are very quiet, Skojin. Oh god. Normal Namazu behavior. <laughs> clear the road, clear the road. You there, Korjin. We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. <laughs> Have you seen them? I think it's worse. Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. <laughs> they were pricks, how dare they? Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. Why does Japan have so many white people? <laughs> Sorry, but why does Japan have so many white people? <laughs> All is well. The Sekisei Gumi will not return Sekisei this Gumi. way for some time, I should think. Sekisei Gumi. Okay, that's it. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. 
I know a safer way. I don't like being called that I'm of the company, but... My hat is so big. <laughs> My hat is so big. <laughs> You are returned, and with guests, I see. So surely we're going to be wanted now. Surely they know what we look like now. <laughs> Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought Everyone the Namazu who thought to betray Elias. us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. No, he's fascinating. When I, I saw the Seki Segumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Twas my pleasure. What do you think he tastes like? Fish, they're probably disgusting. Remember the theory that old Panko look likes the people that use his voice actor? Uh, his kids throughout the years of partying? <laughs> I buy it. I buy it. I buy it. Yet I must ask, Soroban, why would you deceive the Sekasegumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Why out of the kindness of my heart? Is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. If I'm any closer, they're carrying the shell and straps and not even actually turtles. I was about to ask the face, is that a mask? Or did they just not give it any animations for talking? Because the mask doesn't actually move. The mask doesn't move either. So I was wondering if that was a mask. And I was noticing, yeah, on the side that there's a strap there, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, here's the introduction to the beast tribe for this. There's Kojin of the Red who are going to be the bad ones, and then there's Cojin of the Blue, who are going to be the ones we help in the Beast Trap quest. Ta-da! Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. They're also racists. Everyone's ra the racist everywhere. So system. I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Uh, when it comes to Eorzeans, they are one of the more racist ones. But if there's money to be made, they'll stop being racist. I'd love to meet your gaze. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, yes, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. <laughs> what say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Sorobin, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. So I'm assuming the, the, the hat, I'm assuming the, the face is a mask as well, because there's also ropes there to keep um, it attached. So I assume it's also, that's a mask as well. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. Oh, that easily? You do? Well then, far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. That, that's easy. And you mine. We're locking out heaps when it comes to here. We ran to one basement, and there were a dick, then we ran to another one. And it was fine. <laughs> and everything was okay. <laughs> so I didn't that they were Imperials. They were in the same uniform as the ones outside the consulate. 
Wow, plot convenience. Though we go Jinner of the sea, we come ashore to sell our wares and bruise your markets. So my hope that arrangement with the East Aldar Trading Company but was to more quickly obtain the treasures that we see. Oh! The Kojin are gonna be the ones that we saw in the trailer. With the underwater city. Oh, okay. That checks out. Your dad was wondering why our um, objectively green hued friend here refers to him as Kojin, um, see himself as Kojin of the Blue. It is quite fascinating, really. Kojin language has many similarities with ancient Hingan, you see. In ancient Hingan, the word for green, Al, can mean green and or blue. Though I do the word disservice by attempting to translate it. So steeped in its meaning as it is. Weeb. Weeb as hell. Weeb as hell. Sorry, but we're, we're so... <laughs> Translator's note! Okay, Kaku means plan. Love how we just bunch of, left a bunch of Gallium bodies on the pier. That's fine, don't worry about it. No one will notice that. When, why do they like to keep on calling themselves the Blue and Modern Times anyone's guess? I've wanted a much preferred Kojin of the Owl. Um, but, which I'm definitely mispronouncing. But one uh, theory posits that they prefer the sound of the word blue when spoken. Those are they physically incapable of distinguishing between the two, which would have interesting implications in their everyday lives. Weeb! Weeb! Fucking weeb! <laughs> All things considered, that went rather well. Thanks to Saraban, that is. <laughs> Did you know in Japan they don't actually have a word for to differentiate blue and green? Is that actually true? Is that actually the- is that actually the case in Japanese language? Because they are very di distinct. I would call them distinct. Still, I know you tried to deceive us, but at least we're prepared for it. Even so, next time we should probably try to ring a rank a gun in the middle of the night with half a city guard snapping at our heels. At least that was your plan. You're lucky it worked out. We're still getting level 60 gear, I'd like to man. We have not gotten level 62 gear. Probably because we're still level 61 um, quests. Making the catfish sing. At least I'll have to ask you a few questions. Right then, Gerda should be coming around soon. I think it's time we had a little chat, don't you? Look, it's that dead fish friend. That fish dead as shit. Rise and shine, little fishy. I know you can hear me, so stop pretending to be asleep or I'll give you another ride on my boot. <laughs> no, 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 no more boots. All my secrets are yours for the asking. Tell us what you know about Yigiri and Gesetsu. Every last detail. Look at the did a whole thing in the study of language. Oh, well, there you go. Well, there you go. Now, I find out later that you lied to me. No, no, no more lies. The clear, unvarnished truth. You have my word. Only the samurai did I meet. Yes, yes, only him. He asked for a ship, so I provided an introduction to, to the Gallians. You may have led him to a trap as he did uh, us, because you're an Imperial spy. No, no, I am no spy. It was just business. Few ships pass through Kagane these days, and we have struggled to make ends meet. So when the Gallians offered a bounty of any diamonds found in Kagane. Oh, my mistake. You're not a spy, but a common cutthroat. Not that I'm surprised. You need half a brain to be a spy. So what happened to the samurai? Such a cool, vicious tongue you have. He would not go quietly. No, no. Blades were drawn, men were cut down, and the Seki Sagumi came. Took the samurai away. Oh. Oh, he didn't, he, he didn't have a ninja turtle to help him out. Oh, okay. Hold on a moment. You mean tell me the Ijin they arrested the other day was Gosetsu? Or had I but known? He's in cussing the Seki Sagumi. Um, I, I need only see the rescue funds find their way into the right, offic right official's hands, and our friend will walk free. As it is in Old Dar, so it is in Kagane. But given the circumstances, it seems we have no choice but the results of morally questionable means. We'll make a pragmatist of, of you yet, Master Alphino. Cops around here are hilariously corrupt. I wonder, I wonder if the Japanese developers of this game are having a commentary on their own country here. I wonder, I wonder. I wonder if that's the case. The, the peace is kept around here because the cops will just arrest anyone that's causing any amounts of problems and give them incredibly undue treatment. I wonder if the Japanese developers are sending a mess are saying anything about their country here. Never laid eyes upon the sacred treasures of Eorzea. I my heart fear trembles with excitement at the thought. Can we finally know what happened to him? Do we really need to stir up all that trouble to do so? I didn't think to include bribes when I was calculating our budget for this trip. <laughs> that would be the first. Side eyes, Ace Attorney. Yeah. Yeah. It's only a matter of um, how old the language is. White, black, and the primaries of red, green, and yellow. 
I just get all of the wordings for it all mixed up. Hope I never have to carry an Amazoo again. It's not heavy, but God's the smell. <laughs> One of these days, I may just punch that man in the face. Go, Alphina, go! Do it, do it, do it! I've given you everything you have asked for, yes, yes. Then there's no need for me to remain your prisoner. Are you gonna rat us out to the fucking cops? Oh, golly, it's the moment we leave here. You're free to wait here while I speak with the relevant official. But if you would rather wait for Gusetsu outside the barracks, we can go together. Come first, then you get, um, words fit in between colors like gray and purple. <laughs> oh, I put a passing Imperials to try something again. So I'm gonna be best to have Lisa and Blight when I joined you. Alright, but what about Gyodo? I'll get on him for the time being. We're gonna leave some after your time with Gusetsu. He'll doubtless have some choice words to say for the little fellow. Sorabon, I would be prudent to prepare your ship for our immediate departure. As you wish. Everything in order? Then let us be off. The Zeki Sagumi barracks are to the north. <coughs> talking tortoises, talking catfish? I tell you though, it's where the bears start talking that you need to worry. That, my friends, spells the end of civilization as we know it. Tataro also a racist! Tataro also a racist! You didn't know I'm being yelled about racist on my phone. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting Wikipedia entries about a blue green distinction in language. <laughs> you need not worry, so I'm not letting him out of my sight. In fact, I may have some more questions on my own. No more lies, no more betrayals. Yes, yes, I swear by all the Kami in creation. Sorry, I respond to Shadowfringer's drive quest. How dare they? I was about to say, isn't she just telling about Hrothgar? But Hrothgar's a lion, not bears, so it's slightly different. So it's slightly different, I guess. The barracks, probably. The barracks, probably. A uh, question I was going to ask. A question I was going to ask. Um, in terms of like, <laughs> they're bears, just not bears. <laughs> well, a question I was going to ask. Um, people feel free to yell at me in terms of like a good stopping point for MSQ for today. Um, I will need to take a break at some point. At some point, um, probably wise to take a break. Also, I should do, um, our Catspot results. And also, at some point, we'll have to start working on, um, job quests. So, we can do <laughs> they, I don't know how far into Stormwall we have to go for some of them to unlock, but we can do some of them. But we can probably do some of them now, based on what I was being told. Oh, Pancock is as good as his word. This is a bit fancy for a barracks, don't you think? The second side, give me barracks, so that you equate yourself with propriety. Propriety. We're looking for a nice break point after the next quest finishes this little arc. So like before we make our journey across the Ruby Sea. Or will that be once we make our journey across the Ruby Sea? One of the other. What size do you wait here? Maybe I'm sure this one won't take long. Ah. I was thinking of some particular point, but I didn't count for so, um, so much Kagane because I'm dumb. You should have expected that I would spend forever wasting time here because that's who I am. Fish is bouncing around. Now we play the waiting game. Is it really as simple as he? Uh, is it really going to be as simple as he says? Do you think? <laughs> as long as they're corrupt, it'll be fine. As long as they're corrupt, it'll be fine. It wouldn't take long, right? Because this feels a bit long for me. To me. Calm down, Lee. I think it's gonna be all right. Why did I do admit it? I share Hancock's dim view of government officials and their supposed incorruptibility. <laughs> from what I've gleaned from the Far East, they're probably exchanging lengthy pleasantries. It seems to be a correct way to do everything here. Bribery being no exception. I say we leave it to them. Right, Mr. Blackman. <laughs> right, right. Everything's fine. Probably. I mean, could be as bad as last time we sit around waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, Luis. Don't even joke about that! How about you? Setsu, what are you doing? What's that? 
was Gazetsu. I'm sure of it. He's in trouble. Lise, wait! I suppose we should follow her then. <laughs> Manifest, you had to goddamn big for you goddamn cutscenes. Victory to the samurai! Oh, trial by combat, get off scot free if you win. Is it the is it the same shit as Ishgard? Is it the same shit as Ishgard? <laughs> How many is that now? <laughs> Ten in a row! Or is he actually not a prisoner and he's just having fun with them? What is happening here? Gazetsu, what's going on? Gazetsu! Oh! <laughs> this is a surprise! What in blue blazes are you three doing here? Hi, Gazetsu! <laughs> hey, buddy. I could ask you the same thing. We've been looking all over for you, and then I suddenly heard you screaming. He's having a prisoner after the fall of the rest were for fun. Mm, it would seem there has been a misunderstanding. Allow me to explain. Tell me, are you telling me that we had to run away from the cops for nothing? So, in summary, you started a brawl with some off-duty Imperial soldiers and were subsequently arrested by the Sekisukumi, whom you somehow befriended and convinced to set you free if you could defeat a given number of them in single combat. You know what? You know what? That sounds like Gosetsu. <laughs> that does indeed sound like Gosetsu. <laughs> <laughs> I got arrested, but I made friends with the cops, and I told them that if I could beat a shitload of them up, they had to let me go, and they were like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ten bouts for my freedom, aye. Tis but a pity you came too late to witness the last one. <laughs> Cassettes is great. Love Cassettes too. Hey, Cassettes, my dad back in my homeland's kind of a dick. Could you be my new dad? <laughs> And with that, I'm free to go, yes? Our word once given may not be broken, but we pray you make every effort to avoid future altercations. Circumstances notwithstanding, my lord, we are honored and grateful to have witnessed firsthand the skill of a Dormer samurai. I guess, yeah, they only know Hingashi samurai all because, you know, of what's happening with Dormer. Oh. We had just concluded here. negotiations. <laughs> I gather my assistance was not required. I just handed over a bunch of money and you're telling me you fought your way to victory to freedom anyways? Give me my money back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry dude, never had money today. But I want my money. Can I have a little bit of it anyways? A little bit of it anyways. Just to make up for the fact that I didn't kill him immediately. <laughs> Just get this full paint for the next time you want to bribe us. It's cool. Thanks for the populace people on that margarita machine. Does there indeed have the opportunity to study the swordsmanship of a master? I'm much less spar with him. <laughs> what are you holding? I've seen a couple of people. Oh, are they just different lanterns? Okay. I saw a couple people holding the big ones there. I'm like, what is that? Rename idea, Silent Fart. I'm not I'm not renaming my character to Silent Fart. So it's not for the knowledge at least. Our friend in the Sekisagumi was willing to consider this an investment of sorts. A payment against future misunderstandings. Wow, that's actually real. <laughs> wow, okay. Actually real. Here. If you pay in advance, we give you a license to do one free crime. There we go. To be honest, I wish I'd seen that fight. <laughs> Just fine. I think I've heard everything. <laughs> Clean up fine for the gully issue. Once more to the Ruby Sea. 
For a man who has just evaded 10 samurai in a row, Kasetsu is looking rather sheepish. I must apologize. They didn't judge such trials and tribulations in search of me. There's no need for that. You had no way of knowing we would come looking for you. You are you are after a ship to take you to Doma, yes? Just happens where you found a willing captain. Truly? What fortune? We'll tell you all about it back at the company offices. Alpha no and Satara are waiting there. No, I'm for us there. Da -da -da -da. To the Ruby Sea! So is Yagiri like made her way across? Is she in hiding? <laughs> It's gonna turn out if you actually look around during these these things, you can actually see Yagiri on the rooftops and he's gonna spot her. She's actually been around the entire time, you just gotta see her. And now you wait for someone to confirm it and show me where she is. <laughs> Are you gonna be on top of this building right here? Or there? Or there? Or there? There. 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 No, I can't say. There she is. Wait, no, that's a gecko. <laughs> you can't just confuse arteries for lizards. That is mean. <laughs> Look who we found. Kasetsu! Like the 12 you unharm unharmed. As you can see, Master Alpha, now I'm the very picture of health. You, vile fiend! Malevolent trickster! How kind the Kami are to grant me vengeance so soon! But first, I demand you return the coin you so villainously embezzled from me! <laughs> you have every right to be angry, good sir. Gladly I'll return you your coin. And I've been forced to repay certain gambling debts beforehand. Saying that matter aside for the moment, where is Lady Yukiri? Was she not travelling with you? Embezzled. For a time, I, but we parted ways um, some while ago to better improve our chances of finding Lord Hian. Lord Hian? What am I dare looking at? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Aura basking spot lamp. <laughs> Number one, Aura basking. Then should does Serena have one of these in her apartment? Does Serena have one of these in her apartment? <laughs> Forgive me, I've yet to explain. Lord Hian is the heir to Duma's throne and our master. Hey, but we finally get a name for who yuguri has been under the whole time. We finally get a name. His was a passionate voice for the cause of the Dome and Liberation, and when we learned of the Emperor's death, it only grew louder. So you seize upon the opportunity and rose to reclaim your freedom. Only if you hope to be dashed when Xenos led his army onto your lands. The Crown Prince was a merciless foe. Against him and the might of the Twelfth, we had no chance. Once Lord Hian understood this, he bade Yuguri take to the seas with as many of our people as possible. He, however, would stand in a fight so that they might have more time to escape. Here's the Japanese name of an FF6 party member. That, the shit like that happens all the time, I bet. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna play any other Final Fantasy game after this and go, Oh my god, it's the thing from 14! And not 14 got this from that game. I will be that obnoxious dickhead, don't you worry, don't you worry. I remained by his side as well, and together we carried on our doomed war. Then one day in a fierce battle, we were separated. I knew not what became of him, and that he was beyond the Empire's reach, and that to find him, I would need Yagiri's aid. I was getting mad about it, yeah, well, Ara, I want a basking lamp in Makoto. Canonically play with the cat tree furniture. Situation goes more perilous by the day for the new Viceroy. Yotsuyu is a black-hearted villainess who delights in the torments of our people. There's not she would not do to further her pursuits of Lord Hian. So the new Viceroy... So is the new Viceroy Doman? Is this like a Black Skull situation? What was the name of the the woman from the Black Skulls? I forget her name. It came up like twice. I'm honestly not even sure now if I think about it. Fordola, okay. So it might be like her. It might be like her where it's 
you get the people to just go, yeah, I'll oppress my own people, let's fucking go! Thank you. I believe that makes matters as good as a good deal clearer. Should please you to learn that we are coming to aid the Dome Liberation Front in resuming the efforts to overthrow their Imperial oppressors. With all in a horrifying die job. But allow me to join you. My inquiry is here, bore no fruits, hence my desire to return to Othar. Once there, I can lead to you to our headquarters in Yangsha, where we shall be reunited with Yagiri. I know we heard that name before, but I'm going to mispronounce it. Yangsha? Yangsha? How was it again? I don't remember. May have not all. Alpha sounds a team better applied here in Kagane. We can closer to Taro and Hancock's beat us intelligence. There was a guy in Embassy just down the road, after all. Well, I appreciate the vote of confidence. I should be glad to accompany you all. As a soldier in the field, so to speak. Come now, brother. A competent commander assigns his soldiers a task best suited to them. As you of all people should know. And you're so very good at espionage and intrigue. For we all must serve each in our own way. Very well. I would see my place is here. Yansha. Yansha, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, Alphano. Sorry, Alphano. There's no more Alphano Minifus adventures to do everything for an entire city all on your own. You had the Heavenswood expansion. <laughs> you had the Heavenswood expansion where it was you and me for basically the entire thing. So, <laughs> you gotta sit this one out. You gotta sit this one out. That's why, that's why Thancred and Oriage have this say behind. That's why um, Yastola got knocked out in combat. Because now it's time for Alice and Lise. Once oh, it's my turn with Fuckfist. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to kill things too. Sorabana's is waiting at the pier. Have fun, you lot. The fucking numbers are walking everywhere. And Tataru gets a Tataru. I think at least for Tataru, Tataru is very good at one specific job. But at least for her, Tataru loves the job that she's good at. Tataru was told to do Tataru things. Ah, you've been sitting in this bucket the whole time. <laughs> Tataru was told to go do Tataru things, and Tataru is pumped to do that. She loves what she's best at. <laughs> I know Alphanor can hold his own in a fight, but he's plainly better suited to more cerebral tasks. So I'm not alone in thinking that. Tataru loves to call us. <laughs> This one's smaller than the Misery. A lot smaller. It's also to take us across a much, much smaller um, sea, Lise. Rex is also saying, what the fucking? Refractory period over. Over the Misery. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing a hailstorm reference. Ah, a cohesion captain. A fine choice. Only Confederate sailors rival their knowledge and skill. I've been waiting for you, my friends. All preparations have been completed and my ship awaits its passengers. Shall we depart without further delay? After you, my shelled friend. <laughs> if you insist. With me, everyone, the Ruby Sea awaits. I see some stickers of towering uh, crowd with cake if gaslight girl force. <laughs> Fucking incredible. Hey, what's up? No, 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 it's blood that's storming. Hail Ward. A much smaller journey than the last time we saw the map. A much smaller journey than last time we saw the map. <laughs> Less than an inch. I remember it's still the water, from here. How it turned crimson in the morning. Oh, sun. that's one hell of a jumping tower. Oh, that's one hell of a jump puzzle. Oh, let's fucking go. Jump puzzle. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, jump puzzle. That's a volcano. That's a volcano. A shimmering sea of rubies stretching from horizon to horizon. You could almost believe it went on forever. 
But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Othard, our Doman brothers struggled in vain. How high up does that tower go? What the heck? Oh, so, okay. Okay. Oh. The Ruby Sea is an entire zone. Oh, okay. That is very much not what I was expecting. Oh. The Ruby Sea is a zone. We have a sea as a zone. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Somewhere out there across the water. It's a Gearing Gassetsu's home one. Were betide any enemy foolish enough to attack by sea? Now the guns were to bring their airships on the other hand. And how long will it take? But if, um, but if we, the uh, Ruby um, sees through, that would be a good place to call it if we don't just call it now. We only just got to the area. I feel like the story for the area is going to be huge. Did it come in, um, by day? The music here is one of my favorites in the game. We'll be here at day at some point. It'll be day in two hours. <laughs> the Hingans built this island as a bulwark against invasion. I'm filled with enough cannons to sink an armada. How wide and beautiful she is, the Ruby Sea. Filled with promise and adventure and treasures. Many wonderful treasures. Destination none. Well, that's a... That's an achievement. The achievement stuff is how we did it before. We were doing it before as per achievement we do it. Though before we stopped, before we got that achievement because of reasons. Without looking at these too tightly, how many... Okay. There is one, two, three, four, five. There's six more, including the main scenario, um, scenario quest Stormblood. There are six more achievements. So that could be six more things if we did it that way. It worked really well on A Realm We Born, and it didn't work in Heavenswood. It may work here. I have no idea. I have no idea. What was the... I didn't even check the title. Achievements are much more reasonably spread out here than in Heavenswood. Oh, Asian Travel, yeah. I mean, we could just do that. We could do that from here on out. If we do a story stream, get an achievement... There are still some, a few with a long gaps between. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I, I, I know there's an entire zone here, but if we're going to do a zone, because like we had the zones before, right? We had the zones over here in Girabanya. Like we had the, we had the fringes and the peaks. However, we're clearly not meant to actually do these now because, well, we got, we tried to do stuff in Girabanya and we got turned away. So probably fully exploring these zones will be a thing we do later on. Where I'm going to assume, going through here, we'll properly explore this zone as part of the stream. So I vote we call it here for the for the MSQ at least. And then we'll like do the Ruby C as like a stream, um, a, a whole thing for it. Oh my god! Who wants to go play Ikaruga? <laughs> Yo, let's play Ikaruga, let's go! We can even check the loads the model foreign vessels passing through this thing. Far more taxing than it sounds, in addition to that, must also contend with the Confederates. Hey, you're wearing the samurai cup. You're wearing the samurai cup that Mr. Side gave me. An entire zone that's a sea. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Where I could, are we going to be swimming across the entire fucking thing? I did, I did make a joke that I was going to swim from one side of the Ruby Sea to the other. That may have been less than a joke than I thought. What was I going to deal with all this confederate stuff that's happening? And there's also the giant fucking Jenga tower. There is also a giant Jenga tower that goes up to the roof of the skybox. Which, what the fuck? Which, what the fuck? What the heck? Yeah, everyone here is dressed up as, um, so it's like, um... Samurai's. Well, the one that Misosai gave us. Not him himself. Misosai was wearing green. An Asian traveler. What are you doing here? You're going to cross into the Gagane. You need to go further east. I'm waiting the one of many Bakufu soldiers stationed here. Judge and patrolling the water surrounding Hingashi. I am from Koshu. The largest of the many islands that make up our great nation. For the next three years, I'll be serving at, um, at this post and shall do whatever requires to fill me, um, required of me to fulfill my duty here. What is the place? 
This is the Ruby Prize, a Hingen Bastion erected by the Bakufu in the middle of the Ruby Sea. Whenever an enemy ship draws too near, we'll fire upon them with nothing but burning planks remain. Until. We must take extra precautions when doing so, however. As we are stationed very close to the training port of Kugane, we don't want to secondly open fire on a commercial or otherwise friendly vessel. Such a would be akin to waging war upon what may have been allied a neutral nation. For at least next turn, we'll likely be fuck around considering seasonal event and Splatoon. We have, um, we have more stuff after Ruby Sea, but it doesn't matter overall. No, no, no. I mean, there's also a job quest. <laughs> I would also like to do, probably do a good number of job quests before we actually get around to um, everything that's um, fuck around. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna be funny because next week, if we do, if we do fuck around for next week, because it'll be a shorter stream plus seasonal stuff. The week after that is the most fuck arounds ever, because the week after that is Easter, and I am going to be streaming this game. Three days, like in, in out of four days in a row, I'll be streaming fourteen for three of those days. Um, so we have multiple fuck around streams planned for that. Just as a heads up, the next four streams might be fuck around for FF fourteen. Oops, <laughs> oops. The next four streams might be fuck around. Next week's might be fuck around, and the next three after that, in the space of a single week, might also be fuck around. Oops, oops. But I'm also not one who I don't want to rush the story. I also don't want to rush the story. I want there to be a break between story streams. It just... We did two story streams in a row here because of events happening and stuff like that. I would rather have a break between every story stream if... Because I don't want to... I don't want to finish an expansion story within, like, six streams. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But, um, I'm going to take a break. Stream's not ending here. We've got more stuff to do. So you can think of stuff to yell at me about to do for stuff. But I'm going to have a break. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get some food in me. Um... Maybe my headphones will be recharged so I can actually listen to them for the rest of it. But I'll be back. I was going to check Catpot. Someone yelling at me about checking Catpot. But we'll do that when I come back. And then we'll do various other things in the Final Fantasy XIV for today. I shall be... Uh, put at your class levels. You can look at my class levels while I go. That's what you can stare at. You can stare at all of that while I go and do things. But I shall return. I shall return. And we're back. We have multiple things. We can do White Mage, Scholar, Machinist, Summoner, and Red Mage. We can finish those ones. Uh, no crafting and gathering. No, I don't have any of those prepared. The idea is for crafting and gathering, the only ones we have left to level 50, which we still have all the 60 ones to do, but the only ones I've got left to level 50 for crafting and gathering are Alchemist, Culinarian, and Fishing. The idea is one of our upcoming fuck around streams within the next couple, uh, several streams are going to be um, dedicated to doing all three of those in a single stream. Because I'll have Alchem Alchemist and Culinarian. <coughs> Ow. Just choking on peanuts, don't worry about me. I'll have everything prepa <coughs> prepared. Prepared. Ragnar's a culinarian. But fishing is fish stream, and we're gonna do all the fishing, get all the stuff for fishing on the fish stream, so I can learn how to fish properly. Ugh. Ow. Ow. <coughs> Ow. So yeah, well, let's let's go to Cat's Pie. Actually, to do cat spot first, I also need to go to the marker board. Um, because I need to buy some dye. So also gotta do that. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the yellows and blues that you're suggesting, and then we'll do one of the job quests. Out of white mage, scholar, machinist, summoner, and red mage. Probably summoner? I probably want to do summoner. Because I want, um, the way the summoner go. I want to use summoner. So probably summoner. We'll probably do summoner today. For, um, for dyes at least. Can I buy the dye that we need on the um, from a, a shop seller? Rollin' Berry Red. We need Rollin' Berry Red. I also need a dyeable headpiece. I don't think my fashion thing actually has a dyeable headpiece. <coughs> Fuck me. Oh, God. <laughs> start talking and I immediately start choking on the pink nuts that I was trying to swallow. Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Is there anything else that we're doing here today? <laughs> because it's so expensive, and I gotta set up to her face so I can actually travel between these places for free. Um, is there anything left that we want to do in um, Kugan? <clears throat> I mean, there's leaves. Which I apparently can't do yet. Why can't I do the leaves? So, we're about taking the ferry to race from Kugane to Limsa. I was gonna use return to go to Limsa. <laughs> I was gonna use a return to go to Limsa, but coming back that'll make it cheaper. Okay. All oh, right, because the only craft I got is this one. Sorry, forgot about that. Forgot about that. Forgot how it worked. Where was the Ekra? I just there. No, no more battle. Right, right. I forgot. I forgot it. My brain didn't forget it. Oh, you know what we can actually do is one of our many fuck around screens coming up. You know what we can do is one of our many fuck around screens because it is speaking of um, crafters and gatherers. I fucking I have Leatherworker at 70. We can do those Ishgard ones that were in the firmament. We can do that because we need to be level 70. Continue those. We can um one of our fuck around streams can be focused on continuing that. Because <coughs> again, there's a week coming up where I'm going to be doing three in a single like three 14 streams in a single week. One of those can be this. One of them can be firmament finishing that off um as part of it. Is there any more side scene or something? Probably not. Nah, we still have a site. One of those fuck around streams, I want to be a, a, a site long, um, sightseeing stream. So the idea is there's going to be a stream that is um, culinary, and alchemist, and fishing. One of the fuck around streams will be firmament, and we're going to do sightseeing. I don't know how long either of those will take, so I don't know if they are their own things entirely, but hey. How much does it actually cost? 300! That is significantly cheaper. <laughs> How much is the teleport fee? Dear God, it's in the thousands. Okay. If you go from Limsa, it's a lot cheaper. <clears throat> no, okay, I don't know if we did sightseeing, but I guess it doesn't matter. We have Kagane unlocked. Or do you mean other parts? Of, or do you mean like the Ruby Sea and stuff? Where Endwalker 999 used to be the cap. How fucking far do you have to travel for Endwalker? And how much does it cost? Dear gods. Okay. Well, again, it would be a lot cheaper to use either a ferry ticket or a free teleport or this to get between them and then travel from there to there. Sucks for the loading time, people. But, um, yeah. Like, if I want to travel from here to anywhere in Eorzea, in Eorzea, I can just return to Limsa. And then travel from there, be a lot cheaper. I mean, I didn't want us to do sightseeing and then get to Gigan and see the tower. Oh! <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, that just means we've done it perfectly. We've already done the sightseeing here. I think we still have sightseeing in ARR and Heaven's Red Areas. Economical travel. Um, travel definitely requires setting up with waypoints. Yeah. <laughs> Which places will you travel to? I mean, it very much. I now very much have to think about um, the preferred destinations that make it cheaper to travel to. I need to change some of those. One of them is already Limsa, and Limsa is already my return one, so I don't need that to be cheaper. Unless I'm traveling to Limsa twice in the space of 15 minutes, I don't need it to be a cheaper one. I also have the oh, the gold saucer. Wait, I need to buy a headpiece. Or do I just have a headpiece I can wear? That's dying. I have my fashion outfit. Very, very stupid fashion outfit. Uh, I could technically just put on one of these. Who's gonna cheap hell about a house or anything or housing? You can probably cut those acre at once. That's my apartment in Shirogane. Mm, makes sense, yeah. <laughs> makes sense. Who's follow times from request? Maybe get to know teleports and ferry <laughs> and movement really well. The fer yeah, you'd use the ferries a lot. I've wasted a lot of guild that I probably don't need to spend on just teleporting because I'm lazy. Which, considering how much guilt I will need for certain operations, is, uh, important. Is important. Anyway, we're returning to Windsor first. I'm gonna buy something from one of the shops to make my fashion glam. Then I'm gonna go do Cat's Pot. So at least, at le you know what? At least I blend in with the locals in, in here. 
We have also found Mario and Luigi and Wario. We have also we have also found the Mario brothers. We have also come across that. We have also come across that. God, when I normally play, this place is nowhere near as busy. This place is nowhere near as busy when I typically play. What's the stupidest looking headpiece? Oh, that definitely. I don't even need to look at the others, it's that. There we go. There we go. If Bruce wants us to be the peak of fashion, we will be the peak of fashion. Rollin' very red. Ta -da. And now we travel to the gold saucer, which I also have as a cheap destination. I made the gold saucer my cheap teleport place uh, when I was farming the um, the mount. Though it is still a place that you'd want to travel to most days to do the mini cat spot, so there is also that still. There is that. There is that. Yeah, if, if the 2FA thing gets you a free one, then I very much need to do that. Where's my gold? Oh, there's it. There it is. Gold also VIP card. Don't worry about my very normal inventory. Don't worry about my very normal inventory. Double every 15 minutes for gate. <laughs> At that point, you just hang around in the gate and stay here. You want to be really economical? You can make the airship from um, any city to the, to the saucer. I forget about that. I do forget about that. Hang on, I've definitely, I've definitely spent a lot more money than I need to on travel because I normally just take the quickest, fastest way, which typically ends up costing the most money. I also constantly forget that I have priority Aetherite passes that cut down the cost by 40%. I constantly forget that and I should probably use them more frequently. I, should, I have them on a hotbar, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're on my fucking hotbar. I should use them more frequently. I just constantly forget that I have them. By the way, for those wondering about the whole pants situation for my fashion report. They actually do have a specific pants that you want this week. And as you'll notice by this gold medal, they're actually asking for underwear yet again. <laughs> so we're going to be wearing this underwear for a while, it seems, because that is actually the required thing this week. Because what the fuck, video game? This game will never stop asking Minifus to, um, sh to stop showing off her flat, flat ass. For some reason, it's as flat as it is. There we go. There we go. I always forget the coolest way to teleport from him. There you go. Up here. And then you go. Wee! Is that a person jumping on the presents down there? Oh, when I hear siblings, you raise response. You gotta give those dogs a rest at some point. You gotta give the dogs a rest. Why is my email yelling at me about? So I'm apparently running low on email space. Apparently my email storage is running out. I did not realize there was a limit to my email storage. Nor that I'd be approaching it. I typically delete basically every email that I get. Alright, drum roll please! Drum roll, please. Consolation! Consolation! Woo! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Consolation everywhere! Woo! Send you an email that you're running out of inventory space. <laughs> you're running out of space for emails. You should clear up space. Then why are you saying means email? I got a four. How day? How day? One day. One day I'll get the high roll achievement. One day. And all my focuses for this game of just what I'm aiming towards is just the stupidest shit in the world. I don't know why. I see the most ridiculous, stupid goals to achieve in this game, and my brain says, yes. That's what I want to do. But not for, like, the cool ones, like relics. Relics are a big grind and stuff like that. But not, like, the cool payoffs. There's a direct correlation of how stupid is the reward compared to how much effort it is. And the worse that ratio gets, the more it makes me want to do it. And I don't know why. And I don't know why. 
I went from the person who was curious about why everything in this game is so grindy to get to the as um to get to some things that you need to to the person who was just like, let me find the stupidest way to waste my time grinding. Though I haven't hard focused on grinding for the uh, the four million um, MJP now. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. So I have some sanity within me. Not much, but some. But some. It's mostly because I'm just doing other things mostly. If I wanted to grind for the 4 million mount, I would need to grind at that again. And there's other things that I want to grind for instead. Eh, hey, well at least that one's half decent. I also have cards to sell that I'm going to sell while I'm here. Ah, oh, hello. You joined us. You got a hood on now. I'm noticing our teacher's having a lot of sneaky glams lately. Sneaky glam system. We also have to do a triple triad stream one day. I don't know when that's gonna happen. That's not one of the upcoming plans. Because <laughs> I already have too many upcoming plans for, for those. Let me actually look at my thing. What were the other ones that we... What are the other things that we have planned? I forget. Oh, Blue Mage! Fucking Blue Mage! That's another one. Blue Mage is also a thing we have to do. I forgot. I'll be honest, I completely forgot about Blue Mage. We also gotta do Blue Mage at some point. We also gotta do Blue Mage at some point. There's also the second half of Palace of the Dead. That is also a thing. There's so many things. There's so many th so many things to do and not enough fuck around streams to do it in. And just not enough fuck around streams to do it in. Um, okay. So let's just pick up a beard. So where am I heading? Where shall I head first, Artesia? We're going to Castrum Oregon's. You said there's a blue quest there. And then from there we can head to like Ralga's Reach and um, the peaks and stuff for others. <clears throat> and more stuff to do in Stormblood. That's why we have to start doing it now. <laughs> That's why we're gonna spend four streams in a row doing fuck around stuff after this. We've done enough story. <laughs> you got a, you got like almost 10 hours of story out of me. Time to spend 40 hours not doing story. <laughs> do the Giovanni places. That is, that shall be our plan. We're heading back, we're heading back. Hey, do you want us to join the revolution again? We're doing it. We found one dude over in Othard. I think we're ready to do a revolution here again. So I gotta go to bed, but have fun. Good night, Densha! Good night. So I called Marshall Brookstone. Is this going to be eighth of things? It is. The hidden truth. Oh, this is like a fancy one. You also have like several quests. <laughs> you also have several quests. <clears throat> the hidden truth. So Marshall Brookstone is in need of a soldier. Ah, yeah, wow, and of the Maelstrom. I'm going to do it. The lines are seen for the charge that's been added with overseeing the occupation of Kasha Marians for the interim. As a venture, I realize it is your one to attend to matters both great and small in all corners of the realm. Though I should go without saying that you must also have your obligations to the Maelstrom and the Aeosian Alliance. Oh, those are right. So, uh, right now, since I'm hatching eggs, the eggs get some rest. Thus, I would ask for your. Uh, yeah. Then I'll ask for your aid and reconnaissance mission here in the fringes. Praise be with Lieutenant uh, Moko. Moko. When you're ready to receive a briefing, should we ever send a briefing? Uh, uh, are you inside here? No, you're over here. Tyler Moko. Hello. But I was spider on a moment about getting a name change on your papers. <gasps> Demi has deceived me? It can't be! But it is! Manifest Susan Blywin, the Griffin's Bane herself! Oh, great. I've come back to a place where people know me and everyone's hyping me up again. Whoa, just what I want right now. I guess that's me. Guess the great hero who defeated the Griffin atop Belzar's wall, bringing his plans of conquest to a shuddering halt. Are you thinking the other title that so aptly befits your prowess? Fuck you. Damn it, Decker! Damn it, Decker! Causing emotional trauma here. Do my eyes deceive me? No, really, do they? My glasses aren't the best. <laughs> but you know, no one else seems to think so. <clears throat> but enough of that. What brings the illustrious Griffin's Bane here to Curse from Orions? I was told to help out. Just let me do that. Solve this conversation, please. So, Marshal Brookstone has requested you assist my investigation. This is such an honor. I'll do my best not to disappoint you. How can this be? Where are my manners? Talamoko, military records officer, at your service. I cannot offer much in the way of combat, but if you should have any inquiries regarding historical matters, you need only ask. Now then, let me apprise you of our current situation. Shortly after taking control of Kastromorians, 
We discovered a number of confidential documents left behind by the Guardians. Prisoner records dating back to the beginning of Al Amiga's occupation. As you might have guessed, there are a great um, many were conscripted and sent away to subjugate new territories. A surprising large number were executed, as a matter what would happen to any step out of the line. What we weren't expecting, however, was a number of prisoners listed simply as whereabouts unknown. I thought perhaps they met some ill fortune during their imprisonment, or even escaped, but we could find out the documents suggest what became of them. Be they living or deceased, it's now our duty to find them. Not just for our own records, mind you, but their loved ones as well. They deserve the peace of mind knowing what happened to them. Well, then this were a recent incident, though. We know as he does, I was sending whereabouts after 20 years, but I believe I know where we might begin our investigation. The announcer have called these lands home long before even the Alamegans came to settle here. And as luck would have it, the Resistance have established cordial relations with their people. Perhaps they remember something of what happened all those years ago. Yeah, we've, sp we've spoken very little with Yunanta, just like overall. We saw a couple of them in Raga's Reach, and then it's just like, okay, well, you can worry about them later. <laughs> you're gonna meet a turtle! You're gonna meet a turtle inside. Where am I going? Oh, you're inside of a building. Oh, Amatosh? What over here? Fellow Climb member. We have the same purpose, sister. The share. Our wisdom shall be shared. Oh! Oh, you're the hunt person for around here. Bow, you're on this side. Hello. Certainly hope you're not to remember something of yours. Alamegan prisoners captured 20 years ago. Yes, I remember. When the Gullians gained their foothold here, they, inter um, they interned any and everyone. Striders, Ananta, and Madden. Not. Most were forced to serve in the Gullian military, dispatch all the lines from which they would never return. Hey, by the way, another base trap. Another term for uplanders. Striders. If I'm not mistaken, the prisoners who remained here were taken to a small village to the south. Can't say what transpired there, but the settlement was heavily guarded. I fear the worst for them. Settlement to the south. Well, that would have been Bitter Mill. I caught records of its residents seeking asylum in Gridania when the Gullians first arrived. Place is all but race to the ground. Once we get our search there, perhaps something of value still remains in the rubble. To our bike! Because we still can't fly here. <laughs> because we still can't fly here. I'm gonna have. Oh, is that a. No, it's a normal thing. <laughs> That's a car's door. It's fine. I'm gonna have a wild guess. I'm gonna have a wild guess and say. Whoops. Oh, right. I'm not like 10 levels above everything yet. Thing. Things in the wild will actually fight me now that Bard is a massively higher level than everything. I forgot about that detail. Warrior was high enough that not everything fought me on sight. Right. Right, that's a thing. That I forgot about. Whoops. Um. I'm going to assume going around and getting all the Aetherites now isn't going to serve any, like, practical function. Wild guess. We have to wait for the MSQ to return here before we can get them all. Because there'll be some Aether Currents locks behind MSQ. Wild guess. Wild guess. Oh! Shit, there's Garleans. This place is supposed to be deserted! Well, fuck. What are, what are Garleans doing here? They're gonna be allowed to leave. Get them! Get them! Get them! Oh, the Fallen Brothers! Oh, I was say, why am I not doing any of my attacks? Oh, I was stuck. Oh, I was stuck. Die, please. Oh my god, you're taking so much damage. Die already! Die already! There we go. I gotta remember, I have a Chocobo. I should probably call out a Chocobo now that I'm in an area where I'm not massively overleveled compared to everything. I mean, I'm seven levels above, but I'm in level 60 gear. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Sorry. Goodness, that smarts. Perhaps I should have devoted more time to combat training. Though no amount of training would make a match for the renowned Griffin's Bane. That was a magnificent display. Gun and soldiers are certainly the last thing I expected to find in these abandoned and otherwise forgotten buildings. I managed to catch them unawares, but I'm quite certain this investigation would have ended poorly. Have you not arrived? I've been playing Garibani for a while considering MSQ. Yeah. So no point like trying to get them all now. But if there's one here that we can get now, yeah. like by blue quests. So the fun's quite curious. Oil rights Galleon should be too busy contending with the resistance to waste time in a place like this. What are they doing here? 
For our search for answers and the rest of my questions, if it makes any sense of this, my search is placed from top to bottom. After my heart returns to my chest. <laughs> just, give, just give me a second to regain my composure. Just give me a second. So it still continues being a blue quest. Even though we're not getting Aether Garns, it still continues being a blue quest. Okay. So the Mokra seems to have regained a sense of calm. Sorry to keep you waiting. I fear the battlefield is no place for a bookworm. The gods are kind will encounter no further distractions. Now let's begin our search. We'd like to cover more ground. We'd like to cover more ground if we split up. Hopefully there's still some trace of the prisoners left. Uh, After these ones, but we should close them eventually. But I'm fine doing them now. I'm fine doing them now. Let's go. The cloying center of rotting debris fills your nostrils. I am able to discern where the odor is coming from. Gross. Footprints. Upon closer expression on the ground, you see footprints. Some of them appear to be fresh. Footprints, the fresh foot tape. Why does anyone watch my content? Seriously. <laughs> Hey, chicken. This house is much too clean to have been abandoned for 20 years. Chicken, let me jump on you. Chicken! <laughs> I know chicken has a name. Let's keep forgetting to call it Chicken Thunderwing. Alright, Thunderwing is much slower now. Please don't tell me she got attacked again. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Ah, thank god. <laughs> I was getting worried there for a second. Ah! Mine are first. Oof. Thank goodness. Found someone in spawns within the houses. He seems unwell. Unwell? Unwell? No, 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 definitely not. Certainly not. Yes, we're quite fine. But what of you? A little girl dressed in strange clothes. Quite strange, quite strange. What? You have some nerve. Regardless of how I look, I am a ranking officer of the Order of the Twin Adder, thank you very much. Now who are you and what business do you have here? Who? Yes who? An excellent question. You are you, but who are we? Yes, we'd like to know very much, very much. Are we dealing with a self? You don't remember? Was well, there anything you can remember? Remember, remember, remember! Yes, yeah, something about this place. Something familiar. Quite familiar. Manifest is only a hunch, mind you, but I expect he is not from this place. Considering he's Ellison, he's likely to go down here and escape from the Galleons. Or perhaps. Could be one of the missing prisoners? Certainly explain the Galleon soldiers from before. Didn't take him back for question. Excuse me, sir, would you be willing to come back with us? At the very least, we'd be more comfortable than these dilapidated houses. We'd be able to help, um, maybe I'd help you recover your memory. Hmm. <clears throat> Sweet memories. It's what. Yes, we'd like them very much, very much. Alright then, let's join the Kashimorians. <sighs> My private in command will likely wish to meet you. I suppose I can't be helped. We'll head back. We'll head back. <laughs> See what happens. Ah, blah, blah. Come on, me. Don't attack me, Grizzly Bear. Or other Grizzly Bear. Preferably no Grizzly Bears attack me. Preferably no girls who best attack me. That'd be nice. We gotta stick to the rivers and lakes that we're used to. To not get attacked by giant leshies. Or gazelle hawks. Or saprios. Or this leshy. Don't fight me, don't fight me. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, fight me. Ow. <laughs> fight me. Yeah, now what, bitch? Now what? Ah, I get fucked! Ah. 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 By the way, just total side note, because I haven't I haven't mentioned it today since we've switched over to um Bard and stuff. But can I just say, I fucking love my Bard claim. 
I fucking love my Bard Glam so much. I love the look of this so much. All the pieces just have gelled together so fucking well. And I love the little... I, I love that I actually found a thing that did exactly what I did, which I'm just like... The, the fingers that you use to pluck, like, a harp and strings. I want those to be gloved, but not the other fingers. And then I somehow got exactly that. <laughs> that made me very happy. Now, to be fair, this mainly looks as good as it does because the top is so good. And the top is 90% of the appearance of it. But, still. Still. There are some glams that I'm just like, yeah, I like it. I'm, I like what I've done with the glam. But then there's other glams that I'm just like, oh, fuck, I love how that comes together. My bar the bard is one of my favorites out of the ones I have. It really is one of the missing prisoners. This could be the defining moment of my career. Even Super Marshal Brooks has shorter tech notice. Possibly one of the mis missing prisoners, you say? We've got such wild claims from Lieutenant Moko, but if you would corroborate her report, perhaps this warrants an investigation. So further notice, he's just under protection of the Eosian Alliance. So, with all due respect, you cannot just... Lieutenant Moko, get this man a hot meal in a warm bed. When he's had a bit of rest, see when he knows of bitter meal in the Galleons. She don't be long before we reach a resolution to all this. You're free to wait here until she finishes her questioning of our new detainee. Seeking answers. And so, uh, the look on Sir Marshall Brooks' face suggests he is grown tired of waiting. Imagine Lieutenant Malko has finished her questioning the detainee by now. Go see what, if anything, she's learned. Da 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 The one issue with the glam is how. The weapon does clip through the hat, but as I also mentioned, the quiver clips through its own bow. You just have to kind of, once you start doing glams and caring about appearances in Final Fantasy XIV, you kind of just have, have to stop caring about where the stuff clips. You just have to stop giving a shit. <laughs> because if your goal is to only have things that never clip, well, you're, ne you're gonna have like three outfits and they're going to be very minimum. <laughs> oh, my outfit. I just finished the questioning. Unfortunately, he can recall nothing of his past. The only thing he's certain of is he escaped the Galleon captivity. We can expect to believe he really is one of the missing prisoners. But we can't have Hrothgar or Viera hats because of clipping. We can't have Hrothgar or Viera hats because of clipping, but we can have a weapon clip through itself when it's sheathed. Again, the quiver and the bow come together. They are part of a set. And when it's sheathed, they clip into each other. Like a lot. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Just don't give a shit. Players stopped giving shit about clipping years ago. Because everything clips. <laughs> I would rather have the clipping and deal with that rather than the options limited because we can't possibly have clipping. Which is how the game functions for most of it, except for Hrothgar and Zemiros. But where does Bidemil fit into all this? I feel we're in pass. As long as we can ask the Galleons what they were doing there. You know, multiple main characters and sort of clip all over the place in very obvious ways. But hats? Nah, can't have that. Or well, perhaps we can! I told you to escape those must know something that have been prowling about the area. He has been taken into custody. Come, one of us. We must speak with Sir Marshall Brookson about it. assembling a search party. No stone can be left unturned. <laughs> so once again, you're back here. Soldiers, to get to find the missing prisoners. I just know it. You wish to capture the soldier you, um, you encountered a bit of mill. Well, you should know I've already dispatched a reconnaissance team. My fish is dead. Never mind, it's fine. After reading Lieutenant Marco's report, I thought it prudent to be, um, he'd be apprehended immediately. However, therein lies the rub. But the manpower has sufficiently surveyed the area. In fact, I was just still deliberating over who I, um, I should go back to make a sweep of Owen's stash. There's no need for that, sir. I wonder first. And I will go. I realize I'm not the ideal scout to assist in this, but we have to find them. And she's already run off. And she already ran off. Hello. Every time you show up, you you are wearing different things. How many, Deku? How many glams do you have? How many glams do you have? Every time I see you, you have a different glam. Also, our fish are dying. Every time I see you, Artesia has a different glam. That's a fancy bar. Oh, ghost bark. <laughs> oh, ghost bark. That was the thing from the dungeon we just did, isn't it? That is huge. How is that bigger than the one I have? <laughs> How is that bigger than the one I already have? What the fuck? <laughs> but what if you died at Dullamwood Red? 
But what if you died at Dalamord? Right, this one doesn't have a quiver. I'm now noticing this one doesn't actually have a quiver. Wait, no, it does. No, never mind. I thought that. Okay, to to fucking point. To the fucking point. I thought that part there was part of the bow. I didn't realize that was the quiver because they're basically one and the same thing on the back. Okay. That does look very good. That does look very good. I think I overall... Pre I think I l prefer how this looks with this glam. But thematically, it's not as appropriate. That's the only thing. Thematically, for character arc reasons, it's not as appropriate. But I do prefer how it looks with the glam than the current one. It matches the glam. It matches the outfit more. <laughs> it doesn't fix the hat clipping issue. Though I feel like literally zero bows are going to fix that. It is a nice looking bow. It is a very nice looking bow. I very much do like it. I'll have to give that in mind. Siren Song C. I'll have to keep that in mind. Again, for story reasons, I'm really going to stick with this. Because the bow is the music that you play to inspire others. And that's meant to be the whole point of... um the characterization now but that might be a thing of if bard stops being the the canonical job at any point i might switch over the glam to that one if i don't find a if i don't find an even sicker bow but it does look very good it very much suits the aesthetic of this glam so there is that it very much suits the aesthetic of the glam already don't find me don't find me don't find me fuck yeah no one for me see i'm learning stealth i'm learning how to sneak past things i don't even need smoke bombs to do it only guy minor first. I have a bad feeling about this place. Hey, we get to explore the little cave that was here. Oh. Owen's stash. We found Owen's stash. So much weed here. Oh my god. He stashed so much of it in. We found him, minor first. We really found him. What? What are you. Ugh. These wounds. He's not trying to soon. He won't be telling anyone anything. He's like the bleed out of left unattended. Go and tell Sir Marshal Brooks when we found him. He needs medical assistance before he can be moved. Quick, help him. Make sure he doesn't die. We need to go back, bring him back, and torture him. What? <laughs> Fight me. See if I give a shit. Well, wow. Well, wow, okay. Huh, there, oh, you can just take the straight path. There's like one enemy that's easy to dodge there. Well, there we go. Well, there we go. I feel like I'm going to get more use out of this bike in this expansion than in Heavensward. Because we have zones where we don't even... Although, although, if the Ruby Sea is a lot of water, I can't use any fucking mounts there now, can I? My men are so high and low, yet there are no sign of this runaway soldier. Oh, we actually just found him. He's in a cave. Phantom of no one stash? Cinema. Attention, this is Brookstone speaking. Subject has been found in Owen's stash. I repeat, the subject has been found in Owen's, at Owen's stash. He's really wounded in need of medical attention. Excellent work. I have said I can finally get to the bottom of all this bitter mill business. Are you bitter about it? The honest truth. So much of Brookstone is eager to know what became of the injured Guardian soldier. By all rights, my men should be back by now. Go and see if you can find Lieutenant Malcolm. I don't know what these Guardian dogs were up to. Yes, that was necessary. <laughs> ah, minor first. I right, report we managed to bring him back safely. It's not a minute too soon. I plan to speak with him shortly after returning, but the healers won't permit anyone to see him until he's settled and the bleeding stopped. Might we won't have to wait very long. <laughs> and now we play the waiting game. Not wait very long. One of the slowest going waiting prompts in the game. What are we conversing about here? Seems he's finally fit to speak. I don't expect you to be grateful, but I'd like to remind you you likely wouldn't be sitting if we hadn't found you in that cave. Now start talking. What are you doing out there at Bittermill? We. We were looking for someone. 
escapee from one of our facilities. He lost his memory and was otherwise mentally unstable, so we knew he couldn't have gone far. But the meaning of speaking of is already in our custody. We found him seeking shelter in Bittermill. He claims you captured him, though he cannot recall where. So return to Bittermill after all. Because the past can come back to um came back to haunt him, even if he can't remember it. Listen, my spirits are not like to show you any leniency. If you tell me everything you know, I'll do all of it in my power to see your life sped. Do we have a deal? Miss, I may be dressed in that uniform, but I'm second to believe I owe the Guardians any allegiance. I'll gladly tell you. Can you not tell by the braids in his hair that he's Alan Egan? Twenty years ago, a group of prisoners were, was relocated to Bittermill to assist in the Guardians' more unorthodox experiments. They wanted to create a new chemical weapon, one that would leave buildings untouched while killing any and everyone that it came into contact with. Black Rose, I believe it was called. Cool. Biological warfare. Awesome. Awesome. Just lovely. Just what we need. Okay. So we have the Wild Rose, and now we've got the Black Rose. And I have a Red Rose on here. That, that's horrible. Their intention was to drive back at Eosin Force without wasting any of their own on the front lines. Of course, they wouldn't know if it really works with their willing volunteers. What better place than a village long since abandoned by its people? No single prisoner survived. The test prov um, proving a resounding success. So they might time before Black Rose would be deployed. So they thought. Oh, shit. Okay. So this is like... So this is important. We're getting an actual fucking screenshot of Gaius. Wow, okay. To the surprise of many, the project was shut down before Black Rose could ever be used. The order came from the Guardians of the 14th Imperial Legion, and it's the Yalamigan pro um, province, Gaius Van Belsar. I imagine for the same reasons. I imagine for the same reasons he opposed the Meteor project. I imagine for the same reasons he opposed Meteor. What's the point of conquering a place if everyone there is fucking dead? They don't need now, but should be done eventually. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is directly relevant, uh, related to Gaius. The Black Wolf not allowed the senseless murdering of Aegeus' people. He saw his future subjects of the Empire to be ruled, not savages to be slaughtered. Everything was to be destroyed, but the men behind the project would not see his work wasted, and ran off with the last remaining samples of Black Rose. He was probably apprehended, but he'd already been aw uh, hidden away his work. He used every heinous tool at their disposal to make him talk. Yet he would not, or rather, could not, tell them where he hid it. Is that this dude? Though they had already gone mad and couldn't remember a thing. Can only assume one of his experiments went wrong and ruined his mind in the process. And that means... The man we found earlier. Hi, that's him. Grillamai. Um, Grillamai. Maybe? Former head of research at the 14th Imperial Legion. Why was we to recapture um, Grillamai and destroy whatever evidence remained of his work in Bittermill? We failed to find anything, but it's there. You can't kill that many people and leave nothing behind. I can't believe they didn't care if mess of a man was a scientist in service of the Guardians. I think I've heard enough. Thank you for your cooperation. What do you think, Manifest? Point wants to believe it isn't true, but I see no reason why he would lie to us. There has to be some way to substantiate his story. If the entirety of it was used for the experiments, there'd be no fate to do away with the evidence of such a massive operation. There would have to be some lingering trace of their work. If they couldn't dispose of it, the only option would be to bury it. Manifest, we have to go back to Binamil. Be careful, do you be careful. Did you hear about what it did? And how everyone there fucking died. Did you hear about how everyone died? And how there were no survivors? Jesus Christ. Something is happening. Something's happening here. Hello there. 
Okay. <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> Alright, let's split up. Has to be something here. But I'm not leaving until we find it. Blue Mage power leveling. Ah! Ah. At least the fate here won't... Everything won't automatically attack me. So at least there's that. Just the dogs everywhere. Gonna ride on my bike. And not just to make the numbers just shut up. Hey! It's always that whenever they tell you here's the area where stuff is, it... Damn it. It's typically on the outskirts of it. You just look at the outskirts and that's typically where it shows stuff. It's usually not in the center of areas. Don't doubt what the man said, but the thought of all those people dying on this very ground is revolting. Pardon me, hopes we don't find anything. And there's nothing. Would they bury it in the water? Would they bury it under the lake? There we go. There we go. You think you're a small metal container that you probably shouldn't touch it. Instead of Marco, we'll want to know you've, what you found. <laughs> yeah, let's not pick up the chemical weapon. Let's not pick up the chemical weapon. You found something? Small metal container. Small well, container. Could it be? The missing sample of Black Rose? So you're telling the truth after all. It's not time to be sentimental, nor hasty. Any mishaps in any container can prove disastrous. Let's move back to Sir Marshall Brookstone. Yeah, let's have people who know what they're doing handle this. Yeah, so just straight up, like, devastating chemical warfare shit. Which fucking Christ. Which fucking Christ. At least, at least Gaius isn't down for the mass murder aspect of his fascism. At least there's that. At least there's something there. <laughs> right. That's comforting. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll stick with. At least he stopped this one. He didn't quite stop me anymore. Lieutenant Mocker reporting, sir. We've discovered the identity of the men who we um we thought to be one of the missing prisoners. Here's Grill Am I, former chief of research for the 14th Imperial Legion. We oversaw the manufacturing of a chemical weapon known as Black Rose. After a thorough survey of Bitter Mill, we discovered what we believe to be a sample of this weapon. We'd like to request assistance in retrieving it. Attention, this is Brookstone. Tanner, we believe the container could garland chemical weapon has been discovered at Bitter Mill. And you get it out there and retrieve it immediately. Carefully. As admission prisoners, they were used to test subjects for Black Rose. There were no survivors. Sir, I don't believe we should allow the risk of such a weapon falling into the wrong hands. I agree, Lieutenant. After the weapon has been safely removed to a secure location, rest assured we will see to its disposal. As for Grill Am I, his fate resides with the Council. And so, in the weight of his crimes, his punishment will be quite severe. I almost pity the man, but memories are known, his crimes cannot be excused. I mean. I mean. I mean. If someone's had their memories so thoroughly erased that they don't even remember who they were, is it the same person who did it? I'm pretty sure we have like laws regarding that here. 
it's a real Danganronpa V3 situation here. <laughs> it's a real Danganronpa V3 situation here. Which the game is siding with Danganronpa here. Lieutenant Molko, minor first. You've done well today. I'm sure you're both quite tired. Go and rest. You know. I don't think I'm hanging back to Gridani and Drive for a report. The events of Bidim will need to be recorded. I might prevent such atrocities from happening again. Wish I could come in you a while longer. I'm sure the great Griffin's bane is needed elsewhere. Please stop. Thank you again for all your help. I look forward to adding your fates of daring to our record someday. Please stop. Oh my god. Well, important lore. Important lore about... About how the Garleans are even more fucked than before. Cool. <laughs> Garleans. Fucked up, as it turns out, as an empire. Funny that. Funny that. Anyhow... I don't see any other blues around here, WD Day. It doesn't show you blue. If I do this, it won't show me blues. It won't show me blues in Ralga's reach. If I just look here, right? You have to actually be in the area for it to show quests, I believe. Unless they're in progress. But nothing at the moment is marked here. But there is still that quest that we're going to do here. And then we can check the things and see what's going on there. Okay, music is still sad here. Awesome. Love that. Love that for us. Love that the music is still sad as hell for us here. Cool. I mean, it's going to be sad for a while, I feel. It's going to be sad for a while, I feel. I was about to say, where's Kryle and stuff? Right. Kryle is at Kashamarians. Can we actually can we actually see Kryle anywhere in Kashamarians? Was it this quest? What was the quest we were doing here? Hard blow, that one. That's all that I don't know. I don't remember it. I went the wrong way. Or is Kryle taking care of Yashal like in one of the buildings? Because that makes more sense to take care of. People who are critically wounded. Sorry, so sad about how my partner is just like, you know, taking a massive blow from Xenos. Don't mind me, I'm just doing 360s. Don't mind me. The 360s aren't canon. These aren't canon, don't worry about it. Hey, they're back. Hello. I'm not really going to lead my people into battle anytime soon. We may, may have no choice. Skulls have redoubled their efforts to root out resistance members. My brothers need help, then we've got no choice but to kill them. Should they have enough accounting for the dead? Some of our number remain missing. I kind of suspect that these missing men might have been collaborators who aided the skulls. I don't believe it, but it would explain a great deal. Probably gonna place you guys down too. I just can't even like, go check in, and, check in on her and stuff. Straight arrows solo. It's just thinking we can fight the Empire with a child's toy? Straight Arrow Settler is struggling to convince the resistance fighters. Would you lend me a hand? I rushed you after hearing that Ralgar's rage had been attacked by the Empire, bringing all the goods I could carry with me. One of the weapons I brought was a blowgun. I think I feel a useful tool, but none of the resistance fighters seem to agree. Would you help me show them all how handy it can be? And it will serve them well in their fight. So we do not realize it yet. Please mean by the targets I have set up. A blowgun? Are we about to get a 21st job? Let's fucking go. Oh, hey, you can see all the targets. Seriously, think we can fight the Empire with a child's toy? I've read four targets for you. Hit them all with, um, show how splendid we um, a weapon the blowgun is. Make sure to, uh, first choose your target before blowing with all your might. Why is this happening? Oh my god. Ready? Go! Da 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 What the fuck is happening? But I... I wasn't... I wasn't prepared for a first person shooter. I wasn't prepared for a first person shooter. Wait, where's the other target? Ah, oh, there it is. I see you there. 
I was not ready for a first person. I was not ready for a turret shooting sequence. I was not ready for that. What? 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 That's gotta come back. That can't just be introduced for just this quest. Absolute perfection! I missed one of the so it's fine. Resistance fighters were transfixed by your display. Why does everybody get close enough to an enemy? They can use a blowgun, shoot a poison dart right into their neck. It would be really quite handy in the right situation. Got the idea from Ali Megan, I meant the Black Shroud. Said he'd seen some locals hunting with it. One of the resistance could, um, couldn't find a use for it. <laughs> Little mini game. So it's to show you don't need to pick up a sword to fight um, against the Empire. We all have our own parts to play. Is that the entire thing? Is that the entire thing? You just get a mini game of shooting? I that that ha there's there's no way there's no way budget would go towards that for just that and nothing else. There's no fucking way it would. There's no fucking way it would. I'm gonna do the mother's boy quest while we're here, just so we can clear out all the quests in Rogue. It's something I know I have to do at some point, and I just haven't done it yet, of going through um, all of the yellow quests that are in Kyrgyz areas. And every quest that isn't one of the quests that Deku has given me in a list of all the quests that um, we should do on stream, just do everything else. So if we ever decide to do yellows on stream, it's just whatever is on the map. And we don't have to, and I don't have to worry about deciding which ones or trying to work out where they are. Point of resistance fight has a lot on his mind. Something I'd ask of you, Les. I join the resistance against my mother's wishes. She awaits me back in my hometown. I'm looking to still be here after our last battle. I don't want to um, take her love for granted anymore. Please deliver this bandana to, um, to mother in Allah Ganha on my behalf. And tell her I said thank you. I wanted to know how I understand um, how I understand why she objected to joining me during the fight against the Empire. So I teach your hometown. Which means that Stormblood has a very big important thing for Artesia, given the whole, you know, hometown thing. Where are the houses, by the way? In I'll, where are the where are the houses here? Are these tents the only houses? Or is there like a bunch of houses in the wall? Oh yeah. Actually now looking at it. Okay, so a bunch of the housing here is in the wall. Okay. Oh wow, and there's <laughs> Hi Thunderwing, how are you today? How <laughs> how's it how's it going, chicken? How's it going? I need flight to get one of those up there. Yeah, then the walls have a bunch of things there. Oh, Ragonfruit actually has a... Yeah. Okay. We're looking for hot milk scenario right now. I truly am horrible sometimes, just as a human being. Just despicable. Don't ask me why the Donald Duck reference happened there. Or Daffy Duck. I forget which one's which. Yeah, all, yeah, okay, yeah, the homes are built into all the, on the rocks and everything. Have we met? Bloody bandana. This isn't fine as bloody, blood same bandana. Alright, this is my boys! Has something happened to him? He was injured in a fight on Raga's Reach. But he does still live. Thank heavens, he is still safe. I tried to sway him from joining the resistance, but he would not listen. We had a big fight and he wound up sneaking down the dead of nine. So out of my mind told him that he does not resent me. However, the fact that he's turned this man down must means he intends to continue fighting. This resolve is surely that strong, then there is little chance of me convincing him to come home. I'll continue to pray for his safe return. So Deku, when do you get your yellow quest um stream? When do we get when do we do a stream that is literally nothing but the yellows that you suggest? When does that happen? When does that happen? Saint Sire. Also, another way for eight parent. Raganford would like to introduce you to an old friend. Really? Because I'm pretty sure the last time we spoke, he was pissed off at us. Fancy yourself as a, our village saviors, do you? You truly mean what you say. I might introduce you to someone. His name's Sire. He's been one of the quarry's finest workers, he did. He keeps fighting the good fight to restore Alec Garnha to its form of glory. I do worry about the toll must be taken on a man of his years. Have a chat with him if you're interested in helping. It does make me wonder where the Minifer's home, um, 
home place is ever gonna actually be touched upon. I mean, the exact one? Probably not. Probably not. Unless it does show up and then I can go, oh, well that would be, that would be, like, where it is. And then we just can't meet her father or anything like that. But, like, cause, cause where she comes from is Eslan, which is, like, the Rogadin homeland. The Eslan literally translates into first land, um, in Rogadin language, so. That's where she's from. But considering that's an island that's way the fuck off the map, it's probably less likely than, you know, here. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm still waiting for a few more of the villagers to arrive. Yo, bugger straightened us with another one of his spaters, I'll say. How long do you plan to continue living in abject squalor, I ask you? So I tell me brought back the quarry that once made me proud to ail from Alaganha. Some of you may be too young to remember, but the quarry used to mean everything to everything to this village. Bloody hell, some of our are gonna stop harping on about the good old days. Time to open your eyes, you daft bugger. I'm long past when you can sell the stone here for a decent amount of gill. So that's how you face the facts. It's not going to be had sweating away your life in some bloody quarry. I'd be better served going out and hunting my own food. Just hear me out. If you go up on the quarry, then you'll be given up on the village itself. And the hardest rocks will break if you keep chiseling away at it. Life's the same. Grandfather, that's enough. I can tell you now that no one here would claim to be happy with their lot, but there's nothing that can be done. Your remonstrating with everyone is hardly going is hardly going to do any good. Sweet love, I guess. Well, what do you bloody expect with that attitude? No one's gonna work to improve things when even my own granddaughter has an extra day of motivation. So the reason you don't see much quarrying going on anymore. There's no demand for it. We can't. We can. We can get by just farming the stones we gathered in the past and those we salvaged from ruined buildings. Prosperity doesn't lie in wait for us at the quarry. Only monsters. It's about time you realize that we're lucky just to be alive these days. Come, grandfather. Let's go home. Boss, God understands nothing. Of course, everything's gonna seem pointless if you're in a sleepwalker through life. And who the hell's are you anyway? I ain't doing this for your amusement. I was told to come meet you by Ragenfried. I'm indeed the sire you speak of. Ragenfried sent you my way, you say? It was in Blightwind, was it? So you're the last we have to thank for saving Wakrata. I'll tell you more than fire in your belly than this entire village. Perhaps you ought to see that I'm not as crazy as these buggers think me. I like Ganha was everything to the quarry. The stones we extracted were sold and pleasing on the eye to boot. We even saw the stone used to build the palace. Ah, oh, those were the days. It was the Imperial Invasion that changed everything. Those bastards thought them structures barbaric favor and their cold, tasteless, and tattic buildings said. They said they looked civilized. Don't make me laugh. Final blow our way of life came when Galamov began recruiting our youth for their own army. It was just as many of the rebel cause. No one left to tend to the quarry, so they fell into ruin and now everyone with beasts. The few of us that remain here have been left to eke out a living by using any means we can. I swear on Raga's very name. We're gonna take back the sleeping stones so our village would brim with vitality again. There's ain't something that proves the beasts are gone from the quarry. Then the village will surely see fit to help me restore it to its former glory. There's a lot to ask of a complete stranger. But as if I'm spoiled for choice right now. We'll be able to rid the quarry of those damn monsters and bring back me to Uraloth's soul stones. I'll be forever in your debt. You look like you can handle a fight, mainly by the fact that you have a bow that is as tall as I am! I'll see what I can do. Oh, we're, actually, we're going to places that we haven't been before. To be fair, we've explored very, very little of the fringes of you. Actually, look at it. We've also explored very, very little of... Uh, sorry, this is the pigs. We've also, we've also explored very little of the fringes. Alright, just it. Uh, avoid the giant death scorpions. Avoid the giant death scorpions. I can see the so I can't go that way. Okay! It's time to go around. Time to go around. This one, we can't even wait until we get flying to do this fast stuff, because this one's an Aether current one. Ignore the scorpions. So duck our way through here. That's a dead end, so we can't go up there. It does look pretty. It does look pretty. That's also something I gotta do in my own time at some point. What the fuck is happening over here? Mood squad? Mood sued? Mood suits. Okay. What the fuck? Cursed by the gods of the Sage One, I'm gonna drive screws to the madness. Not devouring flesh, be rotting or um, whether uh, when not devouring flesh, be it rotting or fresh. They're searching for flesh, be rotting or fresh. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> you said it before and you can say it again. Creature design and Stormblood. Fantastic. I'm curious to see what the, what type of enemies we're going to see in the Ruby Sue. Stormblood enemy design. On point. I mean, I was already saying that enemy design in uh, 14 was was great, but damn, Stormblood's showing off. I'm curious what we're going to see in the Ruby Sea. In the Ruby Sea, is going to be a lot of water. I'm curious what we're going to get there. Please, uh, please tell me I can get there this way and I don't have to go around the other way. Gods, I hope so. Rude suit. Are you more of a mood suit or, you're a, or are you a rude suit? Are you a rude enough suit to save the president or whatever? Can I see rubies and the sea? Possibly. Possibly. It's no guarantee. It's no guarantee. Okay, I gotta check out whatever that is while also driving by. So there's a thing. Oh, there's a thing up there. That's where I have to actually reach. What's going on over here? There's a little thing that they've overtaken. The rude suit overtook this place. Hidden tear. Or tear. Probably tear because it's waterfalls, but tear because it's like cracks in the rock. Hard to say. Hard to say. Based on all this stuff, I'm going to assume it's a shrine of some sort. Oh! That's the Uralots. Giant floating evil cubes. Got it. <laughs> I don't have to go all the way to the quarry around, but I'm going to. I'm going to. So are these are these are these void sands or do just are they just like fucking creatures that just naturally get born as cubes? Or are these a void scent thing? Okay, actually looking at it, it looks like they're parts of the quarry that have been infested and come to life. And Jesus Christ, that is a hunt thing. <laughs> uh, that's a hunt target. That's going to be a rank A. <laughs> that, that's a rank A target. Um, hey, Deku, are you nearby? Slash, do you want to help me kill this thing? <laughs> they dice. Well, it's just like, you look at the quarry and how the quarry's all cubes. They're parts of the quarry that have come to life, it seems. Which is fucked up. Actually, looking at the way they've got it there, they may be the creature inside, and they find themselves a shell? <laughs> but we are getting soul stones from them. There's certain types of um, enemies that give soul stones, and I can't remember what they are. They may just be crystals that have, like, possessed a giant thing like that, like how the golem how the golems are there. We need to check the lore. <laughs> There's probably, if, somewhere in the book is probably a description for it. Anyway, I'm gonna fight this thing. I'm gonna fight this thing. Alright, oh, I have continuation. I gotta remember to use it. I actually use continuation. So. Oh, I got stunned. Shit. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Even with my overpowered gear, this might take some doing. Even with the overpowered gear that you gave me, this might take some doing. I presume I have. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. I do. I do have it on. I do have it on. Just had to check. Just had to check. I do have it on. I'm not used to having. It. So I gotta remember that that I actually have it. Oh, hello. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Oh, Jesus! I'm not gonna get out of that in time. Ah! Didn't damage me. Can't even hurt me! Get fucking wrecked. Yeah, I'm, I can only assume it didn't hurt me because I got healed by, by you, but... Hunt music here is cool. Can't properly hear it with all the explosions that are in my head. But, but what I'm hearing of the hunt music is pretty high. Being able, being able to actually have the full gun breaker moves that is so fucking nice. Oh my god. It's so good to actually have the full fucking moves. Though. I actually do continuations and shit now. Oh, it's so sexy. I'm 
I died. I'm gonna get by that because of lag. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Alright. Wait, wait. Two seconds. There we go. Those off. Bam. Back in there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I still got hit by that one. Fuck. Bam! 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 So much continuation. So much continuation. Oh no. Fortunately, the shield seems to be enough to stop that. <laughs> I'm gonna do this just to make sure it's actually focusing on things. <laughs> now that I now that I'm actually checking, I don't actually know if it's actually focusing on enough. I assume it is, because again, it's not the last step, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the last step. Oh, I've not saved up all of these for my next time. Ah, we're good. Bam! 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 It dies! Die already, son of a bitch! Urgh. 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 Continuation is so fun, you just get to do a shitload of moves in a row. That's just gonna hit me. I mean, it's done now. No, I'm not, never mind. <laughs> I thought I gotta be immune to something new that time like That was not the case, though. I'm gonna save my gnashing tank combo for when I get my missile back up. Just gonna save rip. There we go. Now we can do this. Smash every button on the control. I'm gonna do so good at level 90 combat. I'm gonna do so good at level 90 combat. Totally isn't getting to the point where there's so many buttons for me to press that I lose track of what to do. Not at all. Not at all. I completely forgot I even had Bloodfest just then. I just completely forgot about that as well. Everything's fine. So good at the game. Whoopsies. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing's going wrong. You can tell nothing's going wrong, so I'm constantly having to assure everyone that nothing's going wrong. See, it's almost dead, and I'm not being totally carried by someone. I don't know what you're talking about. Thunderwing, obviously. Thunderwing, hard carry, MVP. How do you not love Gunbreaker? Gunbreaker is just so fucking cool. You just see the attacks of Gunbreaker, this is the coolest shit in the world. It's consistently the coolest thing ever. Hey! Woo! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We did it! <laughs> Impromptu big fight. Woo! Hell yeah. Did that give Thunderwing any experience? I don't think it did. No, because Thunderwing levels up to me, so I didn't even give Thunderwing any experience. On blood hunts so long. They're gonna get longer and longer because we can't just over level our gear anywhere near as much. Almost like if you're doing a hunt for those things, you should probably like team up with a party of people and stuff. Probably the intention. 
Dark Blizzard, no you don't. No, you did it anyways, and I thought you anyways, you get fucked. You get fucked, Marble or a lot. My Shadowbringers will need a hunt train. Probably. Probably. It'll be the type of thing where it's just like, hey, a hunt is happening here, we should probably actually call in people, otherwise we'll never kill him. I have no idea how I'm gonna do combat in the later expansions. I think I think Stormblood amounts of like the amount of buttons that Stormblood has is already getting to the limit of how many buttons I can press at one time in this game, and like keep track of everything that I'm doing. It's already pushing that limit. <laughs> so once we get to the end, we actually have two full hot bars for most jobs of shit to press. It's gonna be concerning. It's gonna be concerning. It is a big, like, there's a lot of stuff to mine. If you're, if you're mining all of these mountains, there's a lot of stuff to mine. They probably shouldn't destroy all your natural resources, etc. Et but, some amount of mining is, I'm sure, fine. I'm pretty sure mining in of itself isn't bad, it's only over. Hidden tear. Tear. I'm gonna assume tear because rain, because, like, the tears of the waterfall raining down. A shine of honoring the departed, backed by a waterfall whose constant roaring muffles one's sobs, and whose braids hides one te one's tears. Oh, your tears are hidden because you're being splashed by water. Oh. Under Imperial rule, however, religious rites were outlawed, and for a long time, people could not hold even the simplest services to remember love and ones. Oh, cool, they just completely outlawed religion. Cool. Cool. Actually, I can tell. It's a long drive. I can tell it's a back down. <laughs> I can tell a pull back. I can tell a pull back for that. <coughs> I'm not even gonna choke to death on the stream of being an idiot. <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> I was just something that was went down my throat just said. Ow. Ow. No religion, no primal symbols. That does make sense. But it's still fucked up. It's still fucked up. <clears throat> Especially considering we know the Galian Empire deals with Asians. <laughs> And they're just like, no primals, but Asians, nah, they're chill. Well, at least, ex at the very least, La Brea. At least he's chill. At least he's chill. Nice to see you returned. It'd be nice if you happen to be in possession of certain stones. I do. Oh, they're, they're pretty. There, I killed two of them. There's definitely not another dozen up there that I didn't kill. You're fine. Yes, this is exactly what I was after. Let's waste some time and show them to the others. It's been far too long since last night. Hope shining the vill village's miserable lives. I definitely killed everything there. I definitely killed everything. I de everything is dead. Definitely guaranteed. A stubborn as stone. So is all the confident about his plan um, plans, chances of success. Well, this is interesting. Because the last one that we did for an Aether Current... The one that we did for an Aether Ground just then, in the fringes, the rest of it stayed as blue, even though we didn't actually unlock anything from it. This one's gone now to yellow. Interesting. So it's only confident about his plan um, plans, and successes. Success. Right, time to present these souls into the village. Let him know that Sleeping Stones is ready to be restored. Although, it's been quite some time since I'm here truly let me there. Yeah. Do you mind gathering in the villages for me? When does need to be done, these don't. Like, need is in literally a prerequisite <laughs> for something. Oh, cool. We're immediately seeing her. Sweet love. What did you just say? Did my grandfather put you up to this? Yes, he did. <laughs> Look, he's sent me mad sometimes. My apologies to you, buddy, with this kind of intro. Would you mind if I, if I asked her name? Do some blood. Well, listen, well, when you have my thanks for hearing the wild ramblings of an old man, I'm sure you're telling me that he needs to stop bothering strangers with these fantasies. <clears throat> but 
back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm still recovering from coughing. <laughs> What's that? Your thoughts and answers still the quarry. I haven't heard that before. You might have been out of England and take on a group of Ural, um, Uraliths. Most of us aren't here as a legend. Who says we do the bomb um, should the beast return? You're willing to give up adventure and become the quarry's very own protector. I'm just doing what people tell me to do. <laughs> Little lights that they've got there, which looks to be made of white or a site. But whatever. <laughs> But whatevs. Can I? I? Yes, I can. I was about to say, can I jump down there from here? Yes, I can! Hodgkin. Can I tell you shit? The quarry! Sorry to disappoint, but I'm far from interested. So a point place in the village's future at the hands of a dead industry. Honestly, how many people do you know that are desperate to get their hands on stone these days? Me. I have like 4,000 mithril in my pocket. For reasons! Size time we've ever spent working out as hell up all the leftover rocks we already have cluttering all the gun up. Everyone said no. And they also called you smelly. So now what do I do? Whee! The Lost Forest. It's this entire patch. There's just this little bit here. It's the entire forest. None of those trees there are real. It's just this tiny little patch here. It's the last of it. The last of us forest. <laughs> Back to spend the good word, are you? Can't wait to see the looks on their mugs when they have a gander of these cell stones. Oh, they at Well, one of them showed up. One of them showed up. Grandfather, let's stop this, shall we? No one's gonna come. You better, um, better start heading home and having a nap. And I'm saying, I'm, and you sound the ones about nonsense. I know what this is. You band together with all the others, think me mad, haven't you? Why did you even think such things? I only have your best interest at heart, Grandfather. By the matter, you can quarry as much as you want. If there's no one willing to buy the spoils, then it's meaningless. Last of Forest, there it is. You know, as young as you once were, and this fool's errand is doing your health no favors. Gotta better watch you waste your life away any longer. Fool's errand? You insert foolish words towards a brighter future for our Ganha? This is a one. Tell me, do you share my granddaughter's opinion? No need to hold back. The thing is, if they've already got rocks that no one's buying, why do they need to get more out? <laughs> but also, if they don't do quarrying, do they have anything else left? to like do anything. I'm gonna go with this one. As a miner myself, as someone who does a lot of gathering, I gotta go, I gotta side with the gatherer. <laughs> I need the woman that said to a crowd I would understand me. So you're sitting around waiting for things to improve. Future's in our hands. Grandfather, she's clearly saying that out, I'm out of pity for you. Please don't get carried away. Listen, we all understand you're just trying to do what you think is best for the village. We do. We're going to have to accept sooner or later that nothing lasts forever. <laughs> so pull everything. I'm to ever, I'm to ever consider asking out this help. You can only expect your words to mean anything to those who live without hope. Yes, it's up to me to show you all how it's done. Why does he have to be so thick-headed? It's like every interaction we have nowadays never really ends in a row. There's this nasty tendency to refuse to speak to me for hours after a fight as well. I'm truly sorry to involve you in this, but do you think you could talk to him in my stead? I always wonder if I too spatted so much um so much gibberish at our age. Got to hear a story, have you? I'll tell you a story, my friends. Tell of a time when the quarry was the heart of Alagana. 
guess that was one of the days. No matter how long he's been quarrying away, there's always more starting to be cut for people willing to pay for it. You usually support many a family, let me tell you. I mean, some days when I take the cold hard floor of the quarries my bed instead of going home. I think it'd be going off times of the work songs we used to sing. Songs? I'm a bard now! By Rogger, oh, that's bloody it! We'll just hear those work songs once more, they'll be sure to change their minds about the quarry. <laughs> very glad you were here to see the very moment I saved our village from ruin. How fitting. The sound of the quarry. How fitting that I'm now a bard. <laughs> Fish coming in terms of just how inspired my new plan is. And all that tell the hammer and chisel knows the wonders of a good work song can do. After you've been singing for a while, your swing starts to match the song's rhythm, everything falls naturally into place. You went for hours and hours without even realizing it. Hammer in one hand, chisel in the other. Cutting up wrongs bring home to the mother. Rocks become gill, gills become a house. A heart the quarry has no need for a spouse. And the song began is along in a similar vein after that. The ending, however, is quite something. Speckled stone, edge of the lair. Sell not the stone to a kindly pair. Nay, such for pebbles, young maiden revels. <laughs> That's how it finishes. Speckled stone edge of the lair. Refers to changing patterns that adorn the rock found deep underground. Or as close to the edge of each layer, the most brittle, you see. A part of the song exists as a warning to never sell an inferior stone. Although, you'd probably find a quarry that doesn't know my arm um, know, know as much. No, it is. Nay, search for the pebbles, young maiden rebels. Part which I find curious. Or is he referring to a jewel of some kind? After all, you'd hardly give a young lass any old pebble you just happen to find. No, only the finest jewels would do. But I'm able to so um, somehow take Gander at the stone mentioned in the song. Probably possible, mind you. Close to Fisher, where I could stand a chance to find his right next to an Imperial stronghold. That being said, I might um, be able to find something if I had you keep me safe, from Mom. A company fuck fist. I'm sure you'll enjoy the journey. I thought to make a shoe and dust my hammer thus. No, I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No. As much as I want to. No. No. I will, I will save you all. I will save you all the problems. If I could sing, I'd do it. Oh my god. It's me whenever I dress up to go out and in a pair of shoes that I've owned for like eight years. I've got some horrific boots. Sorry. We're still doing job quests today, by the way. <laughs> for those curious, we are still going to do a job quest today. Today's a long'un. Today is a long'un. I'm fine doing a long'un today. Da-da-da. Those things are so ominously coloured and so huge that I always think they're hunt targets whenever I see them. But they aren't. But they aren't. Okay, let, let's not go through Meat Eater. I don't even mean it as a Kika. But whatever. <laughs> but whatever. They're just... I just see them and it's like... <gasps> to run. No, no, that's a normal enemy. Because Stormblade enemy zone is so high. I do have to go around here at some point and do the gathering works. We now have areas where I can actually do gathering. Uh, uh, I say I should do the gathering here, but we haven't actually finished exploring the area. Like, there's still all of this. If I was to just do the gathering in the peaks, it goes to all areas that I haven't been. And, like, I would like to go to those parts of the map first on stream, obviously. So... <laughs> Maybe once we get all the aether, maybe once we get all the aetherites, all the aether currents, I mean, for an area, maybe that's when I can actually do the gathering of strength. To actually do the crafting, um, do the gathering look. I'm also going to do crafting look at some point, but that's going to be a while always because, you know, I don't have the ability to do it right now because I have a full inventory of stuff. Sam's on right to bring you along, but it's a swarm of those rats. Try to the surroundings, running them, I have to be lying away for us. Plus, you know what to do when you come across one. Cool. Let's go murder a bunch of dickheads. Time to go do a murder! Yeah! Kill the key gun, kill the key gun, shoot away like a billionaire. Did I have one last fuck session before Rex has to do some violence? Sorry, honey, I gotta go out to the wars again. One last fuck for the road? Of course. Of course. It's gonna be... 
against the enemy, something that comes up so frequently. I'll use the beckoning. Okay. I was about to say, what am I doing? Oh, I'm beckoning. Ha! Ah, come hither! God, spamming beckon emotes on areas? Fuck, what am I doing? A Realm Reborn leave quests again? Fine work, it's a black one. I it's time for me to do my part. Beat your eyes on this, or fuck fist. Who's in Blightwind? Sorry, I'm gonna go back. Name conventions are hard for me to remember for my character. The stupid shit for my character is hard to remember. Pops right away, I chiseled away along one of the layers of rock. My guess would be that you used to craft quite a fetching jewel. I went back to the village and set about examining it in further detail. So I think if they, yeah. If their focus is just rock for building and construction and stuff, that's not going to sell massively. If their focus is jewels, they're always going to be in the mind. Jewels will always be in the mind. <laughs> so, he is onto something there. He is onto something of getting jewels instead of that. It's not just rocks. It's boulders. It's probably rocks. Listen, my, my apologies for any bother my grandfather calls you. I do thank you sincerely for keeping him safe. Ah, it was some blight wind. Sad to say, it seems we're on a fool's errand, so it's not all that we found, but a crystal fragment of incredibly low purity. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh, the most naive of bonds would be- or just upon finding this shiny piece of rubbish. Speckled sign edge to layer. Still not listening to a kindly payer. Must have been referring to this. Grandfather, is that perchance a line from the song that begins with hammer in one hand, chisel in the other? Indeed it is. But why do you know that? Father used to sing it to be in lieu of a lullaby. One of my most precious memories in the short time we ever spent together. Indeed, your father was a fine quarrier. On the day passed, I didn't his death at the hands of those bastards from Garland Old. We never even had the chance to work together. He chose to apprentice under another teacher, so he didn't want me going easy on him. But enough about the past. Been using the song as to guide to find stones of value, but the spin is still, um, still yet to smile on us. Have you forgotten, Grandfather? There's another version of the song, which one which might lead you in the right direction. Yeah, it's pretty to I want to um, play a child's and around with them. You like should be able to get whatever terraform you need. Another, well, yes, there was another version, wasn't there? It's been so long since I lost. Song I've completely forgotten it. I don't suppose you remember the lyrics. Of course I do. All my memories of father are as vivid as ever. That's my girl. Yeah, I do some blight one. Yes, I do. Spooky stones. Spooky, scary stones. Quiver down your pickaxe. I know how the song's gonna help us. Sweet Love is warming up to I'm uh, warming up her pipes, removing rendition of an alternate version of the Quarantine Walker's song. I do recall Father saying this version of the song wasn't especially popular. However, it was always his favourite, so the one he sang the most often. Ah, that's the right of it. Why would I go for days with workers belting out the version I know? Well, I'll still be singing it when I'm dead! My god, is that stone igneous? Ah. It's scary. Oh no, it's an igneous rock. Can't say I'm too surprised it's all you remember, Grandfather. It's the only end of the second version that actually differs from the first. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Wow, that, wow, your, your father knew a very different version of the song, sweet love. Speckled stone, edge of Talea, sell not the stone to a kindly prayer. Nay, search for the pebbles, young maiden revels. Between this world and to next, there is... Tis there the stones collect. Draw them on our ancestors' song. I'll be honest. I, the, 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 the spacing there? I don't know how to fit that into, into lyrics. So in this world and the next, tis there the stones collect. Trade them on our ancestors' song. So the stones were still as located somewhere between this world and the next, eh? I must admit, I never really thought about much as a child. The songs are a bit eerie, aren't they? Ghost rocks! You, you got it. I uh, part about an is quite morbid. I reckon it might be referring to Hidden Tear. Hey, Because you can see it from there, so you would know about it. I suppose that this used to be a graveyard, didn't it? I can't imagine there's too many people that um, have course to visit the, um, the area these days. Mind the graves! Dig up their bodies and sell them for profit! Genius! Igneous! I should hope not. This is here by banishment and offerings of the cease of it. I've increased the number of stories saying that beings are on the south stalker place. 
I'd love more and pop right over there now and quickly see the stone army um, can be found, but someone tells me that won't be easy. The sightseeing log help. What's that you soon blow one? Can I count on your aid one last time? Sure. My thanks. The last chance and I do not intend to fail. Ba -da -da. Ba -da. We've also got to go back at some point and finish all of the chain quests that unlocked from the Aether Currents in um, the previous game. The previous thing. You know the thing I'm talking about? The thing with the things? Heaven's Way. Because there was a bunch of Aether Current quest chains in that that we never did. Though I don't know if those ones were the worth it once I've got to one so. the, These ones have a picture. If a yellow quest has a picture, it's on stream. That's kind of my, that's kind of been my thought process. Harbor Clint Spike, Good Morris have toxic, uh, rocks and toxic spikes. That's just how I'm going to be the entirety of Scarlet, honestly. Honestly, it's how I'm going to be the entirety of Scarlet. Regenerator, Chattel's like as who's actually Hoban Rex's adoptive daughter. Aww. Um, Marvel Scale Dragonite with normal terror and extreme speed. Marvel Scale, which one's that? I forget the ability Marvel Scale. I remember it's an ability, but I can't remember what it does. That's what I don't remember. That's the one I don't remember. The Regenerator Shed Tail does seem like a pretty busted one. Is Regenerator the one that increases health when you retreat, or is that heal statuses when you retreat? Because I think it's health, which makes it cycles are very good. <laughs> yes, Saya. Saya. Soya? I don't know. Right, it's a black one. Would you mind checking the area to see if anything's safe before I go over it further? Look at how many rude suits are around us. It's not safe even slightly. Heels help. Busted powerful. If you don't see anything funny, just take care of it for me. We get to work once the area is safe. It's because it's like I was fast. Again, do you not see the rude suits that are around? It's not safe for shit, Captain. Densitation! Don't fight me. Please. Ah, god damn it! No, I'm already having to fight off bullshit. It's already not safe. Me waiting in light and me waiting in place to see if it's safe was already not safe. Ah When do I get the upgrade version of Windmo? What do I already have? Let me actually check the abilities for Bot. When do when do things upgrade during this? Oh no, okay, no, it's the same level. That is okay. <laughs> oh no, yeah, win by it doesn't it is yeah, the long straight one, yeah. Okay, so level 64 is when we start getting that in those. Then we get nature's min and then refulgent arrow. Oh yeah, refulgent arrow is just um um straight chop, but more powerful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Early the Sulkins and then more like golems, so just lift it up. Okay, okay. Yeah, so there are a bunch of the rocks that have come to life. Yeah, Shadow yeah, Shadow Bite. Shadow Bite is the AOE one for this. So it's 72. It's 72. So we don't actually get that until um Stormblood. And then Burst Shot also increases the main one here. Apex Arrow is its old thing. It doesn't actually <laughs> we don't actually get that many more skills um across Shadowbringers and Heaven Tool. Most of the skills for um, Bard you get by the end, but you get by level 60. It adds a couple of extra things. Because Core Stick and um, Stormbite are just upgrades. Nature's Min's just a new mitigation. Fulgen Arrow is an upgrade. Shadow Bite's a new one, but it's similar to what you already have before, which is the AoE version of it. An upgrade to a move. That's a new one. This is a new one. It adds like another gauge every time a repertoire happens, you get extra stuff. Laden's Bite is the upgrade of the this one here. Radiant Finale is dual three songs, you get a big attack, and then there's this. Marvel's Girl, Marvel's Girl, Marvel's Girl is what has, um, has seen Dragon Knight, because Marvel's Girl Dragon Knight. Marvel's reduces damage taken at full health. Marvel's Girl increases defense when under a status effect. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, so like you substitute into it and then it doesn't take damage for a couple turns because it has the substitute there so it does extra damage with its extreme speed but even longer. Oh. 
Tough Dragon, I get a couple Tons of Dragon Dance set up. That is awesome. I love it. Oh god, I spent so long talking about my all my abilities I'm learning. The root suit came back. Oh no. I actually need a song now. Which I'd probably be using anyways because it would make life go faster. I was never used I never actually used sidewinder. I do constantly forget about sidewinder. I so constantly think about Imperial Arrow or whatever it's called, but I constantly forget about sidewinder. Well, I'm just actually gonna die here. But I'm just gonna actually die here. Jesus Christ. The rude dude appearing at the same time as all that really fucks me up. <laughs> do that one. Get rid of the paralysis. It's annoying as shit. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. It's almost like when you're doing stuff solo like this, you should probably be a tank, but ah oh well! Story, characterization, character arcs, etc. The only sense, yeah, um, the only presence you sense in the area is your own. Most part is set up in a lot of upgrades and extra games and stuff that you already have, yeah. Yeah, some, some of the skills do that. Don't forget the traits, I forget about the traits constantly! Okay, to, okay, okay, to be fair, to be fair, most of the traits here are just the upgrades that are already happening. <laughs> oh, okay, level 68 does actually chase Imper um, change Imperial Arrow. Every time you use Imperial Arrow, it procs re um, a repertoire. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Because that's every 15 seconds, so it guarantees a proc of that every time you do it. Okay. It doesn't affect Army's pain on too much, but it helps a lot with Wonder of Minuet and, and Mage's Ballad. Yeah, that's just, yeah, like, that's just the upgrade. That's the upgrade in the sense that you also unlock Shadow by at that level. Um, getting straight shot ready off doing the dot ones, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I, I forget that, yeah, I, I totally forgot that Army's Payon completely changes at some point. Yeah, Army's Payon just changes once you get to level 78. There's too many words there for me to know what it does. And getting a third charge of this, which is fantastic. Which is also fantastic. But like, this, look at how many words there are for this! One of the other armies playing on with this one second rabbit while singing mages, ballad, or wondrous menu with ground. Army's muse, reducing weapons, skill, cast time, and all attack delay, spell time, and recast time, and all attack delay. Um. Allowing the effect of Army's Pain and accumulated sex for to expire without seeing Mage's Ballad or Rundus Minuet will grant Army's Pain um, Ethos, which is 30 seconds. One for the Army's Ethos, seeing Mage's Ballad or Wondrous Minuet will grant Army's Muse. With Army's Ethos, Army's Muse requires stacks of repertoire, number of which is determined by Army's um, Pain Oh, so basically. Okay, so basically Army's Pain just means that. Okay. The, uh, the enhanced version of Army's Pain just means that the ability of Army's Pain will last for a few seconds once you change some. Okay, that's basically what that means. That's basically what that means, right? If I'm reading that correctly. It just means that Army's Payon will last for a couple seconds once you use one of the other songs. Or, if you don't need to use one of the other songs because, like, the combat encounter's about to end, or you're about to, like, zone, um, like, phase transition in a, um, boss fight, then you can just keep on that effect for even longer. Okay. Okay. Okay, I already had the one. Lord's Arrow is both increasing the pain of and get rid of its weakness to Ice and Fairy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that Terra does that. So it can work more and more defensive, it doesn't increase extreme stream damage like Nimble does. Now you gotta increase the damage. Extreme speed's gonna murder everything in a single shot. <laughs> That's the important thing in life. That's the important thing in life. Ow! Ow. Ow. Side hurt. Well, there was only that one thing of boots that appeared. Oh, hello. Hey, Midcast Warmer. Hey there, Midcast Warmer. Saya! I got a lot to say uh, to you. I see you still in one piece. Things only seem to be a bit safer now. Well, that means go ahead to back get back to Alagan, huh? Yeah, my word, I'll, do, um, I'll, I'll deliver this time. Because you're going to put love at ease. But she's worried sick by now. The things are still there. I should keep an eye on you for a couple more. No, okay, never mind. Never mind. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm actually gonna ride there this time because I want to jump off this waterfall. I want to jump off the waterfall. 
Shows those super priority too, not even like punch goes first to it. Oh, has that always been the case for extreme speed or did it change? I didn't realize it had like extra, extra priority compared to other things. Actually, this is a bad idea I'm now realizing because if one of those things fight me and once I'm on one health, I'll die instantly. Okay, I can't get attacked now. Okay, I just can't get attacked and we're fine. <laughs> just as I, as I leaped off, I'm just like, if one of those things auto attacks me as I spawn, as I lay next to it on one health, I will just instantly die. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. That could have gone poorly very, very easily. But we survived and it's fine. No one died. Everything's fine. Stop worrying. <laughs> oh, it's a blight win. But wait, where is... He said he'd be back. He said he'd be fine. I, I decided to l that he'd agree. I would have laughed. I would have cried. I would have lived to hear he is unharmed. Although I struggled to truly accidentally his back with us safe and sound. Grandfather is so full heartedly not moment goes by that I do not worry for him. You're in like a morning in the grave, my love. I'm going to show you there's nothing to worry about here. Yeah. Clicks. It's two almost, so there's a, a one. I did not. I had no idea of that. Clickety clackety. I found what we're after in no time. Shame there's more um there's more to be had. We gotta start trading with goldsmiths of Uldar. That's the gold stream of the day where free of the empire's um the free of the empire actually comes. Yeah, we're doing all of this and you're not even allowed to trade right now. Anything you gather right now, you're just gonna have to give over to the empire. We can do think Aaron says made hidden tears or graveyard on purpose. It's all protection against the glory see um she's provided for us. After all, who do you know that go defile and graveyard and such riches? Besides me, of course. Regardless, that's the only reason I can think of them hiding the fat that Anna works on. Take a look for yourself, sweet love. It's stunning. When I gaze upon it, I almost dare to believe they could be a brighter future for our village. It's like hiding cash in the fucking walls of the place that you're in, but you make it a graveyard. You know, in case, in case any people ever come occupying our city, Here's a place to do some mining still. <laughs> a bunch of go wrong, indeed. I right, we'll make a fair amount of the villagers to band together and mine the rest of the supply. Hey, so soon we're going out to such treasure. Are we much interested in your rambler? <clears throat> Rather, and what you had to say. It's all thanks to your efforts, grandfather. Never once did you give up, even in the face of strong opposition from certain granddaughter. I couldn't be more proud. Honestly, I just started living in despair. I couldn't bring myself to believe there might be a way out. I'll be more than glad to join you the next time you go quarrying, sir. Thank you all for the kind words. Here's to bringing Alec Garnhardt back to its former glory. And tonight, I always wish you'd just retire and spend your golden years in peace. But it seems you're much better suited to keep an active. Take you long enough to realize? I last not the same unless you have a chisel in hand. I hope your throats are nice and warmed up because it's time for some singing. And quarrying, of course. Just don't let the Galleons find out that it's gonna fucking take it. I feel like we're doing this a little presumptuously. Here's some Blywin. A hearty thanks for everything you've done for our village. You can leave the rest to us now. We'll do just fine if we have each other. Best of luck in, to you and all your future endeavors. Yay! We helped save the village. I rescued your hometown, Artesia. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? Fuck yeah. Anyhow. 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 Woo! I got cheered on. Woo! Hell yeah. Anyway, who's ready for some s hot, hot summoner action? Fuck yeah. Hey, you look fancy. Why are your horns glowing? What on earth are you wearing? What on earth are you wearing? Bone wicker whisperer's mask. What on earth is all this? Minusia. How do you have so many glams? See, my glam looks dumb right now because I have the hat on. Actually, you know what? Before we continue with this, which I'm going to assume we're going to continue with Gridania. Wild guess. Th no! Oh, no, that is Gridania. Never mind. Before we do that, I'm going to teleport back to Limbs of Limbs. So I'm going to change my fucking glamour plate because I don't need to wear Matoya's hat right now. I did that to show it off that I bought the book one time. I'm going to change the hat so I can actually wear my fucking thing properly and have it not look ridiculous. But we're going to get back up here. I'm going to do that. Things been like since existed. Was it was Gen 2? So that kind of uh, kind of thing should maybe the beginning of um, certain evolutions in landing moves until after evolving in Gen 1. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, there it is. I really like this card. I do really like this card. <laughs> I do really like this card. I'm quite the fan. Quite the fan. Anyhow, and a glam plate. Summon a glamour plate. I guess I just have to turn off the glamour thing for this, don't I? Remove this image from the plate, titties. Um, <laughs> where was the hat that I was wearing before for this? I don't even remember which one it was. That's the one. It was this one, the vigil hat. I was wearing vigil hat before. Um, though I think I ended up changing it to nothing because the hat does look pretty dumb. Uh, it's a silly looking hat. We can, we we're, we're allowed to admit it's a silly looking hat. That looks terrible. What's well, a good looking headpiece? That's a good looking headpiece for this coat that I'm going to be putting on. Will the girl in the dresser add to play, take it out, and wear normally? You know what? That's an idea. That would require a glamour prism. Don't worry about it for now. <laughs> At some point I'll bother, but not right now. Uh, no. Ah, put on that hat, it matches what we're wearing anyways. It matches what we're wearing anyways. There we go. Actually, is this even, is it even linked? No, it is. Then why didn't it change it before? Why? Now I'm curious. I changed into this by going to the job thing, which is linked to the plate, but it didn't override the Alamegan code of casting. It left it as this. Why did it do that? Why didn't it apply what was on there before? Because it had the other it had the other thing on there before. It did have something before I made it exposed. Why didn't that override the, the Alamegan code? Why didn't it do that? It was meant to. It was meant to. So why didn't it? I think my summon is fucked up. Again, me putting on Matoya's hat changed the fucking UI for it. I don't know what happened to my summoner ship, but my summoner my, my summoner is weird. <laughs> putting on Matoya's hat changed the hot bar for it, the HUD for it, and I don't know how or why. <clears throat> I got very confused when that happened. Um, switch to simple mode, because everything's simple mode. Everything is simple mode. Everything fits when it's in simple mode, and it looks nice and doesn't look stupid. Woo! Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just doing the hop bar adjustment. No. Aether flow. Aether flow. That's not aether flow. We're in a sanctuary. Was it a casting shot? It is casting. Maybe I wasn't in a sanctuary. Maybe I wasn't- maybe we were just out the board- Because we were in Alagaha when I changed to Summoner. But maybe we were just out of the realm of- of it. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe we were just at the very edge of Alagaha so it didn't actually count. Maybe that's what it was. I uh, no, I want this on this side. I gave it on this side. Easy to keep track of. There we go. There we go. That's how I had my hotbar before. That's how I had it before. I need to change the hotbar stuff down here a little bit just to give it a little more space. Some of the simple mode job bars are going to require a touch more space. Yeah, I guess we were because we were at Alagaha when I changed over to this, but we were just outside of it. So perfect, it worked out as intended, and I didn't need to use a glamour dispeller. Fuck yeah, <sighs> fuck yeah. Now I just need to get someone to like level 76 or something so I can actually wear the full glam. <clears throat> I can't wear the bottoms that I have right now that I want to wear for this because they're I think they're level 76. Like the open ball things. There's also a hat that I want, but I don't know when the hat becomes available. Hey look! See? People in the Cockmaster outfit. Because the Cockmaster outfit looks fantastic. <laughs> I see people in it quite frequently. I do see people in it relatively frequently. Which hat? It's similar to. I don't remember the name of it. It's saved somewhere in my thing. Uh, it's a hat similar to this. It's like a big red hat, but it has an eye patch on it. 
It's a big red caster hat that has an eye patch. And obviously eye patch, so I have to. And Summoner, I like the idea of I like the I like this coat with the big hat. I like that. <laughs> the gloves are the same gloves that I was planning, though you can barely now I'm noticing you can barely see these gloves through the actual glam. But I still like the look of them. And these are the sandals that I, I'm planning on wearing for this glam as well. These are the demon ones from World of Darkness. Because the sandals blend in quite effectively to the gear piece I was going to have above it for the open wall skirt. And then it's going to be like a massive long coat, but like flowy, um, like simple material beneath it all and stuff like that. I do really like this coat. Now, now that I'm walking around in it, I actually, I really like this coat. Is it diable? It is. It is diable. I can make it- I can make it all different shades of red. I kind of actually like the shade of red that it default is more than any of the other ones, though. Yeah, the shade of red that it already is is better. <laughs> Yumitra! Have you heard about your sister? No, not the fact that we're sleeping together. She's been critically injured. Have, has anyone- has anyone deigned to tell you this? <laughs> has anyone deigned to actually tell you this? Been there, drove to daughter takes off both of them. Lots about like Rex, but it's more tactical like her. What about aggressively horny? Chetel to pass subs. Your turn of health is to lift Chetel and needs to escape. Rapper's going to get rid of hazards and drag for attack in case she's the last one left. One day I'll get back into Pokemon competitive. No, I'm worried. I don't have the time. I'm playing Final Fantasy 14 instead. A book with art. Has anyone told you, Matro, that her sister's like. A, like, in critical condition. Has anyone told her? Yumitra has the most fascinating news for you. Mine of food. I have the most fascinating news. Don't say the ruins of ancient Alec have yielded um, to us a term containing unknown secrets of the summoner's art. The term in question is currently being kept on the Rambo's watchful gaze at, um, at our dick site in Moldona. Hey, Rambo's has come back. Hello. I had that shortly myself, but would not begrudge you, um, you an earlier peak. Did we speak with Rambrose as well during the previous Summoner parts? Obviously the big thing for Rambrose is Crystal Tower. Obviously the big thing for Rambrose is Crystal Tower, but I feel like we did speak to him during the previous Summoner stuff as well. My memory is saying this, and we all know how fantastic my memory is. I don't know how good my memory is. Not sure who would tell her about her sister. Someone probably should. So I, sh I should. I should probably bring it up. Especially considering I'm her sister's partner. It should probably be mentioned rather than, hey, here's how you can turn into Bahamut, but even stronger. Hey, Rambrose. Ah, I thought you might be here. Here. It's now a simple oven. A prize such as this should be, um, should be in your keeping. Remember we did come back for the job on my way back when? Maybe something about job stones? <laughs> So he, he has come up during other stuff here. Not just Crystal Tower. My fish keeps dying and flopping around on the ground. One kind they're not terribly far away from when we excavate the Evoker's attire. Yeah, there it is. I judge the turn to be some matter of ma um, manual for rich um, summoning magic, but alas, it's unable to decipher the writings. It is fortunate then that such a task falls directly within Dimitri's field of expertise. Speaking of which, would you mind taking the book to her yourself? She sent word that she'd be, um,. Held up by some dreary business in Ravenland's Toll. Pray do be careful. Dreary business? Like her sister fucking almost dying? Freaking such not a horny like them. More focus on zoomies and more focus on playing with the ball in the picnic. Ah, still a child. Still a child. <laughs> yeah, itchy body everywhere. I'm now realizing we might once again run into the issue of I'm gonna be doing the job quest up to level 70 for this while having level- well, I've- I, I have one piece. I have one piece of level 70 gear. But we're once again gonna be diving into level 70 job quests with level 60 gear. Maybe I should invest some gil into getting some higher level job- um, some higher level gear for these job quests. Because it'll be a while before we have poetics. 
My apologies. So traveling but unavoidable manner prevented me from making direct um directly for the dig site. Now, shall we take a closer look at this Alagon tome? I should have Alagon origin. Recently on Earth, the same coin I I got you a book, nerd. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So we do daily hunts and um buy, buy all the lost Alagon gear. I could buy the Alamegan gear. I could buy the Alamegan gear. It's not that expensive for seals. With how many seals you can get in one day if you did all the hunts? I could probably get one roll per day? Is that within the realm of feasibility? It probably is. <laughs> it probably is. Oh my. It's far more shabby than what I've come to expect from the great works of Alog. Let's not be discouraged. Content is what truly matters. A fine observation. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's the book with bite. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We've gone from actually dealing with straight up Asians in the Summoner Quest to welcome to the ridiculous silly bullshit festival. Hell yeah. Princip um, Principia, at your service. I'm a humble familiar. Humbly familiar with the doctrine of summoning. We're gonna send you a term of some ancient library? This is why we must keep it contained. <laughs> Murder it quickly. Have I somehow given offense? Strange, I'm not equipped with offensive capabilities. In finding out something's my function, an instruction manual is my form. A manual, you say? <laughs> the music just hard cuts. The music just hard cuts off from danger. <laughs> just immediate. <laughs> I like, I like how in this cutscene for this job quest, the other job quests that are awaiting around Ravenant Stoll are just there. Hey look, it's Gunbreaker! Right behind that Aetherite, it's Red Mage! Correct, when opening the presence of summoners, I am bound to awaken and share with them the secrets of summoning. The young mistress there in, um, in possession of an active soul crystal, yes? I am, yes. It was the soul crystal that awoke you. Correct, the only one who carries the soul crystal and is bathed in the Aether of an icon Al uh, it's Alicon, using the phrase Icon. Maybe with the powers of a summoner. I sense one worthy of instruction and was thus compelled to introduce myself. Icon. That is the Alicon word for primal. Excuse me, I need to clarify the obvious, but you are constructs created to teach summoning magics to any potential student you encounter? Why would the ancients have deemed such a thing necessary? Summoning came into being for the purpose of eliminating beings, specifically those known as Icons. <clears throat> Primals. Once these entities have, been um, have um, all been vanquished, however, new AG cannot be harnessed. All summoners perish, and so too does their aunts. It was one glimpsing this bleak future that a certain master summoner said about crafting yours truly. And scribe with arts of tremendous power, I exist to teach others how to safeguard their existence. Fascinating. Your aggression speaks to the heart of the discipline's rarity. Summoning harnesses the power of primals for the sole purpose of destroying them. And new summoners rise only in an age when primals are rife. With the absence of living mentors, a true succession of the art is never achieved. Principia, are you then to instruct Lucian Blightwind in the Lost Secrets of Alog? I may get to oblige, but though there are certain obligations. Ere the seal upon my higher knowledge can be unlocked, you should must first overcome the three challenges I am in to, pre to present. When I'm saying I refer to promises icons, I'm inclined to believe we have an authentic Alagon relic in our hands. What's that, Lucian Blightwind? Are we going to take these challenges? Oh. I can listen to the words of a book, I guess. 222 per day, heaven took a stormblood to um, 25 per element can set. So close. We're going to be able to um, get every stormblood 100 to MSQ, so maybe focus on body legs weapon at least. True, because I have to go to high, higher level places, don't I? True. True. Would it be easier? Is there a vendor in Hingashi that doesn't include accessories because I forget they existed? <laughs> Fair enough. Um, is there a vendor in Hingashi that just sells, like, the most basic bitch level 70 gear you can get? Because if it's just for the purposes of job quest, I'm fine buying that. I'm fine buying that if it's just that. Because, like, that's what I did for Heavenswood, for when we did Red Mage. I just went to the shop and I just bought bare bones basic level 60 gear. Like, the lowest level 60 gear that exists, but still level 60, so higher than, um, a Roman Born Poetics. The first challenge is a test of power. Trial is designed to evaluate the raw magnitude of your arcane talent by pitting you against a predetermined opponent of carefully measured fortitude, also known as, I manifest a monster and you fight it. Now, <laughs> oh, maybe that's probably wise to attempt that in the middle of town. Why don't we find ourselves a less populated area out near the Singing Shards? 
what what would be the issue? I'm sure Radovan would be the one to fucking fight him with us. <laughs> I like how Raven Soul has just become Job Quest Town. Look at fucking all the people here. Hi there, giant bird in the sky above me. D to be fair, I can't even just say, oh, all the Job Quests are now coming here. And, and like, Summon is included. Summon did a lot of. Like, the final Summon, I think, for level 50 was here. The Google Library was the one for 60. Uh, um, armor does have um, 70 gear, but expensive. Of course. How difficult would it be for me to make it? Are you ready for this test of power? What's in Prince of Peers, but waiting on your word. Well, what I should do first is also summon my carbuncle. I should probably get my carbuncle out before I do this. I'll make some. Stop giving me stuff! It's un- It's not what the intended experience is. Shall we get the test of power, mistress? Mistress? You treat your pupil as a superior, Prince of Peer? So does the way in which I was written. Ah, my full name begins to tie your tongue. You're welcome to call me Prin or Pia. <laughs> Ooh, I rather like Prin. <clears throat> I mean, let us proceed with the challenge. <laughs> Just like your sister, huh? Demon of the Tarm! Oh no, I murder it with my book powers! Make sure you probably want to stand out of the way. It took that long to kill the level 60 then. Which, wow, look at it. Which, wow, look at it. I, show, I find showing, Mistress. In the great Alagon of um, I mean, the greatest Alagon summons would be forced to recognize the extent of your, um, extent power. A crushing victory, some black win. Who could argue the pension of modern summoning after that display? I became a Bahamut. You have bested the first challenge, Mistress. There are a few summoners in Alex's long history who boasted the, um, this degree of native might. Furthermore, you have achieved such potency through naught, but the study of ancient wisdom is simply astonishing. With little polish your technique, guiding you to loftier heights of power should be astonishingly simple. I'm just that awesome. Attuning to Aether, something I'm good at. Well, I ate Aether within myself. Lay in Aether in the atmosphere, a bit harder. I thought I seemed like my technique more than sufficiently polished, but you say there's room for improvement? I see we're shy to adjust our yamstick for perfection if we have to rival the practitioners of the past. Indeed, if you had no more past practices, then you need only ask. Actually, I do have a question for you. If you indulge me, you simply have one. Prin, in which age were you created? You appear to like the technological advancements that were predominant in constructs in the latter dates of Alex civilization. Another external observation. I was penned by Master Sari, a preeminent summoner of his time. He was, in fact, likely the last master summoner of the Alagans Empire, em Alagan Empire's reign. When I date myself by your culture's notion of history, my creation would have taken place just before the Empire's collapse. In other words, solely within the richest era of atherochemical discovery. Well, my reason we wonder why this wonderful, uh, wonderful science was good for my invention, and I show you there is a reason. In the beginning, the Alagons wrote a superiority through their mastery of magecraft. It was told that the very first wielders of summoning magic may do with grimoires fashioned um, of leather and ink and parchment, like how we have. They came at tipping point, however, when the mundane sciences began to pro um, progress with ever-growing ra um, rapidity. Those advances um, were married with the arcane, and aetherochemical technology was born. Even as the harnessing of... Um, Lightning energies gave rise to recording new mediums. Techniques were developed that allowed complex arcane geometries to be instantly plotted. Traditional grimoires were replaced by devastatingly efficient and elegant weapons. The convenience of these tools, however, did not lend themselves well to instruction of initiates. Beyond such considerations, the new mediums could not be um, perused without dedicated machinery, and the manufacture was no simple matter. Basically, we could we could have made it a USB stick, but then if someone didn't have a computer, they couldn't plug the fucking thing in. Where if you write something in a book, it's a bit easier. And so the summoner who breathed life into your arms, um, you decided that time stones and the like were not ideal method for passing on his accumulated wisdom. Correct. He chose me for the primitive form of a book, and inscribed within my pages a bounty of potent incantations that required no machine to be cast. Thank you, Prin. I thought only to satisfy my academic curiosity, but I found myself stuffed up in your description of the past. You truly are the creation of an incredible age. I did a lot of fucked up shit. And thank you for your patience as a light one. Shall we turn to Gridania? Book just hops along. <laughs> Book just hops along. To Gridania. 
Gra-gra-dun-ya. Gra-gra-dun-ya. Um. Sorry, I'm just singing silly because I'm a dummy. Um, I'm now realizing a thing that's only relevant for the end of this stream. Um, the whole idea of how we sleep in an inn to go to rest for the day. Can we not have that inn be the one that's over in Hingashi right now to save me a couple thousand gil? Wait, no, I can do it. No, we get the ferry in Limsa. That only costs 300. I'll return to Limsa, and that won't cost anything. And then I can take the ferry over, and that'll be 300. Bam. Solved. We're all good. Never mind. Never mind. We'll still sleep over there. We'll still sleep over there. Dan- oh, Dan- 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 Hello. Mr. Blywin! You've been well, I trust. I'm trying to bend Demetra's ear, but she seems a little distracted. Not that I can blame her. Have you seen this hopping book? Well, sure I caught a flash of teeth between those pages. Welcome, my mistress. Well, that, should that be welcome back? I thought this is the base of your research, um, efforts with Lady Mitra. I am uncertain of the correct sal salutation. Subcon is usually what people go for. Well done, Mr. Blowman. We are one step closer to revealing a new secret of ancient Alok. We're only issuing the next challenge after you've had the chance to review your studies and earn your abilities to a new level of perfection. I decided to keep the familiar here on my side for the moment, even with the many wonders of yours your holds. Folks tend to panic at the sight of a fang time that jumps around of its own accord. As did we, we almost murdered the book. Alright, pay my mind, I kept them all. He obviously wishes to secure my services for some task or another. We have more important matters to attend to. <laughs> Ignoring. Tell them to fuck off. Level, oh, level 63. Level 63. Right, that was with Gunbreaker, wasn't it? Right, it's not every two levels for this, is it? Yeah, it's a little different. Right. Right, yes. That, that was the case with Gunbreaker. Performing for Prim. You may trust that you learned it here to Prince Peter. Greetings, Zeus and Blowin. Would seem that Prim that, um, would speak with us about the second challenge. Congratulations, Mistress. You're sufficiently prepared to undertake the next test. Hell yeah. Excuse me, Prim, but how can you tell? Finalizing the patterns of Mistress's ethereal emanations, I can gauge the strength and precision of her recently cast incantations. Of course, the mistress must attempt the challenge itself before I can provide an evaluation to the proper degree of accuracy. This will be a test of skill. To administer this trial under the prescribed conditions, however, I must request the assistance of several more summoners to play the role of antagonists. Several more summoners? In this day and age, there'll be no easy feat to arrange. Come now, you matron. The solution's right under your nose! Listen, Blightwind, your deeds have caught the attention of the highest echelons of the flames. I'm blowing what you're capable of. We've begun an initiative to take our very own summoners into battle against the primals. Hey, they've... They've actually been doing that. Yay, our plan in the Heavenswood job quest actually worked. A number of soldiers on my command have already begun intensive training. I am paid veteran survivors of our expedition against Ifrit, and then we've been issued with soul crystals we claim from the Assians. Ha ha ha, get fucked, Assians. Wait a minute. Using crystals from Assians about primals? Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm now realizing that we've heard this fucking story before. I uh, Captain Wolf has been howling in my ear for days, begging me to enlist your aid as some kind of drill instructor for, ethere for the ethereally gifted. But now you're in need of summoners for this trial of yours, yes? I'm afraid to offer my regiment's full of cooperation. Well, I was in my furnace a few morsels of advice for the acolytes. Seems to me a fair trade. My enchantments do not restrict me from in, um, instructing neophyte summoners in the fundamentals of the art. Very well. I suppose such an arrangement could prove convenient um, for us all. I knew you'd come around. Meet me at Camp Blue Fog, and I'll assemble the troops for inspection. God, I love this coat. So I'm just seeing this coat, and I'm just like, God, I really like it. I really like it. Yeah, I saw it before, but I never saw it on a regular, so I wasn't sure how it would fit. But now I'm seeing, I'm like, stay there. I'll stay put. Which means, um, get the wolf at the camp, and we'll find a nice open space somewhere in the northern island to conduct the second. Challenge. Why? Did one, however, that you're far too busy training soldiers on any kind of permanent basis. As I mentioned, the second challenge will be a test of skill. I shall be evaluating techniques for flaws execution and executed flaws. But I'm bad at all those things. So figuring out what move on. Dragon Lance Fall to be. Dragon Dance Extreme Speed and Earthquake are given us to have one roost for more <laughs> multi scale shenanigans. All coverage with Ice, um, Spin of Thunder Punch, um, Fire Punch. Can just a bunch of things learn Ice Spinner now? Is that just how it works? I really thought that was a move that was like unique to the Dancing Duck. Because once you just play one TM, it can be relearned at any time without wasting another TM. That is godlike. That is godlike. 
That's fan that must be another new change that I've no, no, no. Oh my god. I'm once again having that moment of where just tiredness just hits me in the middle of a stream. Or I guess last time, it was after we did a stream, but when we were doing some Pokemon raids. I think I think <laughs> sub just come running up. I think my tiredness is hitting me because of my lack of estrogen. Because my um my estrogen that I had, I've run out of my supply of. I've run out of my supply of estrogen that I have, and I'm waiting on new ones to be delivered. So I think it's that. I think it's that. Hey, Rakshasa, um, things of casting. Hey, thank you. Let <laughs> I me mean, switch between the two screens and my uh, red room stuff. Uh, I checked out. Oh, most, most, oh, the accessories. Oh, the accessories. Why? Thank you. Thank you, Dick. How is there more? Oh, right, the <laughs> right, the weapon, and also a capybara. Thank you, <laughs> and a capybara. <laughs> uh, I look very different right now. I look very different now. I need to change the glam plate. Now I need to change the glam plate. <laughs> Now I need to do that. Gabby bar up up. Love buff then. And you. Do you just want me to stop walking around with the fish that's making irritating sounds? Because you also gave me that fish. Gabby bar up up. Nonihingashi as Oni Tenji Kunazumi, quite literally translated as Near Eastern Demon Rat. This rodent auspice of unknown ages developed to a fondness of fires and hot springs, and will spend day in the restorative waters if not reminded to come out and eat. <laughs> Hey, Kathy Bars in their hot springs, because that's like an actual thing that they have in Japan. Hey, we have a Kathy Bar. Maybe, maybe stay away from the book that's gonna eat you. I'm now being surrounded by rodents. So when we can learn, I spent thinking it was like, so I might be able to get it. What's on pet? What the fuck? Sup? <laughs> Sup? Thank you, thank you, thank you to my stream chat for constantly hard carrying me through this playthrough. Thank you for the constant hard carrying of just. Giving me shit for free. Gonna get in by Carby and said, No! 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 Not allowed. Not allowed. Anyway, we are, before we go to Blue Fog, we are gonna go to the Glamour Dresser. I was talking about the coat and how sexy it is. So we've gotta sex it up. So we gotta go to an inn. Gotta go to an inn. Now we can actually make the gun plate with that. <laughs> Time to go back. Time to go back. I'll try to find ways of getting my own gear for future job quests. <laughs> and isn't this? Uh, in case, there you are. Antoine Arm. I cannot remember the last time I entered the inn in the Black Shroud. I cannot remember the last time I've entered this place. To the point, I forgot they had a fucking fountain feature in here. I forgot there was a fountain. I, I feel like I constantly go to bed in the Mizumast Inn. Because, you know, I hang out in Limzer all day, every day. Like, I'm constantly hanging out there. So I feel like I'm I'm at Limzer all the time. I didn't actually put on my plate, did I? And it really does seem like that all of the out of all of the inns, the one that is the least stacked with goods of like a fancy inn to be in <laughs> is the one in Limsa. The Mizen Mast is just here's a box with a window and a bed. This has got like a fancy fucking fountain feature inside of it. And the one that we saw in Hingashi before has got like cooking things and like a balcony that you can see outside on and stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, ready for. BAM! The look that we had before. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. The hat does work a lot better with this one, um, with this coat than what I had before. The hat at least does match this. It's not the hat that I want, but at least it does match it. Anyway, yeah, camp blue fog. It's a camp blue fog. Fucking words are bullshit. Fuck words, am I right? Can I get a fuck words in chat? 
Can I get everyone to agree that words are bullshit and fuck them? Hell yeah, I can. Because everyone agrees. Uh, says the streamer. Everything's in readiness for the second talent. Stress. These are the three neophyte summoners who'll be assisting with the trial. I heard the Alagon training can be rather remorseless. Do your best, but pray try not to injure them during the fray. So I'll do my best. I'll try to make sure that Crispin doesn't end up crispy. I'm told we'll be your opponents for this exercise. It's an honor to meet you. I'll make sure that D Nice doesn't become the ice. Summon a D Nice at your service. And I'll make sure that Judge Summer doesn't fucking eat shit and die in an earthquake. Aye, we ain't sad yet, have we? I don't know if that makes sense since he can't even learn Dragon Dance. Wow, Rex. Instead of being out to do the more elegant Dragon Dance, he gets a more aggressive Solar Stance. Ah. <laughs> Looks like we're all here. Let's go on with the briefing, shall we? I thought we all went to look at the Kabi for a second. No, we all went to look at the Capybara. Oh, before we do the Capybara, the Capybara is so cute. As you command, the second challenge will evaluate the elegance of your technique as opposed to the magnitude of, of your miasma. First, I shall infuse the age of your opponents with secondary enchantments. Then you have to fall um, to engage the enemies in combat. Everyone explain to me that the enchantments, um, enchantments saw the Aether expended during the battle. And allow for in-depth analysis of your flare for death flares, as it were. In any case, I expect you'll pass with flying colors. Right, suppose I should, you should know who you're up against. Designation and rank. <laughs> Summoner Crispin, private first class. We'll guide for all you can teach us, miss. Summoner Denise, Sergeant. I'm new to spellcasting, but I've seen my share of combat, miss. Crispin and I, um, I'd have fight you as a pair. Summoner Judge Asamu, Lieutenant. You have more than a few admirers in the barracks, isn't Blackwind? Uh, miss. But that I mean you'll we'll go easy on ya. <laughs> Enough chatter. Quick march to the training ground. Give the word to Grisman and Denise when you're ready to battle their AG, my After that, you'll be facing off against the Lieutenant's Beast. Might be attacking my troops directly, so give it all you've got. Fuck them up. Wait, what did the Capybara just do? The Capybara just did- Capybara, do your animation again. Yeah, you're looking at me, that's adorable. You had an animation, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Hey, you're wiggling your ears and that's adorable. No, not the walking away. Don't make out with my copy. It's an ethereal construct. I don't know how that actually works. I don't know if ethereal constructs can consent. I'm honestly, still not sure of this aspect about carbuncles. Though if the carbuncle is anything like the book, then I guess it does? Is the carbuncle like a familiar in the sense of a book? So it can have its own sense of like sentience and stuff like that? Familiars can have sentience in this, right? Like they have a limited amount of sentience, like the um, Paragos that Matoya has. Do the animation. Do the animation. I'm staring at you until you do it, Capybara. You did it before, do it again. You had an animation, do it! God, it was a cat's dogs, give one, um, I'm giving the one hanging around while Donor and Tataros. Does it, wait, does Tataros still hang around? Wait, does, does Tataros the Carbuncle still hang around? Wait, does it? Where can you see it? Also, I'm, I don't, also, I don't know what Carbuncles you're referring to about Mordona. I cannot think of any carbuncles I've seen around Mordona. I don't even know what you're referring to. I don't know, but it did, um, it did just walk away. I mean, I would assume, I mean, she, she's not a summoner anymore. Or even Arcana, so I just assume it would have despawned. I'm not imagining it right. It had a fucking animation. Like something landed on its head. Something landed on its head. Do it again. It had an animation of something landing on its head. There's a couple of teleports all around with Armadon and Makoto keeps calling out to it. Oh. I have never noticed that. I have never noticed that. Oh my god, I can finally fly in a zone again. 
I mean, I can do that back in Moldina. Still! Still. Oh, I remember this place. It was deep in these caverns right here that I leveled up Blue Mage to 50. <laughs> All set, Uzum Lightwin. As I said, Crispin and Diesel will be your first opponents. Just give them the word. There are, um, wait. That, these are, that's the same dialogue that they had before. Brace yourself, miss. Denise and I will now summon our servants to battle. Aye, a pair of Ifrit AG for you. Whoa! Book writing. Oh, Ifrit AG. Oh, no. Death Flare. Death Flare. So that's Astral Flare. Death Flare is the other one. That's, that's painful. Wow, get fucked on. It doesn't like its owner, but it does come when it, um, um, when Golden enjoys pets from others. <laughs> Future is overwhelming, miss. And you will the art is simply mesmerizing. Future will not let moves in. Because even together, we may say you don't hold a candle to the inferno I can summon. Right, let's bring the flames! Oh, wow, that's, yeah, that's a lot bigger one. I regret using Muhammad on the others. I regret using Muhammad on the others. Oh, that's right, I can use- No, I can use Bahamut now. Bahamut, come back! Burn and aid in the countryside! There it is. No more pricing men is that hand. No, there isn't! Oh, I'd hopes for that one. But yeah, snuffed him out right quick. Not much of a trial, eh? Well then, you're lucky I fought another primal during me time with the company of heroes. Oh, shit. I'm not the only one. Um, someone that can command more than one ethereal beastie. So, to your final opponent. Titan AG. I keep wasting Bahamut on the wrong things. Oh, no. Get in there. Ruin 4 as well. Oh, right. Ruin 4 is an actual, um, a use for the cooldown, doesn't it? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. No, don't stun me. I can't stun with my fucking one. I can't stun with mine. Next to click. Carbuncle. Carbuncle comic. Carbuncle comic. Battle has begun! Go, my carbuncle! Attack! I'm sorry, I wish you I shouldn't have done that. It's okay, you can stay here and look cute and I'll do all the fighting. <laughs> oh, hey! Someone else is doing it as well. It is funny to see someone do the Bahamut someone when you can't actually see them. And they just go, ah! Join the battle with me own self. Oh, yeah, I can't want to be in any, any different minds. Yeah. Let me see their animations. Let me see their animations as they go to fight Judge Asamu's. Yeah, there we go. There we go. They're definitely a higher level um, summoner than I am. They're doing attacks that I don't have. They did attacks that I don't have. They're definitely a higher level summoner than I. <laughs> Four member company heroes. I'm impressed. Here's the makings of a talented summoner. But I'm going to be a lot different. <laughs> I'm almost just invisible. <laughs> Let's have some time to on the residue of your battles, mistress. So from the taste line, I can predict a favor um, was, um, result from the flavor. Yeah, so you're, yeah, you're killing them way faster and you're doing different shit. You're just really far behind on- I thought I was behind on doing job quests. I thought I was behind on job quests. How much time has put up, uh, put up enough of a fight for you? Anyway, shall we hear what the book has to say? I've ruminated upon the spoils and echoes of your battle, and the picture is clear. The technique is, without a doubt, a thing of exquisite beauty. Definitely have the perfect summoner rotation, obviously. You can see the second challenge conquered. Well, that's good news. If I least surprise him. After all, you did sweep through those ages like a storm through, um, through a field of dandelions. What does that just started storm blood? Me thanks. You've opened me eyes. And I've seen some work to do before. I've truly mastered this discipline. Glad to know we've been of service. I must really be returning to Cardano.
I wonder if they're going to go down here. Thank you, miss. This is truly an enriching experience. They're skipping dialogue is what they're doing. Like a storm blood through a few other dandelions. I pray train with us again in the future. Pray train? No, hunt train. No, hunt trains are what we do. Hunt trains, that's what you do. Da -da -da. There we go. Pray train at the Waking Sands. Just mash it all together. Just mash it all together. Make it one giant thing. Make it very confusing. All right, I forgot I had the Yagiri sketch. Sorry, Yagiri and Gosetsu. They look. Look who we ran into. Hello there, Rin Zongyu. Dialogue skipper. <laughs> well, that challenge remains. Pray win um through this trial, lest the higher um, knowledge I hold remain lost. Congratulations, Mr. Blevin. Your impressive demonstrations of power and skill. You've already conquered two of Prince's three challenges. Are we come to the final trial, however, Prim would further um our education on Algon summoning. I was gonna say, it can't be one it can't be one more trial, there's multiple job quests left. First I ask you what you know of the rise and fall of um the summoning in the Algon Empire. I was made to cover rather a lot of history, you understand. All of this and you you teleport, you dialogue skipper. Dialogue skipper. How dare they? From our research, we've learned that summoners were initially lauded as heroes for their success against the primals. When certain of these mages um began to when certain of these mages began to abuse the art's power for personal gain, however, the adoration of the popular shifted towards an oppressive patron. Correct. We speak now in the latter half of the third astral era. My creator, Master Sari, was one of those who, um, who expended his energies on the destruction of primals, even as he fled from a relentless persecution. Alongside his disciples, he triumphed over um, Belias and many other lesser entities. Belias? That's, yeah, that's, that's the one that we did in AR. How oh, was the name of the other primal from whom Drusel once drew power? Master Sari must have been mighty indeed to defeat such a foe. Almost as strong as me. Yet, um, he still knew fear. The thought that the grand discipline of summoning would fade into oblivion was more um, than Master Sari could bear. And so he sought to preserve his legacy and provide for his successors. My creator is well versed in aether um, aetherial chemistry and had a particular interest in technology of information. Broadly speaking, he researched methods for producing arcane geometries without grimoires and experienced, um, experimented with machine enhanced aging. Good news, we've been streaming for eight hours. Jonathan, I certainly have. Probably gonna go for another hour or so. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> he eventually abandoned both of these technologies, deeming them unsuitable for the instruction of future generations. Hoping to provide guidance to the um, so those summoners yet unborn, he instead began writing and enchanting a work that would survive down the ages. He made a meet. Such an accomplished personage. Why then have I seen but scant mention of his name in Alex's histories? The summoners were persecuted. Um, Bruss, this is just my normal Sundays if I'm being perfectly honest. Go through my YouTube playlist of FF14. Most of my FF14 streams range in the eight, uh, in the six to nine hour range, with a couple of them reaching over eleven. As you have said yourself, it was an age where the adulation of summoners experienced an extreme reversal. As all the Master Sari's achievements were struck from the records, even as his loyal pupils were struck down in the streets. I was shut in a storeroom, abandoned to my slumber like some common treaties on trade agreements in the southern provinces, and thus I can tell you not to what befell my creator in his later years. 69 hours. I, 69 hours subathon. Let's go. I expected, I expected a driver's side on the history of summoning. But you shared with us your personal narrative. Just gl yeah. Tis glee. Oh, the great deal of respect for Master Sorry. This is what happens after eight hours of streaming. I am familiar. I simply relay information. Um, I am a familiar. I simply relay information as I was inspelled. This lecture is now over. <laughs> As you wish, friend. Well, simple I win. So the same class is dismissed for the moment. I suggest you recuperate from this day's trial and look forward to preparing yourself for the final challenge. Don't we go like 65, 68, and 70? Isn't that what it did before? Doesn't actually tell me that. See if the next 10 minutes on my internet shuts off, then I shall proceed to turn it back on and fall asleep to YouTube videos. Ah, uh, yes. That is, that is something that definitely a lot of people do it nowadays. I mean, I do it. I fall asleep to YouTube videos, too. One last challenge remains. Pray went through this trial. Was the high other oh, same dialogues before? Oh. An existential crisis. You may try an announcement regarding the final challenge. Again, then we still have three job quests. How are we already at the final challenge? 
The time has come, and so have Hives and Blowing. Bruno is ready to administer the final trial. Yes, your third challenge is at hand, Mistress. I should be glad to at last share the wisdom that has long lain dormant within my pages. Thus, with better evaluations of raw power and refinement of skill, what then will this third challenge take the test? So I'm gonna fall asleep to Twitch streams? That I cannot tell you. Cannot or will not? It's alright, it's only like literally next week or the week after that my streams are gonna be even an hour later as my daylight savings turns off. Fuck yeah. So awesome. My streams are gonna start at fucking midnight during the week. For East Coast viewers in the States. It's awful. I do not get this detail for me for the sake of my own amusement. It must be secret. Were you aware the test purpose? Such knowledge would unfairly affect its outcome. <laughs> also, Twitch streams before. I'm just waiting for the day that I fall asleep to a Twitch stream. And as the main person I see on Twitch is myself, it'll probably still happen. What I would say is that the trial requires con um, conditions that are akin to an actual battlefield. As such, I must ask that you call your fellow summoners to your side to arrange a location where you might join hands against a most realistic primal threat. Also, to be welcome to Captain Wolf. I shall see if his acolytes are available. Greetings, this is Demetra. I. Demetra. Well, the sons of St. Coinock? Aye. I have a favor to ask. Well, Captain Wolf was more than eager to accept that request. He even offered to arrange exclusive use of a section of Seal Rock. I'm using a couple of slash streams for that because of the relaxing music. Even with me scre screaming, piss shit, fuck damn it, cunt fuck, because I failed to jump, that was incredibly easy. Even with that in the midst of it. Seal Rock, which, that's one of the Frontlines maps. I can't remember which one it is. Wait, no I can, never mind. Since I've been actually waiting an all data flies to the island, try to run to view the landing once you're prepared then. Now realizing I don't know, location-wise, where Seal Rock is. Like, we know where Cartano is. Because it's, you know, near Mordona, and the cars don't fly. The other PvP maps, I'm realizing I don't actually know the physical location of them. I am at near Limsa. Uh, oh, so it's like, okay, so it's like Wolf's Den, where it's like an island off the side. Okay. This will be the final most grueling challenge. Pray ready yourself, mistress. And you're not reduced to so much fuel. Also, I've been streaming for long enough that my battery's starting to run, run low, which is sick, hype, cool, tits, fuck yeah. Hey, fellow Femro, fuck yeah. Make for all die when you're ready, Monica. Listen, some blood one. You mean that shit winning to take us to Seal Rock? Arr, arr, arr! As all the seals on the rock. Ha! Get it! Hey, fellow camera. Get it, Seal Rock! Ah! Everyone finds me so fucking funny and entertaining. As it all goes for um. Part of Limsa starting to line at 1.0. Oh! And then it just took them until they brought it back in front lines. Okay. Okay. Then why aren't we going to the I was about to say, why aren't we going to the airship landing in Limsa? Because we're dealing with people from the Immortal Flames. That would be why. <laughs> Same dialogue. I don't know about you, as a blowing, but my nerves are beginning to get the best of me. Captain Wolf and the others have already landed on Seal Rock, so it's not the delay to challenge any further. Who could that be? Oh, someone I judge Asamu. How might I? Pardon? By whom? What? Lieutenant, can you hear me? Oh no, what's going wrong? And Cartano on the ice one is part of Kurtha, so I got cut off between 1.0 and 2.0. Oh. 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 I was about to ask where the last one is, because there's one last one, but I'm now remembering that the name of that last one is like Onsel Hakea or something like that. I'm gonna have a wild feeling based on that name. We're probably going to run into it at some point during our adventure in Doma. Wild guess. It'll be mentioned at some point during Doma. <laughs> Given the name of it. Blast, the call was cut off. Isn't Blight went out. All moral colleagues are under attack! Oh shit. Situation sounds dire indeed. Also, I'm just by introducing out the lawful line fights to, um, to keep the foe at bay. Our plan battles become rather more real than we anticipated. Let's explain matters to the pilot and arrange a rescue party. This one's like an actual, for real, real duty. I'm pulling the pilot at once. Ambush, you say? Understood. I'm waiting to call for reinforcements. My ship is ready to part now, if you are. Shall we go in ahead? Let's fucking do this. And 
and summon all over them. Summon all over their faces. What do we actually get from level 70 summoner? Is level 70 summoner a straight up summon Bahama? This should be over this way. Look, it's PvP! It's PvP! Are you okay? It's Crispin, right? I think it's Crispin. I'll live, I think. The others. We became separate. These ones are not too serious. Come here, Sublime One. We must not tarry. Oh, what on earth is going on over there? What on earth is happening here? Separate? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, Separate shit's here? How? Well, this is, um, a development. This is most definitely a development. That's, um, Separate AG and lots of them. Lots of them! Was this part of Prin's plan? Did Prin set this up in advance to do this? We were told that we weren't allowed to know what was happening. Because Sephiroth is Alagon. Like, Sephiroth is one of the Warring Triad. That's a big one. That's a big one. Boy, you're still alive. Hey, Abbott! Such a organization. I have no record of AG speed. Okay, well, no. No, then. Can you please lock on to the Zephyr AG in a second? I'm probably gonna pop a shield. Just give me a sec, I'm gonna pop a shield. I'm gonna pop a shield. It's probably a wise idea. He's gonna get a shield up. There we go. And just murder these things with this. Ha! Astral Impulse. So you get Bahama, you get your burst window, and it's fine. Once you get your burst window, it's fine. I do like how once you get Dreadworm Trance, the burst window for Summoner completely fucking flips. Normally, your burst window is after you use Aether Flow and you get all of the um, the primals. Then you get Dreadworm Stance, and nope, your burst window becomes actually the Aether Giant itself. Completely have a match. The captain, he drew them away. What the fuck? fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening over here? Run! Run! Kill them all! Kill them all! They're doing bad things! Bam. Do this again. I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> there we go. Double ruin fall. Let's fucking go. Double ruin for. Get absolutely fucked. Oh god, there's still more of them! Oh god, run! Run, no! Don't die! Off center summoner? What is happening? Send the gods. I'm over here! Alright. Ah, the potential has arrived to test the limits of your power. Why is there so many evil summoners who want to do evil shit? How do we keep running into more of them as we do these quests? That said Alagon something, but I couldn't actually read what it said. It said Alagon something. Look, yeah, it's become. More! Show me more! Show me Bahamut's power, are you? You must have another taste! Uh oh. Oh, Dreadworm Trains. Awesome. Alagon Ruin. Okay, well, that's. That's near Alagon Bio. Okay. Yeah, Shinjit's going on down here. Oh, right, I have this. I forgot about this. I have the- right, I have a buff. I have an actual buff. I forgot about that. I actually get that now. It's the Asians! Fuck out of here. Get out of here! Die off-center summoner! Die! Eventually he'll go down, right? Surely, right? Oh, Jesus! Demi Wyverns! Okay. We got some new bullshit to deal with, it seems. Okay. These don't look like AG. No, these are just fucking dragons. You just actually summon dragons at us. I'm worried if they're Mercedes or not. I remember, I do have a shield. <laughs> I gotta remember, I do have a shield to summon them. And I should probably use it so I don't take a bunch of damage. Okay, the only others are dead. <laughs> We're back to dealing with you. 
consummate skill. Expand Aetherial Might. You're truly a fascinating person. What the fuck? Well, yeah, these are, yeah, that's Alagon technology. You can see the fucking capture thing around the neck. You can see the fucking thing that's around its neck. That's like the way they capture dragons. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is happening? Die! Can't avoid these flares. They seem to the sound of the blast. Which, yeah, you know, I'm definitely paying attention to. Don't worry. Definitely paying attention to that part of it. Don't worry. Totally getting that part accurate. I'll go on for life. My Andy's Wayne. The, this location was not ideal. What on earth are you doing? Fuck out of here, dickhead. It is concerning that we just have to deal with yet another fucking Alagon bullshit. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, my hair. Pulling out everywhere. Alagon ruin. Stand in towers of their shop. Oh, that's what it meant in the center. Oh, it was the towers. Anomalous potential confirmed. Commencing scan. Android? Latent ethereal capacity. Immeasurable. Send parameters succeeded. Reinitializing system. We're well and we're, we're, we're above what the Alagans could even possibly recognize. Wait, that was the Tomelith itself that was doing that. Was that the Tomelith itself that was analyzing us just then? What the fuck is happening? What, he wants to go have an, um, wants to go another round? Master Sari! Oh, okay, it's one of these situations. How have you come to be here? Alagons, man, they are fucked up! Alagons are fucked up! Master, surely you don't mean that, to mean that sorry. Ah, Prince Appear, they've awoken you. This should suffice. I mean, this could easily be a clone. We've already dealt with several situations of Alagon clones. Possibly Alagon Stasis, considering Crystal Tower as well. What did you do to Prin? The contract is unharmed. I simply added another layer of security. So don't disappoint me, Summoner. I will be waiting. How odd. The way he vanished was almost as if... It was a hologram? False oh, teeth! What was all that about? Teeth? Teeth? D d does Thal have teeth on his balls? That's a terrifying prospect. Bah, we'll discuss this back in old Darth who was seen to the wounded. So some bullshit's going on. That's what's happening. I feel Thal's hand on my shoulder for a moment there. Mr. Matrix's magic's rushed away. Thank you for coming to rescue our rescue. Last tape went something really weird to the fuck out. It's weirder than balls. Blood called up an army all by himself. I'm pretty sure some of them weren't AG. I mean, that kind of thing was even possible. That was like to a nightmare. What matter if someone can command so many AG at once? Someone Denise is greatly wounded. I'll be right but a step or two later. And she seems to be the most fucked up. No, don't examine the carbuncle. Dancing wolf. Grab the nick of the time, was in Blightwing. Thanks to my soul to survive that ambush, and I'll be fit for duty again after a bit of rest. I have a gratitude. You haven't plunged into the fray like that, we almost certainly would have perished. You said that bastard was Master Sari, didn't you? A son of ancient analog? Then made just some way coming back to life? Alright, Lieutenant, let's all jump to conclusions. Well, he was wielding something magic, sound like all we've ever seen before. Maybe Prin has some idea. I'll be sure to ask. Come here, Sim Blightwing. We must return to Gridania. It's fucked, basically. You made sure you surprised me once before with her cunning, but I knew in my gut that that ambush was not part of her agenda. It was too sudden, too brutal. Even worse, we're not sure who, um, of who our foe actually was. Yeah, same dialogue. Took it down, yeah. 
Some shit's happening. It could be a clone. It could be a clone. It could be in stasis, and then it's just finally come back. It could also be holographic projection. We're dealing with elegons. We kind of can't rule out really anything at this point. <laughs> it's hard to rule out anything. Hard to rule out anything. I hope can learn the screen of his personality. <laughs> just switch between the two, remember what? So it's suddenly expensive after venting unexpectedly. Like, it's already off the screen and I was in the middle of combat, I didn't read it. <laughs> what misfortune such an incident should occur on the cusp of your final challenge? Could be ancient Alakon facial moisturizing. <laughs> Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Alagon. What was meant to be a similar one's final trial was certainly testing, to say the least. Tell me, friend. How many seasons are sure that was Master Saru? Based on the evidence at hand, there can be no doubt. The vocal and ethereal signatures were identical to those exhibited by my creator. Okay, okay. The Aether was the same, too. Okay. The only answer that gives me pause is his behavior. Master Saru was never one to offer harm to others, such callous indifference. Uh, I would say this larger inconsistency you consider here, friend. Your grave supposedly died several thousand years ago. There is one other possibility. Grave reminds of Alagon of science known as cloning. Yeah. Or should I get an artificially created replicant of, of a living being? See, Rocky is, after all, construction of the Alagon Empire. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense why the tomeless and everything are there, but... Oh, okay, they just made the entire thing. Assuming the individual you battle is indeed a clone of Masari, then my senses would recognize no appreciable, um, appreciable difference. So the cloning can... So cloning... The Alagon cloning is so precise that it also clones, like, their ethereal signatures and stuff like that. Okay. Like, we knew it got their blood right because, um... Unai and Doga, um, Dogi were able to open up... Doga, sorry. They were able to open up the crystals out in the first place. So, like, they had the right blood there. But, uh, even Aether is concerning. Like, that means it's very, very, very spot on cloning, and Jesus Christ. Is that gonna be the original Persian? Would explain much, but the very thought of it is horrifying. I have witnessed it before, so it is possible. Alright, you did not tamper with your enchantments. Are you truly unharmed? My father is undimmed, but the wisdom I was to impart the mistress has been sealed behind an arcane lock. I can do nothing. Only my creator holds the key. Then your secrets are lost to us! Finally, some blind him been able to attempt that third challenge. Attempt? Mistress has already passed it. That was a real battlefield. Allow me to explain. Third challenge is a test of the summoner's nature. Thus does the trial require the presence of companions and a realistic threat. Masaru's ambush did, of course, bring an unexpected dimension to proceedings. Okay, so that's why it's an unfair test. It's a test whether you're actually willing to go through and, like, save people, help people, be a good person, etc. and stuff like that. And if you know about that beforehand, you can easily manipulate it and lie about it. Fair. Get yeah, Mistress slept to the um to the aid of her fellow summoners without hesitation. And brave considerable danger to see that they were safely rescued. Selfless acts that more than qualify Mistress as a worthy successor. And this is by the way, if you're wondering the story about how does how does Minifist slowly become a top, she likes hearing herself be called Mistress repeatedly. <laughs> Even if she doesn't understand the gender implications of it, she likes the sound of it, and she's heard it whispered in certain lesbian bars that exist all across the mist. I had wondered why power and skill aren't sufficient. Sorry, wish to see his teaching pass on to summoners of noble heart. Correct. He cannot countenance the idea that such knowledge might be put to evil ends, like Asians, or, or whoever Asians manipulate. Now you understand why his display of violence so confused me. Aye. And all the more reason to suspect an imposter. Whatever this man's ide identity may be, we'll track him down and make him remove that seal. The purpose is too important. And I'll assist you in any way I can. The master sorry that made me would not stand to see his memory profaned with such wickedness. And then Stellas' baby girl wants it. It's all down the drain. You are very correct. You are also incredibly correct on that regard. <laughs> Minifus would be a top to most people across the realm of Eorzea. It's just it just so happens that her partner is not one of them. <laughs> it just so happens that her partner is one where she's just like, all right. Alright, I'm bottom. I'm sub for this. <laughs> Sorry, I probably shouldn't be saying all of this in front of her fucking sister! Well said, friend. For enchanted sake of ink and parchment, you haven't impressed me developed moral compass. 
I need to possess um, morals nor compass. I'm really following my inspired directions to guide where these summoners. If I give the impression of such characteristics, may I have overset my balances of familiar? No, 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 you're fine, friend. Again, I mentioned that. That means that your is the toughest top of Aeosia. Let's have a good unearth more details regarding, um, um, detailed records of Master Sorry. I have a story of his later life will aid us in unraveling this present mystery. I was gonna say, the quests, there are physically less quests to get from 60 to 70 than there were, uh, 50 to 60. I don't know if that's gonna reduce how long they take, though. Though, I imagine not all of the job quests are going to have a literal book that tells you lore. It's probably not the best Michelle is up with it, um, from the Nash through her chest. No, probably also not for that. Probably also not when she's possibly about to fucking die. Probably not. Probably not. Almost fortunate that such an incident should occur on the cusp of your final challenge. Off the record. Mitra seems to have trouble making headway with her research. I searched through the usual histories, but I found scant mention of Sari. Just as Brenner said, records of his ex existence have been all but um, have but all been expunged. And since my knowledge is limited to the day I was stored away, we must rely on those lost Alagon records that escaped the purge. My colleague Grambrose may be able to help us there. Hardly a day goes by um past when his team does not um lift some forgotten treasure from the ruins of Bordona. Shall we pay him a visit? I imagine Moldona is just completely filled to the fucking room with Alagon stuff. Just because the Crystal Tower is right next to it. Given what the Crystal Tower is, given what it is, I imagine it was likely the centerpiece of, um, Alagon civilization. Like, once that fucking thing got finished, because Christ, look at it, I imagine all of, like, the primary thing of Alagon civilization was built around this. So everything here is just from that. I'm still confused by the Labyrinth of the Ancients, though. Labyrinth of the Ancients is just one of the things of Alagon, like, stuff that we deal with, that just feels decidedly not very Alagon. Like, given everything that we've seen about Alagon stuff, the Labyrinth of the Ancients is a weird one. So my thought process is, is that, was, was that, like, were the people, were the Alagons that built the Labyrinth of the Ancients, were they, like, the of the age that also when they used pen and paper to write and stuff like that? Or are the Labyrinth of the Ancients something that is from ancient for Alagons and it's from a previous astral era and then Alagons built stuff on top of it and adopted whatever was already in there into their evolution of technology and stuff like that. Because out of everything, everything that we see for Alagon technology is very similar to each other, except for Labyrinth of the Ancients, which is fucking weird. Because it's like, way more prehistoric. But I mean, it does say ancients, but still. But Tyson tries to protect his arm. Um, um, as because of his friends, more personality. Well, Rex is more aggressive, but a bit reckless. Obviously, Rex is friendly um, as well as he does. But if anyone tries to harm my boyfriend, I'll go fucking feral mode. Mine first tried to do that, and then she got her nose cut off. But not off, but you know. Ah, hello, Sam Lowen. This is explaining our dilemma to Rambrose here. You may trust inform me of your search, and I shall be certain to contact you should our discoveries, including any mention of this. Sorry. There may however be a swift way to acquire the information you seek. I know of a certain merchant who collects undeciphered tombstones with even greater zeal than the sons of St. Coinark. Ah, you speak of Rowena. <laughs> Aye, we have formed something of a symbiotic relationship with her consortium. In return for financing our excavations, we provide Rowena with a selection of our finds. I'm sure you'd find her amenable to her request for assistance. We're gonna, we're gonna need fucking poetics to continue this goddamn job quest. After all, you would merely uh, need to borrow her tombstones for a time, yes? Here, I've been delighted when personal reassurances that her stock will be returned, none the worse for wear. One was right when, um, was, um, all in one was when it was collapsing, right? So maybe close to the Crystal Tower. I'm not sure what part you're referring to. What are you referring- I'm not sure what you're referring to, sorry. There's either a sentence is missing in that, or I'm completely missing the point of what you're actually saying. My brain hurts. When the book was written, compared to Crystal Tower. And that has to do with the Mon... Sorry, I just have no idea how you're connecting Mon to any of this. I feel like there's a leap that you've made that logically makes sense that my brain can't put together. I have no idea what you're, what you're talking about. 
I'm sorry, but I've got no fucking clue. Your friend Rosetta, yes. I'll let you do the haggling. Uh, what can I do for you? I have a polite request to borrow time stones, penned by the meticulous hand of Rambos and a desk of Rowena. See if the back of old Rambos, eh? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to lend you some of my time stones. How uh, do you want better than let you buy the transcripts? Because he describes the ironworks. As books, they're a damn sight heavier, but you don't need fancy machines until penned down in ink and parchment. The book was written during their collapse, and if I recall correctly, I'm almost the emperor during the collapse. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I understand what you mean. I understand what you mean, okay. Okay. Uh, no, wasn't it Zand? Didn't, well, clone Zand? Wasn't clone Zand the one who was the emperor when shit went fucked? When... Because Amon cloned Zand and then brought Zand back, and it was Zand's coming back that caused him to go into a full nihilist kill everything mode. And that was when it collapsed, right? Like, that was when the. That was when the Dalin would and did all that stuff, right? Amon was the one who cloned. Um. Zand. Which then does make me wonder if the Amon that we fight in Crystal Tower is also a clone. Considering otherwise, how. Well, I guess stasis as well. We know it can do stasis. Alright, cool, Gradley. Uh, things were fucked with the monster. So he cloned the great form of Emperor Zand, but it made things worse. Yeah, because cloning Emperor Zand brought Zand back and was just like, huh, I was dead, now I'm not. But that just makes me want everything dead instead. <laughs> you may summarize the contents when you finish. I'll consider that as payment. Clyde is a part of more coin if they know what they're getting. My time's too precious to waste on reading ancient, ancient history. Consider a deal, Rowena, and thank you. Well, listen, my one, shall we get to work? Reading! Reading! I like how you've just gone back over here. <laughs> oh, we got. Okay, wow, that's a. Wow. <laughs> this is the light version, eh? This is the light version, eh? These four giant books. Fancy that, brother. We can skim the very first volume. There are some promising passages. Let us wake Bryn and share our findings, shall we? <laughs> and so you, Mitra and, and Minifus, spent the afternoon reading, not thinking about how their sister and partner were almost about to die. I tried to do something on my phone, and then I just ruined everything on my phone instead. Ah, oh, Rambos! If you come check in, um, on our progress. This charming term is Principia, a sentient familiar of, um, ancient analog. A pleasure to meet you, Master Rambos. Probably call me Print if you prefer. Thank you, Print. And might I say what a privilege it is to meet such a rare and clever construct. And so you meet your spent afternoon teaching fuck this how to read ancient analog. Hey, these were already transcripted by someone. Though, were they transcripted into analog? I don't know, actually. Clever. Well, yes, apparently print was written that way. But we were just hoping to hear an opinion on a new snippet of information I've uncovered. Tools an order listed in the record of an Imperial military communications, commanding that the fruits of the Master Summoner's research be seized. Because that the army had more than a passing interest in Sara's experiments. Hmm. What exactly was the purpose of this research? Master Sara toiled towards summoning magics with etherochemical technology. For example, he experimented with re um, replacing grimoires with mechanical mediums and sought to manifest AG of greater authenticity by utilizing high speed computations. This is turned the machines into um, enhanced traditional summoning methods. Is that the gist of it? Correct. But Master Sara is never one to abuse the success of his experiments, no matter how they make the party's power. He did not place his trust in machines. Their inherently complex nature was too prone to error, he said. The days of his communications indicate a time in the latter half of Sara's life. Is it possible something could have occurred between crafting you and the execution of this order that may have greatly altered the summoner's outlook? There was, of course, the violent wave of anti summoner sentiment that swept through Alog. It claimed lies of many of Master Sara's disciples. Following their deaths, he began spending much of his time closer to within his laboratory. Such an could certainly be responsible for changing the mend. And Rinsabio, you are unaware of subsequent events once you go into slumber, yes? From what we've learned so far, it's safe to say that the foe we encounter is related to Sarah's research in some way. 
And there are likely more clues buried in these records. I shall speak with Captain Wolf and ask to borrow the sharp minds if he's summon a squad. It's a rather intimidating part of tackle on our own. Well, seeing as you have the transcripts, no need to travel far. You're welcome to make use of my tent and the reference materials on Alec found therein. That'd be enormous help. Thank you. Let's hold these books to the dig site, shall we? Throw them over our shoulder and drag them into the fucking way. To the dig side! Hey, Radovan. We'll speak to you in the future, Radovan, but I think it's really far away before we actually speak to you. Again. Like, I literally. From what people were saying before, it's either once we start or finish Shadowbringers that we will actually talk to Radovan again. It's either once we start it, we can talk to him again, or once we finish it. <laughs> I think it was finishing. I think it was finishing. I think it was finishing because I think it required completion of the quest Shadowbringers. So it'll be a while. Finish, yeah. It'll be a hot minute. <laughs> so I don't dislike this matter of task, but I never tire of dredging through pages that transport um <laughs> ones of the past. Books. You like books? You're doing some of a job quest, so I assume you'd like books. Ignoring all that um that ain't to do with the military. It's more efficient to have a narrow focus, I reckon. These elegant records like to make my skull burst. I mean portals to other worlds, forging new moons. And it's not even fiction. I love how both of our moons are fucked up. Isn't that fantastic? How both moons of the fucking Hydaland are fucked up? Best post shadow bring a show would just be gone through all the level 80 jump quest. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I summoned a colleague's arrived with the swiftness after I laid the mail request. Because while well, they seem recovered from their injuries. With everyone pitching in, we sent a good chance of finding something useful. <laughs> Reading. Manifest, you can read. Read something. <laughs> ah, here's the bugger I was looking for. This is record when the military finally got it was sorry. It says here that someone was found dead, killed by someone else, it seems. And we approve original Sari's demise in the third actual era. Now there remains a question of who or what attacked us in it in this age. My gun is on one of those clone creations. Say, oh, more to the story, Lieutenant. I guess I'm going to scrap out the Imperial Army to go for Sari's research. Lauding his experiments as exceptionally dangerous, but right with potential applications. They shifted operations on artificial island soon after and began practical testing. One cataclysmic accident later, though, and that was the end of that. So they, so they realized that Sari's experiments were practical for fighting reasons and stuff like that. So they cloned Sari to make use of his knowledge and ability to control it, but made sure that that Sari was like, hey, he, he, I'm Alagon and evil. That doesn't sound the Alagon Empire at all. <laughs> what? The Alagon Empire was started to do some experimental bullshit and then everything blew up and everything got fucked? That would never happen to the Alagons. I don't know what you're talking about. This artificial line must be a reference to Seal Rock. The very side of our with the present day Sari. During the battle, my creator simulacrum exhibited uh, um, the ability to summon multiple AG simultaneously, as well as manifest highly authentic facimili uh, facimiles, facimiles of flesh and blood entities. The base of every research um, for every one of these unlocked blocks techniques can be traced back to Master Sari's research into a machine-enhanced summoning. So I have enough evidence for a working theory then. Remember that the elegant military was using a clone of the deceased Sari to perform hazardous experiments, to explore the feasibility of aetherochemically bolstered summoning metrics. When we landed on Seal Rock, must have somehow awoken the remnants of those experiments. A summoner like mind of us showing up there. Actually, no, I guess when they showed up, because they started being attacked first. Well, we have solved the mystery of who the attacker was, but now I would know the place where he fled. What refuge exists for such a being? From what I can gather, the results of Sarah's work were bundled off to some secret laboratory called the Aetherochemical Research Facility. Hey, I know that place. And she, and minor business is immediately like, oh fuck no, oh fuck no. You know this miss place, miss. Is it far? Uh, up, up, very up. As is law. Well, that's where the keeping Sarah's research, and it's possible the claim may have headed there. I suppose we'll fly back to Seal Rock and make further investigations. Relics of the past may hold some hint we haven't yet to considered. Excellent idea, thank you. We shall return to Gridania for the time being. Ah, okay, that's another quest. Okay, that's another quest to go down. <laughs> to go there. As his law awaits. My brain has latched on to certain phrases that characters have said in this game in the stupidest way possible. There are just certain phrases that I just repeat 
that aren't even that big or that meaningful. But my brain has latched onto them with an iron fucking grip and just goes, you must repeat these whenever it is slightly possible or feasible to do so. As I've been waiting for a very long time. As this law really, 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 really fucking waits. Like, out of all of the parts of Gaius's speech, like, the such devastation, things being glib, and stuff like that, what are the lines that stick in with, uh, in my head? The way he goes, in Eorzea. Or the, or, creeping land of mendacity. Like, those are the lines of Gaius that stick in my brain. And not the, not the most memeable shit of, like, such devastation! No, no. Creeping land of mendacity and in Eorzea. Oh, also, tis not but a cobweb of lies. Also that. That also sticks in my brain. The simulacrum of Master Sorry is also shape my creator's will. I shall offer it no quarter. It is all in the wisdom within my pages. <laughs> I've seen an update from Get the Wolf regarding their investigations in the Seal Rock. I assume certain, um, that certain of the Argon relics have shown signs of recent activation. The mechanism is too heavily damaged to offer more in the way of useful information, however. We must break this Azus Lar facility and search for Sari ourselves. That's what I was hoping for when he said, I'll be waiting. It is possible. They don't think the detail important at the time. But looking at my Sari Simulacrum was not of the strictest tier. Rather, the seal was one which fades upon the seal's demise. Then he was goading us into fighting and defeating him? Not the challenge. Or is it simply a trap? I'm not fond of rushing into the unknown. Go to yourself for the worst, it was implied when. And I'll learn the present circumstances of the research facility. If you find a sword with an... With, well, I guess I was about to say if you find a sword with an eye in it, but no, the eye's not in there anymore. So never mind. So never mind. I was gonna say if you find a sword with the eye of Nidhogg in it, be careful. There's a Laha Brayer in it. But also, that eye was then recovered by Elidibus, and then given to Ilbert, and then turned into a dragon. Which I would like to point out, we've still. We just left. We just left Girabanya without actually finding out anything about Shinryu or Omega. We just left without... That was our the original reason that we actually went through the wall, was to find those things. But then we were just like, oh, these people probably should have a revolution, we should probably do that. Then that failed, and I feel like we completely forgot about, you know, the elegant robot and the giant fucking primal dragon that are somewhere. Maybe they really, really fought in Torma, you don't know. <laughs> Let's just hope that one of them didn't land in fucking Garlemald itself. I guess it doesn't I guess it doesn't have to land in Garlemald for them to capture it. What that's what's gonna happen. One of them has landed over in Doma, and the Viceroy there has it, and then one's landed in Alamigo and the Viceroy there has it. <laughs> We're gonna go around checking every nation. Have you seen a giant robot or a giant dragon? Like fall into your laps. Um, what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you don't know what we're talking about, then you don't know what we're talking about. It seems like a must-sorry sort of so my craze will. I shall offer- oh, that's time to- I meant to talk to you, Major. An arm for the living. Yeah, we get straight up summon Bahamut for this. We just actually get summon Bahamut. So, yeah, it summons it to fight my target. Then we will execute Worm Wave automatically. Um, and does that. Okay. Increases enmity in target when Demi Bahamut is summoned. Oh, okay. That's an interesting thing. So, Summon Bahamut is basically... So, Summon Bahamut basically gives us Dreadworm Trance, but it doesn't attack when we summon it. Because the other... The AGs, when you summon them, they do an attack as they get summoned. Dreadworm Trance doesn't do that. So, is that the main difference here? For Summon Bahamut? Like, obviously... To make make um, its targeting easier. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So, so it can actually attack what it needs to. Okay. But, like, from a functional standpoint, obviously, we go to Bahamut AG as opposed to just invoking ourselves with the power of Bahamut. But from a practical standpoint, it just means now when we summon it, we do damage with Bahamut and not just from the attacks that we are given during it. I learned all this if you learned about the research facility. Time is coming to make our move. From my sister and her colleagues have told me, how did your sister tell you? The laboratories are housed in an extremely dangerous quadrant of Azizlar. 
will not want to wander around inviting trouble, but rather plot the swiftest and safest route to our destination. Hop on the back of my chicken and I will fly you there. Or my dragon. There should be a terminal somewhere that allows us to pinpoint the section where Cyrus research is being sought. Once we arrive on Isis Love, finding such a terminal will be our highest priority. Ah, inform Captain Wolf of our forecoming expedition. He says that he and his summoner squad provide us with support. Let us make ready and meet them at here. As a slow. So I could finally chose a more distant place to take refuge. <laughs> anyway, as his law is known to me. Its facilities were contracted by the oppressors in the military. However, so I was never welcome there. <laughs> I never got to go there because it's filled with dickheads. As his law awaits. I, did, I had to see what that would sound like in um, if I spoke it into the water bottle. And it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey everyone! The squad is back. Have these ruins truly existed for thousands of years? It's also bright and sharp. There's a lot of nodes that go around gleaning everything. Like so many of the so many fucking nodes. They're based on my West Nines in the Shalong Rounds up here. I don't think they would have contained in the days when the Alagans yet worked at this facility. So, some stuff here is broken. The, no the nodes are more focused on making sure everything is clean rather than making sure all the, the beasts are contained. This is what you get when your fusil came with the mechanical. Neither is diminished by the result. Whenever I turn, there's a new one though. Catch myself ten times to, already just to be sure I was awake. Hey look, we found another person doing jump quests. That's still even more fantastical than I can. We mustn't let ourselves be distracted by the scenery. We should fan out and search for a control panel of some description. We can use that the plan simplest right to our objective, yes. Hopefully. Aye, right, then we plunge ahead, swift and sure, and bring an end to this bastard clone. That is my intention. It is important to know, however, that we've yet to determine if our enemy is truly a clone or not. Even our official copy would appear as a living, breathing being. The menu fought on Seal Rock seemed almost otherworldly. I'm inclined to agree with you, Yumitra. No matter who he is, we need to slay him to live Prince Seal. Job remains the same. Now I can tell just what okay, the beast engages. They've just not been doing their jobs lately. For some reason. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the soldiers that do that, not the nodes. The nodes are focused on cleaning duty. They're janitorial stuff. The janitorial so stuff survived the apocalypse. The soldiers, not quite much. True enough. Then we should first focus on finding our terminal. Do some black wind, if you would. Pray search around the base for the warring triad statues. Give me guard up. Sorry knows we're coming. He may be prepared to walk. Am I just going? Am I just going to the thing that we know goes to the Aetherochemical Research Facility? Is that where we're just going? I feel like we're just going. There. We're just going there. We know where the Aetherochemical Research Facility is. I can just go there. Okay. Okay. All is about trying to find it. Meanwhile, my is just like I've been there before. I I I committed regicide in there that one time. We killed fucking three different, like, ancient primals from the third actual era there, too. So I don't know if that's technically the Aetherochemical chemical research facility. They were, like, contained themselves. But it's all part of the flagship. It's all part of the same flagship. Do you reckon the people were building this ship and everything that it looks like and everything that it is? Do you reckon if they ever wondered that if they were the bad guys when they were building all of this? Do you reckon that thought process ever crossed their mind? that they were the bad guys. Probably not, eh? Probably not. I'm noticing these wings here. I was about to say, what the fuck was that? There's like wings sticking out of it. There's another, as if not actually part of the war and cry. It's just wings. Oh, I am going on. Oh! Oh, you're the other person who's doing the summoner stuff. Oh. Sorry if I got people pissed off at you as well. Sorry. I'm gonna kill some things? Fuck yeah, let's go. Hell yeah, it's good. <laughs> Once again, we've run into a person doing the job quest. Though it's not the person that we saw before, so. I mean, they were a filthy dialogue skipper, so they, got, they, they finished, finished it an hour ago. I believe you would be the first to find me, unless someone would have been slain. Hello? There's some black one. Sorry's clone! It's here! 
Yeah, fo focus right on her boobs that are exposed there. Clone, ah, you seek to explain my existence. An understandable theory, but I am far more than one of those clumsy creations. You had best abandon this full of perception, lest it lead you down the path to failure. I shall wait you inside, potential. You'll pass my test, your true final challenge. We will die never knowing what I truly am. Bye. False teeth, he's gone again! Did you see that it's in Boy, Boy, he vanished. It's akin to this missile of a summoned entity. It really is. It very much is. The motherfucker is it is itself a fucking like fucking, um AG. See, is any some sort of AG? One what's wearing Sari's face? How can it look so solid and well alive when it's boosted by machinery? With the aid of computational machine, it would be theoretically possible to reconstruct Aether to a near perfect graphical of Sari's corporeal form. He was summoned using a machine. Correct. Masaru's research developed mechanical substitutes for grimoires. But the lieutenant is standing right next to the, um, uh, is standing right in front of one. Nothing yet. This thing, eh? Looks a bit like them tomeliths on Seal Rock. Oh, they were, um, they was much bigger. Gods, can the bugger pop up anywhere one of these things? Um, what, there's one of these devices. Aye. I think we can now simply assume that this Sari is the product of enhanced summoning magic. But answer lies, it's with another question. If Sari is the AG, then who is the summoner? Even if the Grimoire is replaced by a machine, there must still exist the one who commands it. Gotta find the master then. If we don't squash the summoner, the bastard will just bring the Sari AG back again and again and again. Whoever the bastard may be, he or she must be concealed somewhere nearby. Stop gendering things. Confuses my fist. And any will always be summoned within a certain distance of the summoner. Even machine enhanced techniques can also circumvent this basic principle. That our antagonist chose not to make an appearance on Seerox suggests a reluctance to expose oneself to direct harm. Is it just you, Prent? <laughs> In this location, ever with so many computational devices near hand to hand, I expect the first R will be significantly bolstered. So this age will be even stronger than the last time. All more and take down the summoner quickly before we're swamped by ethereal horrors. There we go. <laughs> well, I've brought a little device that should help. An aetherometer. Um, I brought it from my sister, Stola. This all happens after Stola exits critical care, I imagine. If I can detect the right currents, it should lead us straight into a to a hidden enemy. Excellent, you made job. That might make all the difference, right? Let's be about this then. Summon a squad, take the van and clear the way forward. I guess your shoulder doesn't need the aetherometer anymore, considering, you know, it's her vision. I've been waiting for the chance to prove ourselves. Yes, focus on finding summer and we'll sweep aside the dregs. We have a plan, please. We have a game plan. Whatever support you need, miss, well, we're here to give it. Not leave till you busted that summoner's head and gotten the rewards you damn well deserve. <laughs> We're gonna ask for a more dramatic locale for a final confrontation. Should we all survive this? We'll have to tell, tell our barrack mates. Hey, sis, can I borrow your Aether meter? You're not responding, so I'm just gonna say it's good. What the fuck? I've been idle since the last debacle, miss. I'm gonna show you the results of our training. Go forth and take this deposit, mistress. The wizard my creator belongs to you. Summoners so gobble seats with a whip, clear path through the facility. Let us move swiftly. Repay their dedication with a resounding victory. Ready for round two, some blood wind. The tunnels provide us with a direct route to the research storage arm chamber. We're gonna rip this facility, rip through this facility and take Cyrus clone apart. There's an ethereal entity capital, not a clone. And I must point out that your true objective is the summoner rather than the servant. Right, right, I knew that. As we plan then, summoner squad front and center. Carve is in blood when I path through. Aye, Captain. You may try. You're in charge of finding whoever's pulling this imposter Sari strings. Let's do this! Leroy! <laughs> Alright, time to dive back into more fucking elegant bullshit. Hey, buddy. Wonderful. You've done well to make it this far. Summon that has to be around here somewhere, you Mitro. Use your gadget. I'll buy you some time. We're gonna need to remove the seal that you put on Principia. Do as you ask, and we can all, <laughs> all end this peacefully. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm afraid I can't do that. To do so would run contrary to the purpose for which I was created. Surely now you've come to realize my true nature. 
You are an agent in the form of my creator. An existence made possible through a fusion of summoning magic and a thero-chemical technology. While Master Sari was the last of the great summoners of Alug, you are not more than an elaborate imitation. You are no match for the summoner who now stands before you. Stop out 9,000... <laughs> 9,000 us. Can you tell when I talk for nine hours straight? My words are... Very good, but your conjecture has missed the mark. <clears throat> what I am is a defense mechanism that is capable of self-enhancement in order to combat ever greater threats. Shall I phrase this in simple terms? In the event that I encounter a presence with a greater potential than Sari, I'm compelled to harness the potential through main force and compose its aether into a new, a new guardian entity. You mean to kill a simple? I want to make an AG of the Warrior of Light? Drop on with that. Over rich in understanding? A peaceable conclusion to this encounter was never forthcoming. Don't summon me! Don't do that! Don't summon me! Don't summon the Warrior of Light! Don't do that! That's called being a dick! His reasoning is broken down. Your deeds have saved countless lives and will continue to do so. How can one justify killing you, Mistress? When you embody the very principles for which summoning magic was invented? You made sure. Any luck finding that summoner? This finished tracing the threads. The camouflage is impressive, but I'm still shocked that we missed something of that size. Our true enemy is up there! Oh! Oh, it's a giant node. The better you part is more likely of a dick than summoning you after the fact. Both. Both a dick. Dick wins. How absurd of you! You have uncovered Master Summon Asara's greatest masterpiece. An artificially sentient ev evocation matrix. The complex- Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. The complexity of my design simply cannot be compared to the primitive principles used in Prince of Pierre's construction. Oh, no. They're getting Power Ranger colors! Your defeat is inevitable. So why did Sari make this? Or is this the result of Alagun work to use Sari's technology? Tough talk for an aging machine whose logic channels have obviously bristled with disuse. Mistress, might you and your companions dispose of this unsightly and unsimly amalgamation of refuse? <laughs> You've pissed off the book. It is now time to die. <laughs> oh, we have music going. We have music going. Yeah, music, let's go. We can afford no missteps. I'll try my best. Oh, this is like Ethereum Chemical Research Facility uh, remix. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, did I? Or oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. The actual individual ones are really easy to kill. Okay, it all it comes down to this thing. Okay, it comes down to this thing. This is the thing that we've actually got to kill. Okay. Yeah, they're going down in a pin. Bam, bam. Potential, um, I'm confirmed in the Bizarre Attack of Aether Recall Runs Constitution. Evocation reinitialized. Oh, wow, okay, well that's, okay, so that's what's happening. Okay. There's more than in things! When does it end? Everything is everywhere! This is, uh, the machine appears to overwhelm you. Or it's trying to overwhelm you, whatever the words are. Ah, die! You're fucking ruined! my bus window when we get a to attack it again. But like, really bus window this shit. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, that's, that's something. It's something to Minotaur. Get, it's a Tom Swing, get out of the way! <laughs> Summoning Minotaurs at us now, what the fuck? Get out of here! Or you die! Ha ha ha. Exterminate hostile Luminous. Exterminate! Exterminate! Dance strike! Dance strike! Oh god! What the fuck did it summon? FX1979? 
So recognize these legitimate threats. Primary defective sovereign means to destroy you by any means. So I'm just gonna absorb me now, it just needs to kill me because what the fuck am I? Oh god, it's laying down traps and mines everywhere. Oh god, I'm hit by Bio. Don't like that. What the fuck is this thing? What is it even summoned at us? Oh, there's still, there's still one of them over here. Oi, get this one. There we go. There we go. We're breaking it. Energy out, energy out, energy out. She's out of control. One last push and victory will be ours. Can we still hide it? Oh, we can still hide it. I was trying to summon Sid. Oh, there's seven. Oh, we can't fight all of them. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Gelling mass. What on earth? It's just, it's just, it's summoning a bunch of ones that are like half corporeal. It can't actually summon everything, so it's summoning like half baked ones, but it's just summoning them on fucking mass. Oh Christ! Unexpected error. Unexpected error. Kill it before it kills us. Hey! We did it! We defeated the best villain of any jump quest. Giant Bowl. Never dad, you mistress. That's just we now exit this unpleasant place. The true villain of the jump quest. Bowl. So a machine people I started with something in age will look like sorry. The Malaguns didn't seem much use for the line betwixt idea and reality, did they? Congratulations, Miss. I remember all the streams that I imagined a thinking machine would could be the villain behind all this chaos. Which I'm going to be seeing your victory first hand. This thing stood well too far to get the busy rest of facilities hostiles have made. Is that the fabled Thal's ball? An inspiring triumph, mistress. The coordination with Lady Matri and Captain Wolf was truly a thing of beauty. We did it. We killed that robot so fucking hard. A stunning victory is in Blightwood. We've won the day, but Captain Wolf wishes to stay behind and conduct a thorough search. Tom was still too dangerous to wander around alone, but. Well, the captain is a stubborn man. Not to worry though. If all should happen, we'll soon charge off to arm um, to the arm um, to fight at his side. Captain Wolf will call us if he needs us. Hey, we should be celebrating here. Does that mean Prince Seal is now broken? Mitra's um success is indeed something to be celebrated. I was not proud to experience emotion, but I do feel a certain rustle of satisfaction in my pages. Once you've mastered my and mighty techniques, you'll be stronger than ever. Well, I think rather. <laughs> well, I think I'd rather learn by your example anyway. Instead of from musty scrolls written by some long dead Alagon summoner. Our book is helping us. Don't be a dick to the book. It is in hopes of achieving such an outcome that I work for my slumber. Yata summoning us for the living, as my creator was once so fond of declaring. This is Blightwing, friend. Let us say our farewells for the moment. Thank you for your aid, everyone. We couldn't have done this without you. Gotta focus on the man chest. And the woman chest. And the Lala chest. <laughs> Why is it when it focuses on those three, their heads are always like slightly off camera? Why can it not focus on those three correctly? <laughs> it can't pace the ca space the camera for them properly. New dialogue? No, it is new dialogue. Wait, you mean yes, it is new dialogue. I think at least if you're summoning now, next time we meet, I mean to be eagle in your heart. <laughs> machine can, um, was using machines to summon AG. Can you even call that magic anymore? Or is it just another form of technology? <laughs> Wait with the captain. I'm glad to assist you in the main battle. I'm proud that we contributed to your success. Gridania. Gridania's this one. Yeah, it's a hunting mage armor. I'm not the biggest fan. Ah. But you get a cloak that shows off boobs ever so slightly. For immortal flames. Oh, okay. Eight. Hey. Oh. Stars of love. Ignore me. As you should do most times when I'm streaming. Ignore me. Ignore me and everything that I am. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Well, let's go do this. See how goddamn ugly the armor is. Because it's summoner gla um, glams. And I don't like them at all. And then what should I call it for the day? Welcome back, mistress. It is almost that time. Complete a thorough investigation of the research facility before I left. My finds were worth time in danger, I think. Welcome back, Houston Blightwind. 
Yeah, I'm only meant to face three challenges. We're not chasing your prize into the heavens themselves. Nice way of development which you handle with the exceptional grace, mistress. And now at long last, I can finally bequeath you the highest secrets of summoning. Pray step forward. Way! I got buffed! Fuck yeah. Woo! What did you do? Momentous occasion. The wisdom of the last of Alex Master Summoner is yours. A you depart to explore your newfound powers, however. Have Morph has a report for us. You can explain much of what occurred on Nazi's law. Alright, well I wanted to be sure that the machine was truly undone. After poking around inside, I discovered a number of soul crystals. According to Principia, they belong to Sari's disciples. Captain also honored the tombstone containing undoctored records of that age. It was seen that the following, um, following the murder of his students, Sari became increasingly bitter. He began to doubt that the future could be safely entrusted to the capricious whims of mortals. As then he explored other methods by which new generations might be safeguarded from the threat of primals, and committed himself to atherochemical research. Okay. As you may have surmised, the evocation matrix of the end result of Master Sari's toil. Drawing on its embedded soul crystals and unrivaled computational power, this terrible invention was capable of manifesting a veritable host of ethereal avatars. Once he was satisfied with his work, Sari commanded um, the machine to act as civilization's mightiest guardian, and then he killed himself. His ethereal essence was absorbed, and the formidable AG was added to his invention's arsenal. So now you know the truth of it. What a price to pay to ensure the art of summoning survived until tomorrow. What the kind of bit of these disciples. What are you meant to preserve their soul crystals in their stead? If that, w if that was where his intention, he chose the wrong way to achieve it. Print here is the embodiment of hopeful ideals of Sarah's younger self. The murderous machine of his lady is the product of frustration and anger and grief. Hey, go for the book. Woo! Ah, uh, what do we do with the crystals? We're gonna risk them falling into the hands of another villain like Tristan. You can train up more recruits! If you wish, I could swallow the crystals and hold them safe until another era has need of them. My enchantments would ensure that they pass only into the hands of the worthy. Swallow? You mean to eat them? Why do you think I have tea? Fear not, Captain. I've no doubt Destiny tried the witches speak. And now that I've in, uh, instructed Mistress in the wisdom of Alog, this I shall be the last time before my era returned to slumber. Wait, so this is farewell? Correct. Or maybe perhaps more appropriately. Good night. As a familiar, I was not in spell to experience loneliness. I was, however, written with the knowledge that it is not it is best not to draw out a parting of ways with needless sentimentality. Her tears for you, then, Apron. Summoning magic was created to combat the threat of the, threat of the primals. The ideal world is one which I never need to awaken again. Wield the art well, is in love, mistress. Aww. And the book slumbers. And the book slumbers. Now we can read it without it biting off our hands. Aranea Summoners, um, being DB. DB. Don't know what DB means in this context, sorry. Off the dreamline, just like that. I suppose Prince's purpose is served, and that's the same as happiness to a familiar. Speaking of service, serving one's purpose, I think it's time I took my leave. Aye, the task of tomorrow beckons to us all. Let us do what we may, so that Brim might rest peacefully for many years to come. The neck is out. Hey! So we get the gear? The Megaton. And then we get Bahamut. We gotta, we gotta at least save Bahamut. Alright, so I'm just only exist to get rid of problems, but you need problems to create them or something like that. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. We gotta show off the crystal now. There we go. This concludes the Stormblood quest. You must beat Shadowbringers. And once we beat Shadowbringers, then we can do more of it. Transgage expanded. Oh, cool. You add a thing that just ruins its layout entirely. Cool, thanks. Cool, thanks. Love that for us. The first caller. Upon learning it on the train, Hans Dem- um, good one, trains. Possible summon Demi Bahamut to fight at your side. Summoning uh, Demi Bahamut also grants you Ruby Arcanum and those. Trans schedule will indicate Demi Bahamut's time remaining on the battlefield, during which Ruin 3 will be upgraded to Astral Impulse, I was Astral Flare, and Astral Flare to Death Flare. So 
this is the damage. Mm. It is. Sh it Oh, yeah, it was his out of my HUD. A little picture. That's the ethical gauge. Trans gauge. There, there we go. Now it's like, now it has to be like over. There we go. And then we can move ethical flow gauge. Actually, you know what? Fuck. It. I'm gonna put the ethical flow gauge next to these, so I actually see whether I do or don't have them. The next to the other ones. Now. There we go. Now it's a bunch of crystal next to each other. Now the picture is fancy. Um. Okay. We're gonna go fight something. We're gonna go fight something, and then we're gonna call it a day. And then we will, then we shall call it a day. I just all we need to do is summon it. <laughs> all we need to do is summon it. But because we're gonna at least see it, we can now summon Bahama and the armor. There is also the armor. Yes, I also need to put on the armor. <laughs> Job armor usually looks terribly bad, and I don't like almost all of it, so I keep forgetting it exists. Let's just head into the shroud and just murder the poor unsuspecting bastard mobiles that are over here. If I even spawn near the mobiles. I did not. I spawned near the toadstools. Wait, no. No. There's the Halios droppers over here. These things pissed me off so much early on in the game in the game. I'm gonna murder the fuck out of them right now. Prepare to eat shit, giant Marlboro motherfucker. But I gotta get new digs for it first. We gotta put on our new decks. Uh, summon a book. Which is summon a book? Antiquated Lemegaton. We also have to actually. I do have to keep the book. Uh, decent. Um, Mount Jabama. It just sucks that they're class locked. I I do. I this is the this is the thing. Saying the word antiquated makes me think that it's probably what it is. Dench has warned me about this. Probably also you, Deku. I have to keep this, don't I? I have to keep the book because this is the thing that becomes a relic, right? This becomes a relic, so I do have to hold on to it. Okay, everything here is called antiquated. Wow, that is ugly as sin. Wow, that is fucking terrible. God, I hate this. God, I hate this so much. God, it's so bad. I fucking despise it. Keep the um, weapon, theoretically, the armor, but you can get them back from Calamity Salvager. Wait, the armor too? It, it is all called antiquated. Is there relic armor now? That's what Sario was wearing. And that would explain why it's ugly as sin. Is there relic armor? I like the boots and the arms. Which part is the armor? It's getting awfully close there. Oh, the armor is like the cuffs there. I mean, the boots are kind of all right. They're a bit chunky. I like the boots if I could wear them on white mage. I know what you mean about the job block thing. Anyway, some Bahamut. Bahamut! Bahamut! Bahamut's not attacking. Oh. Oh. Wait, how does it work? I'm now I'm, I'm now not actually sure how this works. Got sounds so couldn't do magic. Give me another 13 seconds. When I did whatever that new attack was, what is that attack? I did Ark Morn, I saw that. But what is that? Oh, in Kindle Bahamut. Orders Demi Bahamut to execute Ark Morn. Oh, so I already had this skill because I couldn't summon Bahamut. I couldn't do it. Oh, so that just makes it do a fuck ton amount of damage. Oh, okay. So it does so it does worm wave on its own, which does a little bit of magic. And then I So summoning it, I so summoning it, I get two giant things. I get Ark Morn as the giant thing, and I also get Death Blur. So basically, this thing will go around doing attacks on its own for the time that it's around. And also, I get another off-global to use while it's summoned. 
Oh. Okay. So now when I summon Bahamut, I can do this one, which is Death Flare. I can do Arkmorn, and then I do Astral Impulse, which is just instant cast and power. Oh, okay. 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 So it does a lot. <laughs> While also attacking on its own. So I get one extra button, and it just does a lot more damage. Well, I mean, the Arkmorn is stupid powerful. Arkmorn may be the most powerful attack that we have as summoner right now. Arkmorn was like, yes, yeah, 1300 potency. Death Blair is 500. It kind of shits all over Death Blair now. It kind of shits over Death Blair. Christ. It kind of shits on Death Flare. We're not seeing it do the Worm Wave because we keep killing everything instantly. Yeah, so I get Death Flare, but then we also get Arkmorn. And then we also get um, the Impulse, which to do is just also powerful. And then it just flies away. Is Ruin 4 instant? I actually don't remember. <laughs> I gotta go test this. I can't remember if Ruin 4 is... Is Ruin 4 instant? It is. It is. Ruin 4 is instant. Die. Ah, no, the other one's attacking. Well, we have a powerful... We have... We have a lot of power now. We have a lot of power now. Summoner gets even more damaging. And then eventually we get Phoenix. And then eventually we'll get Phoenix. But I think Phoenix is level 80, right? Phoenix is 80. It's not here. We get Tri Disaster soon, which is just an upgrade to like the normal thing. What are the rights? Are rights rights are just a stronger version of um Gems shine, is it? Is that what it is? Trait? Traits exist, I keep forgetting that. There's a- there's- this is how you know that summon is a weird fucking job. Look at how many skills exist for summoner that aren't assigned to a hotbar. Look at how much shit it has that isn't hotbar summon. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, that isn't hot barable. There's so much of it. So, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, so that, yeah. Yeah, so that is just, yeah. Ruin Mastery just makes Gemshine do more powerful things at level 72. Okay. Outburst gets enhanced. Outburst Mastery, okay, so Outburst Mastery is when the AoE summon versions do more stuff. Enhance Summon Bahamut. Up, um, upgrade Summon Bahamut to Summon Phoenix when dumb, Demon Bahamut returns from summoning. Oh! So you do Bahamut, then you do Phoenix. Oh, it doesn't turn Bahamut into Phoenix. Oh! Oh, so you get one, then the other. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, and then there's this thing, which is the thing, I think I, that's what we saw the person doing before. Um, the other summoner, which means they're also almost max leveled. Because it's, um, when you do stuff, you get extra things. Bahamut, um, Ifra, Titan, Garuda, Phoenix, Repeat. Oh, you want to wait to use Phoenix? You want to wait to use Phoenix? You don't just do it immediately afterwards? Okay. 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 Cycle of Death and Rebirth. Ah, that's why. Okay. So all this stuff here, like Fountain of Fire, Brand of Purgatory. It has so many skills. So you're at the charge, you do one and the other. Oh, okay. So, okay. 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 
Because sometimes when a skill turns into another skill, it immediately comes off cooldown. Okay. But this just means that your next Aether Charge is Phoenix instead. Okay. And it has so many skills. It has so many skills here. Oh my god. <laughs> Too many things there for me to keep a track of right now. I imagine most of it is just it's auto attacks. It's these versions of these attacks. These versions of these attacks. I imagine a lot of the 80 skills are just this, 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 and this. And what it does on its, cell, um, on its own when you summon it. The attack it does when you summon it. I imagine a lot of it is just that. And that's what all the 80 stuff is. I imagine that's what that is. Anyhow, anyhow, that's what you have with Phoenix and Fire and stuff. <laughs> if I had a job, if me as Fire had a job, it'd be summoner purely for the Phoenix. But I'm I'm thinking of that, so it's a bit different. Um, we are gonna end it there. To round it out properly, to round it out properly, I will I will pay you the gill fee and we'll go to Hingashi and we'll end it there. Ah, here we go. He's not trading on me, Taylor. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's a specific new person who'll send you here. Ta-da! Ta-da! We're back here! Yeah. If I had to spend 300 gil to get here, that's cheaper than teleports in half, um, half the time anyways. Uh, let's see. So we go to the inn. Yeah, it's in here. There we go. It's in here. There we go. Now we can rest here. Now we can rest here. So, we'll call over there today. I th I personally think we had a productive day. Even if we did spend almost the entire day hanging out in Hingashi, getting very little done, and jumping a lot, I feel like we did a lot. We advanced MSQ, we did some side quests, and we're, we've started our progress on the level 70 job quest. We've started our progress on that. Next stream, next stream is likely going to be one of the shorter streams, just because next week has a Splatfest in it, and also there'll be a seasonal event next week for whatever the Easter thing is called in this game, which I forget. Um, Happy Tidings or whatever it is. So we've got that. Just a couple dozen to go. Yeah, well, well yeah, because we've also got to do the fucking Heavenswood crafting ones, and also the level 50 crafting ones. But the, all of Aram Reborn's job quests are going to be finished in a stream coming up soon. And then we'll just work on the Heavensward one over time. And stuff like that. Before, before we finish, before we finish Stormblood and move on to the patches and stuff like that. Before that happens, no matter what, we are doing every job quest up to 70 for every job, including, um... Crafters and gatherers. The one exception will be is Blue Mage because Blue Mage is its own weird thing. But honestly, if we do Mask Khan of Valley at some point soon, we might be able to do Blue Mage up to level seventy in job quests, anyways. If we do Mask Khan of Valley at some point soon, that also may be possible. So is that? What Splatfest theme will it be? Alien. Alien. The Splatfest theme is which one is real? Loch Ness monster, Bigfoot, or alien? And while it makes me not want to participate in the Splatfest, if I had to answer one of those, it would be Alien. Not in the sense that aliens have visited Earth. That's the least likely of the three. But the concept that aliens could exist anywhere in the entirety of the universe? The odds of that approach infinite are, like, guaranteed. Because of how vast the universe is. So that's why I'm picking Alien. From that front. But if we're talking about and have been on Earth, it's the least likely. <laughs> but either way, either way, that'll be, that all of that, all that discussion, that'll interrupt next week's 14th stream. So this one's like nine and a half hours long. It'll probably end up being just under nine hours with YouTube cutting out um, pre-start and um, break time. So it'll probably be a bit shorter than that. But next week will be that. Like even aliens, if they're still on the native planet, the alien to us. It's gonna be mine anyways. He's the only one of the three that the, um, is theoretically possible to exist. That's my thought process. That's my thought process too. The other ones don't exist. So, you know, yeah, the, the other ones don't exist. But yeah, so next week is going to be a shorter one, but uh, so we probably won't do MSQ next week. Um, it'll probably be fuck arounds, job quests, do stuff like that, do things like that. And then the week after that, we have three in a single week, which I want to finish the job quest for um, Alchemist, Culinarian, and Fisher. I want to do that. 
I also, at some point, we're going to do, at some point soonish, I'd rather do it. Um, we're gonna, we've got Firmament. I want to do a site log, um, a site, um, a sightseeing stream. These, those two might work together, actually. The Firmament probably won't be a full, st I imagine finishing the Firmament probably wouldn't be another full stream the way the first half of the Firmament was. Probably? Maybe? So maybe that and sightseeing can go together. Maybe. There's Blue Mage we've got to work on. There's so much shit. There's so much content in this game. What the fuck? Anyway, I am out of here. I will see you all the next time that I see you for the future of Final Fantasy XIV. The game that never runs. So until then, this is version 2. Signing out.